Food Fighters. All my life on XFM 104.9 on Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, and of course, Carl Pilkington. Ooh, have we got a shoe for you today? <laughs> oh, we? We got planned, really? oh, we got load. Planned. Oh, come on. Oh, loads of stuff and it, two hours of it. Right. And all the records. Well, specifically, what sort of stuff have you planned for us? Because I know you've been what working have you done? hard. What have you done? Because, well, you know, I've been busy this week. I've been yeah. house hunting. I've been uh, various things. But I know you've had the whole week off. Right. So what have you been up to, Mike? Go on, Carl. Carl, tell them what we've got. Tell them what you've, what we've planned, all the stuff you've done. What have you got? But Rick, specifically, what have you come up with? Uh, quick, um, quick, 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 because people uh, are getting bored. Tell us okay. what you've- I've come what you've up come with, with, um, the music. Right. I've yeah. got, obviously that's- we've already planned that. We planned that last week, so that's all done. But what have you yourself contributed to today's show? I'm looking I've forward got to a, it. I got a- um, mm -hmm. uh, a text message today from right. Ross Noble, you know, Ross Noble the comedian, mm -hmm. who's mm -hmm. on, who's on, oh, I've got news for you. Right. All right. He says, ask Carl, if he woke up with ladies' boobs, <laughs> would he just put a dress on and live as a lady? Or will he just be a man, but with these boobs? Carl, it's a good question. <sighs> I know, I know that happened to Ross. <laughs> so he's, he's throwing <laughs> that one out. At it you. did in a way because he ate pizzas for a yes, year, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. And he got a lovely pair of breasts. Yeah. Go on. Probably the boobs. Just find a, a loose fitting jumper. Go to the doctor's. <laughs> What would you say to the doctor? How would you explain this phenomenon to the doctor? So you'd be you'd be happy with this because you believe in um, shite like no, no, you know no, happening. No, no. Go on, but what? it can happen because I told you a couple of weeks ago how what? it can happen. What? How you can wake up with breasts if you're a fella? I told you. Go on. Haven't you remembered? No, I, I, I funny that, isn't it? Go on. Have you, Steve? No, I, I don't remember this. Did, did you tell us on air? Yeah. Um, it can happen if you go to Argentina and have a steak. <laughs> you can wake up with breasts. <laughs> Because, because <laughs> I'm sure I'd have remembered Carl, that. Pull the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he likes that. He likes that. Is joke. that what you've come up with this week? <laughs> yeah, that joke. Yeah. Brilliant. Play a record. It's going to be a dynamite show. <laughs> oh, the oh other listen. One. Look, we're going to play. I'm going to play some classic tunes today. I'm going to educate the youngsters, Steve. Uh -huh. Right now, you've all heard of Blue Weed. You've all heard of Velvet Underground. But you know, have you heard of Venus in Furs, Carl? Shiny, shiny, shiny boots of leather. <laughs> Venus in Furs. Velvet Underground. Mm. What a great start. What a classic I mean, song. They, they continue to sound fresh and contemporary. Yeah. Is this, do you know what that song's about, Carl? No. M and S. M and S. It's about M and S. You know that? Yeah. You know the shop? Yeah. It's all about that. Yeah. Whiplash, smile, and all that. All the things you can get at Marks and Spencer's. Shiny boots of leather. Yeah. Being whipped. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a new division they've opened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we have got a great show lined up. Have we? we? No, go we on. Know we have. No, no, because we've got, um, uh, Rockbusters coming up, the great Rock, new quiz. That. Uh, that, that's, that's made the press. Has um, it? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, uh, Frimley Tea Rooms uh, newsletter <laughs> mentioned it. Um, we've also got, um, That's Carl's local, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've also got, uh, Educating Ricky, where Carl educates, educates me. Uh, the one last week. A girl, right? She was deaf, and she was having an argument with her mum. And she pushed her, and she hit her head, and then she can hear again. Yeah. Don't know what I learned from that. No. But it might be, it might be subliminal. Someone might be going. It might, it might be a metaphor that I will learn from. Yeah, it's like you know, a I'm parable. Like, yeah, yeah. So uh, look at this face. We so, might, uh, as well, we might as well be talking Dutch, mightn't we, Carl? Say something quick. It's radio. I, I, I don't understand what you want from me. <laughs> oh, we're only joking, right? So. Educating Ricky, I, I've worked a bit harder this week. We've got some good stuff. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the the the, the, the teaser headlines the later. Headlines in a bit. Yeah. We so you've got, got you've got rockbusters. Carl's well. having a bit of a stressful week because he thinks he's not appreciated because he's he, he's gets in at what time do you get in? About eight or nine, don't you? About well, last week. Yeah, I've been busy this week. I've been in at about half past eight in the morning. Yeah, and you've been leaving when? About half past eight, nine o'clock at night. <sighs> yeah, and you're yeah. in Saturday. Yeah, I'm in now. You get paid, don't you? I'm busy at home. At a lot home. of people work late, Carl. A lot of people work 12 hour days. Why are you busy at home, Carl? What are you up to? Because we're trying to sort out a move. Uh huh. I've been trying to call around this morning to get someone to buy a, a food on, on a table from me. Yes. Um. Well, we could put that appeal out now, couldn't we? If anyone wants to buy a futon or a table. Do you think of, a, a futon that Carl Pilkington slept exactly. on? How much are you, uh, you asking? <sighs> Whatever. Uh, well, you need to be well. You've, you've got to take the two. I don't want, like, different people coming round and that. Sure. <laughs> you've got to buy a futon on a table. It's uh, quite specific, isn't it? Someone <laughs> has to want a futon. Yeah. The, the specific uh, futon you're selling like like made, isn't it? Alarm <laughs> clock and tea maker. This is yeah. futon and table. <laughs> yeah. Um. Looking for about, about 100 quid. And yeah. it's good, it's good condition the food yeah, on. Yeah. yeah. Right, no stains, you haven't pissed no. yourself in the, in, no. No, right. nothing? 
And what uh, kind of table, what sort of table is it? Are we talking, are we talking like a table for a lounge, a, a dining table? No, for, for uh, like a computer and uh, just, you know, something. Have you got any drawers? There's no there are any drawers? drawers? There's no drawers. No, it's just a nice wooden table. Right, uh, is it, is it kind of oak or is it sort of an Ikea sort of thing? No, it's like oakish. It's oakish? Yeah. Okay. So, hundred quid. The food one is just, it was just, just a mattress and the, and the, and the, the, the pallets. Yeah. Just yeah, but it's not, you see, you get cheap food on, so this, is, this, one, this is, is a good one. It's, it's How sturdy. much would that have retailed for when I you purchased it? I think I paid about two fifty for right, it. Right, so it's a bargain well, for people. Well, if you look at it, if you- And how long have you had it? How old, how old is it? This is a whole new strand, Well, I'm it? thinking I this is a I don't think it's legal. I think, I well, don't think we should I'll use- I'll tell you what I'm interested in, in Rick, is just, just finding out a little bit about the sort of thing that Carl's got in his home, you know? I, I'm interested in pe if people will- Phone up to spend a hundred pounds just to go round Carl's uh, house. No, yeah. no, 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 I won't be. B no, what? No, 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 they'll come here. I'll bring it to work, and they can pick it up here. Don't I'm going to bring on a, a futon and a table to work. Don't you ride a bike? So hold on, we need someone with a van now. <laughs> yeah. So we need. Is, is anyone who wants? To, <laughs> but they're not allowed around your house. Can they meet you next door? Someone with a van. <laughs> <laughs> could they meet you in your street somewhere? Hold on. Could they meet? What you with you the, hold on. What about the little Chinese fellow that lives across the road on the two bouncers and the old woman who's dead reading a book? Can can could you meet him somewhere? I've got an idea. What about if you meet at the end of your street? You blindfold them, like they do when <laughs> when they, when terrorists <laughs> take the negotiator to the uh, yeah to the, the hideout, the, the big cheese, and um, and so you could do that, and in, and so you know they they could piece together. Maybe where you live with from sounds. the sounds and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what about that, Carl? That's that's just a great idea. Yeah. And would you sign the futon for people? Do you think? Would you uh, Would you give them a little signature? Or maybe you at least a bit of purchase? Couldn't you? you could sign the pallet. <sighs> yeah. Or I could try and get work to buy it off me, and then we give it away for rockbusters. Do you think they do that? Do you think they do? That? I think probably do it for Foxy with his with yeah. his big. Well, imagine hog. how big that. Imagine would be. if he wanted to sell his hog. Yeah. That is a motorbike, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's been selling his hog for money for years, <laughs> yeah. hasn't he? Oh dear. So oh, right. well, we'll see about that. So, so uh, if people are interested, maybe email uh, Ricky at xfm dot co dot uk. If you're interested in by, futon, by Carl's and, futon and, uh, competition, one hundred pounds O N O. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what gear have we got? Anyway? I never knew what that meant. O N O. I I thought it went sort of oh, on, no. the nose. Oh, on, no. on the nose. On the nose. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, we got well. Tell me what we got got to give away, Steve. So actually, I have to say you've excelled yourself we've got this the, week. Richard Ashcroft's single coming up soon. After this, <laughs> go on. <laughs> when have you since when have you taken to talking like that? <laughs> it does amuse me. <laughs> go on. Um, this is actually this is a nice little collection here. This is a three DVD set. Uh, David Attenborough's uh, The Life of Birds, Trials of Life, and Life in the Freezer. That's a good one, isn't it? That's go a selection on. of uh, animal based documentaries. Yeah. Uh, we've got another. What is best at? Well, absolutely. This I is when he goes off the ball and does like uh, fast cars. This is, uh, very, very good indeed. This is, a uh, a best of David Bowie compilation. It is a very good, just, it's a uh, proper one. Not the, not the rubbish ones that no one else wanted. This is a brilliant compilation. Yeah, it's got excellent selection on there. Uh, we've got this. Now, this looks like a madness. Oh, no, 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 no. It's far worse than we could possibly have imagined. It, it seems to be some kind is it our of house tie in music? with the Our House Madness musical. And it's got a, 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 like a, a cast of 20 people who wanted to be singers. Uh, I c it's tricky to find out. I can't figure out if it's the originals or not. But needless to say, if you're a Madness fan, I'm sure that'll be an absolute treat. Yeah, you love treat. that. You love that. Uh, love that. now I know that, uh, Steve, I wouldn't mind that DVD collection myself. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's it's true the giveaways that no, we can't. We I'm can't. talking of great compilations. What about this? It's Country Legends. I'm oh, seeing on the front right. there Glenn Campbell. We've got Dolly Parton. We've got, um, what do we call it? On the, on the car, on the front. What do we call it? <laughs> from, from a great performer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jake, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, excellent. Some great yeah. hits from him. So, uh, yeah. that's there as well. well that's a collection. That's the uh, same XFM compilation again, easy to get hold of. If but you the big one, the, the big one, the film that Carl uh, oh, picks every week. The, the big DVD one. movie this week. Don't Carl. go out tonight if you've got a DVD player and a television set because no? you'll be staying in and watching this fantastic film. It will tear your soul apart. It's Hellraiser. <laughs> <laughs> the original <laughs> Hellraiser. Bear in mind, it has been on Channel 4 and Channel 5 and on most cable channels. <laughs> since it came out, <laughs> but if you haven't seen it, if you're one of the only people who has not seen it, <laughs> and of course you have to be over 18 to play, then you can win Hellraiser. That is fantastic. Well, uh, pl play, a, play a song, Carl, we'll come okay. back to that. More, more great stuff. Indeed. The competition coming up later. Email only, isn't it, Carl? Yeah, that's it. Futon. A <laughs> futon's still available. <laughs> Richard Ashcroft, check the meaning. Well, Carl, you're chuffed, aren't you? So what's right, happened? Yeah. What's just happened? Tell the listeners what's this happened. This has sparked you off a bit. Steve's just called up. He's, uh, putting an offer for the foot on and yeah. the table. Yeah. Um, I think he wanted to, he definitely wanted it, but I said, look, you know, think about it over the weekend. Yeah. Give well, you're not a hustler. No, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna rush him into it because once he's got it, he's, he can't bring it back. I'm not messing about. No. 
Um, so the bloke said, uh, what sort of wood is it? Carl said, sort of, uh, sort of like a light brown colour. He went, what, beach coloured? <coughs> Carl went, depends what beach you're on. <laughs> Which was nice. <laughs> you do understand there's a wood that's called, called beach. beach. Uh, well, he's, he's happy, he, he likes the sound of it, nice sure. plum cover. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be, uh... <laughs> yeah. It's Carl going, that'll go with Magnolia, you walls my head. He's yeah. just going, I'll tell you what, like, look nice in your spare bedroom. It was like a, well, he an did, episode he did, of Changing Rooms. It was like listening to an episode of Carl. He did the deal in, in under three minutes, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, pretty song, good, didn't he? phoned you about halfway through in that song, so yeah. you work pretty quick, Carl, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's your manx scally ways. I'm sure we're not allowed to do this, though. No, I think it's highly criminal. Yeah. Have so, you got anything? Are you <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, I am moving shortly, so I mean, I might, I might come in next week, I could have a couple of I things. I threw away a desk the other day. I gotta get rid of a bed, um, a chair, cause you know I'm pretty tall, <laughs> this is so pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> when I, when I moved up to London, my dad said, well you wanna be careful, cause I mean the seating in a lot of these London pads, it's bad seating, very low backs, fashionable, isn't it, fashionable chairs and stuff, you're a big guy, six foot seven, you need like a decent chair. We went to a shop, it was like a second hand furniture yeah. shop, right? Yeah. I bought this chair, very <laughs> high backed. <laughs> what did you buy? I that bought a chair. Matthew bought a solo, I love yeah, that. <laughs> it's just a chair, so I could sit was in my room it? and watch TV. But was it a soft chair, or was it a wooden it was chair? Kind of like a sort of, uh, it was, well, let me explain, because it's kind of like an armchair, but it's kind of got wooden arms. So I get this chair, I bring it up to London, I'm thinking, this is a great that. chair, this is a wonderful chair. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be watching TV, everyone else is doing agony. Pipe, you know, yeah, smoking I've got jacket. This chair, right? And I brought it up, and someone went, they looked at it, they went, isn't that an orthopedic chair? <laughs> and I looked at it again, right, and I realised it's kind of white cleanable. <laughs> It's made of some kind of fabric <laughs> that allows you to just mop it down with a wet what? cloth. Why? Because I think it came from an old people's home. Oh. You know when you see like old people oh, in some no. kind of social room in an old people's home yeah. just sat watching a little crappy old TV and yeah. they can, you can you can wipe everything clean. It was it's oh. one of those chairs. Oh, that's fantastic. So if anyone's maybe they've got an elderly Didn't relative. Did you keep slipping off? Just goes like, and it's also the most uncomfortable chair I've ever, cause unless you've got chronic back pain, <laughs> <laughs> it just is, it's just the most uncomfortable chair. It makes you sit bolt upright, well, if not slightly forward. You've done a good sell on it. I think, uh, <laughs> either the phones are going mental, well, how much do you want for that, If you've had a recent accident, or you've got a disabled, or, or um, or uh, someone in, in the house who's just, uh, elderly, <laughs> then, um, then you might want to get in touch. I'm happy to, you can take that off man so for uh, 25 wrong. quid. This is so wrong. 25 quid, I'll, oh, I'll take that. Oh. Maybe you're setting up an old people's home, you know, it's a little <laughs> yeah, pet, pet project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't get a lot of grant. We can help. <laughs> exactly. We can help. I mean, and because though Steve's such a high flyer, I mean, if it really is a good cause, they just give it to you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's not rush into everything, anything, right? I like to assess each case, you know, individually. Yeah. But so, sure, yeah, certainly sure. if you are a charity, then, then I might go for 20 quid. I can t you take off my hands for 20 quid. <laughs> uh, um, but otherwise, 25. And I tell you, it's, it's in good condition, because I haven't really sat on it. Five quid off if you really are. You know, and, 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 and there were some stains, I've wiped them clean. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, dear. Well, that's fantastic. So we've, uh, we've, yeah, well, uh, I'll tell you what we should, we should resuscitate next week, Swap Shop. The multi so, swap uh, shop. I, I, honestly, there's it's a, a great format. But there's a couple of things I've always wanted to, to get back out. Swap Shop is one of them, and the other one is Superstars. I don't remember Superstars. Superstars was great because it was like the people of their time. So you'd have like people like nowadays you'd have you'd have Beckham and uh, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, who's a tennis player? Rosetsky. Yeah, Rosetsky. Uh, and they they have to compete. So all these people have to compete at each other's sports. And they have to choose seven out of ten sports. And there's a leaderboard. And there's a big final. Oh, old Keegan came off his bike. It is, it's Brian not. Jack's it's not like it's used to win it. No, no, it's real sports. It's, real proper, it's sports. proper sports. It's hundred meters, tennis, weightlifting, all the real sports. That you you can't do your own sport. Well, I know you're a pretty big uh, guy now in in British TV. You're a bit of a big shot. What do you reckon? Pull some strings. Let's get it back on <laughs> Let's there. Get it back Superstars. On there. Superstars, sounds fantastic. Me, Johnny Vegas, Peter Kay. <laughs> The bigger fella, <laughs> exactly. I think maybe the, the comedy comedy superstars. Um, what we got next? We got a bit of Springsteen, haven't we? Let's play Springsteen. This is uh, a track from his current album, The Rising. A lot of people Brilliant. think Bruce is a bit M O R, a bit middle of the road, or whatever. But you know, I just think piss <laughs> off. Yeah, <laughs> I just think screw you. Let's I just play think it. yeah, get lost, oh, you. Yeah. Imagine this, you're open top caddy. Yeah, you're just going around country. Route 66. You just, you just you're going home maybe for Thanksgiving. Yeah, to see yeah. your folks. That's just just turn up rate. the radio if you are. Play the tune. Probably on. not. Though. That just reminded me when I brought a. So stop it for a second. <laughs> just realised when I brought when I brought a woman shambles. back and she saw the orthopedic chair. <laughs> <laughs> you bring a woman back to your pad. Oh, it's embarrassing. <laughs> and the harness. Yeah. And <laughs> the, <laughs> the truss. Yeah. And the, yeah. <laughs> just again. Can you give me those two splints? I'm sorry. <laughs> those two splints there. Well, I've got to go. Have you? <laughs> Is this a potty under the bed? <laughs> 
The Rising title track from Bruce Springsteen's current album, Great The Rising. Track. Yeah, it's good. Great. Tune. It's that, that feeling of it's melancholy and uplifting. We've had quite a, a, an interactive show so far because we've got a, a call that Superstars is coming back. Mm. It's due to come back in the BBC schedules, which is. Great news. Apparently, was Steve Redgrave is one of them. I just don't think will professional footballers be allowed to take part these days, though. When they're on fifty would. grand a week, you, you can't really have them falling off bikes and uh, and their ankles. Can you yeah, see McCaskill last night? <laughs> yeah, I'm slippery thick. Yeah. Ian McCaskill. <laughs> oh, he fell off his three it. times, didn't he? Oh, if it, did, did you see slippery thick? No, though? I haven't seen it. There was a great moment where they had to go into the, a thing called a bod pod, and you sit in it, and it looks like Space Age, and it and it analyzes you, and it tells you percentage body fat. Now, I think um, men are meant to be about sort of uh, fifteen to twenty-five percent body fat. Women are meant to be like about twenty to thirty body fat, and they all went in there, and. Um, it went in there and it said, uh, Ian McCaskill and it came up, uh, 34% body fat or whatever. It's like the overweight. Uh, I'm gonna come to the 38% of the overweight. Then it went, um, the other one, da 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 da, um, uh, 45% body fat, uh, obese. Then it went, Jono. Uh, Did it say, uh, I don't want to tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it went, uh, 50, 50, 50 percent body fat, um, uh, very obese. Then Rick Waller was sat in there. And it came up 60% body fat. And I wanted it to come up slug. <laughs> oh, God. But it came up more with it 60, you are 60% fat. So, so 60% of him is yeah, fat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 60% of his entire makeup. That's extraordinary. It is, Well, you yeah. know my feelings about Wallace. Well, then let's go on to him. Well, that's I mean, the reason I don't you know, watch the show, actually. I do feel a bit sorry for him. I mean, he is, he is, I think he is trying, although the fella there, um, thinks he's not trying. So I don't know who to believe, Steve. Sure. Yeah, I don't know yeah, who to believe yeah. Wallow and he does get pains in that and he is a bit... Yeah. The know. problem is, right, he does like his food. Yeah, we, we all like our food. But if he didn't do the exercise, he wouldn't be as hungry and he might not get fat. This is a whole new nutritional outlook. <laughs> Absolutely. So you're saying don't exercise and carry on eating and that's, that's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Can I, no, let, me, no, let, let me write that one down. I will send that to the... British <laughs> nutritional organisation. Yeah, no, that's good. Carl Pilkington. Okay, well, no, no that's a, it's no, a good. I'm no doctor or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Yo, come on, me, 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 stop me, me, being me. so bloody modest, <laughs> please. You are a doctor. You're you just, are. Yeah. Are you, are you not, you're not a doctor. Seriously, you're not. You didn't qualify. But <laughs> that's interesting. You dropped out early, or that's mad. That is mad. I mean, you, you, you're as good as doctor. You just, you just didn't get the paperwork, or whatever. You just didn't yeah. do that for the exam. Yeah. Yeah. He was just saying that Bruce brings him, uh, um, depressed him a little bit. Yeah. Because it reminds him of when he worked in the supermarket. And, uh, I said, it's funny how a song can do that, take you right back there. He went, yeah, nothing else can do that. I said, well, actually, smell is the most evocative sense, because smell is linked to memory in the brain. And he went, yeah, they probably said that before music, though. <laughs> And now all signs are going, we, got, we better revisit this because there's music now. Yeah, yeah. We've had this theory knocking around for, you know, ten minutes. I went to see Bruce, you'll be pleased to know. I just want uh, the fans of the show to know that I did make it to Bruce Springsteen's concert it. last week. And uh, he started with that song we just played, and it was dynamite. I mean, he never let up. Almost three hours, he rocked the joint. He's 53, he was sliding across, it was pure rock and roll. Pumping our fist, sliding across the floor on his knees, he was jumping on the piano. It was real Jerry Lee Lewis rock and roll. And uh, it was dynamite. And um, I just was looking around though, and, and when I am the trendiest person at a gig, oh, dear. then I'm in trouble. Do you know what I mean? And there was some of the people there. I imagined, you know, on Amazon.com, um, it says like, people who bought X also bought Y. Yeah. And I yeah. think people who bought tickets for Bruce probably bought tickets for Mark Knopfler. Yeah, I'd Dave Gilmore. Yeah, Pink Floyd. without Pink know. Floyd. But there's Stevie there's, Nicks. But there's also yeah. But then there's also you know the mon all the monsters. Right, they probably buy stones when they visit. You know, yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. probably Tina it's the Turner. blue wash jeans. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's the small waistcoats. Yeah, over a denim shirt, plaid plaid shirt. Maybe yeah. sort of like Timberlands. Nothing wrong with Timberlands. I'm not. That's libelous. Sure. No. Sure. See, I've done it again. Yeah. But so it was hell getting out. I couldn't find. I mean, I, I went to the tube and it was a nightmare because some of the tubes weren't running. I just said to my friend, "I'll oh, sort this." You know, the, the, the stormed off trying to find a cab. Couldn't find a cab. Wandering around Wembley, just livid. I mean, fuming because I couldn't find a cab. Just I was screaming because I was going. I've got money. I'm on the radio. I've had a t TV show. I've got the cash. I'm willing to spend it. There's yeah. no one who can help me get home. And I was. I've I've seen him shout this in Brewer Street, yeah. just to stand in the middle. Go on. And I was thinking to myself, what would you have done though? Because in the end, I just sat in a little calf, had something to eat. But you, I mean, if you couldn't get a cab, what would you have done? Just because there's a couple of, I was looking, there was a couple of hotels <laughs> near Wembley. I was thinking you'd have just checked in. Yeah, and just and, and stayed till the morning. Yeah, when, when there's a cab, let me know. But I was thinking because you were thinking of going. Would you have booked a cab beforehand? 
Uh, yeah. Would you have- would you have thought to do that? Yeah, I'd have got a cab there and I'd have booked a cab wasn't somewhere. Wasn't the, uh, genius. Wasn't genius. the helicopter just took you back home? Yeah. Oh, he's oh, having a dig, isn't he? He's having a laugh, isn't he? Why? Really? Yeah. 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 Play the ads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dead in Vegas. Scorpio Rising. Featuring the voice of- is it Noel Gallagher? Liam, innit? Is it Liam? Sounded a bit like him. Liam, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. alright, innit? Excellent, yeah. Right, okay, let's uh, let's get this show well and truly on the road. Um, we better start well, ed educating Ricky next car. What have you got for me? I can't wait for learning. I need learning. I need education. We should just teach explain something. Uh, obviously, for those that have just tuned in, Carl, uh, tries to teach Ricky three things each week. Based on the pun title. And yeah, each of them, uh, each of them, just to tantalise Ricky, is, yeah. um, abbreviated into some kind of headline. It, a cryptic a clue involving a, involving a pun. So what have you got for us uh, this yeah, week? They, they, are, they are really cryptic this week. Okay. Yeah. Um, first story, little headline, is, um, don't worry about him. He candle it. <laughs> he candle it. Yeah. Sounds a bit like he can handle it, but it's yeah. not. Put it. Uh, second one. <laughs> uh, oh, get a lobe of this. I'm I'm <laughs> get a lobe of this. It's a classic. Who can forget? Get a lobe of this. <laughs> yeah. Right. Coming soon. And, and stocking eight gin waterman. <laughs> Go on. Second one. Yeah. I'm committed to this treatment. Mm. I'm committed to this treatment. Yeah. All right. Tantalising. Yeah. And the last one, um, uh, the police are causing a bit of a stare. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the way he looks when he says it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I yeah. uh, oh, wish we could see Can't we get Carl on telly? Oh. There's got to be a way. There's we gotta cannot. Be a way. Uh, look, with all the cable channels, anyone can get on telly these days. Let's right, get, let, so let's, let's phone up, let's get you on choice or something. Just what? a little, just Carl. What, 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 what are you going for? Oh, he can handle it, I think. Don't worry about him, he can handle it. He can't yeah. lit. Okay, Sorry, yeah. Let's, yeah? let's hear this one. All right, are you familiar with the, uh, the phrase, burning the candle at both ends? Yeah. Do you know how it's come about? I know a man well, who does. I, I assumed that it was to get more light in the room. How would that work? Well, they'd put it sideways and light both wicks, so out of one candle they could get no. two. No, go on. No, what it is... Oh, it, it means, uh, it means you're, you're staying, you're doing too much, you're staying up too much, right. you're not getting enough sleep in your- Well, years ago. Yeah. Um, when they didn't have light bulbs and that. Oh yeah, what year is this? Quite literally, literally ages ago specifically. Yeah, quite a bit back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, didn't have light bulbs and that, so they used to have candles when in When did the, the light bulb come in? Cause I, I can't remember at the moment, what? I, phew, don't know. Okay, go on. So, um, yeah, so they've- they've got a light bulb. You're not- you, you wouldn't know, you're a doc- you're a doctor, you're not a historian. Go on. Uh, and people who worked a lot of hours, yeah. How many? Literally lots. They get up early in the morning, cos they have to be up early. Yeah. And it's dark outside, so they'd light the candle. Sure. And they'd wear it out a bit. And then they'd be getting in late as well. Yeah. And like, they'd be like, oh, it's dark, I'll have to light the candle again. And they're burning candle at both ends of the day. So that's where the saying comes from, burning the candle at both ends. So, all right. That's a uh, little lesson. Yeah, that's yeah, one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> can I have? No, well, no, I, you, you can't. Have you can't one rush yet. into them, Rick. You've got to. I've got uh, to soak you've in got, that. You've got to soak that one in. Any questions for Carl off the back of that? What do you think? So, so, so people were. I mean, basically, where this comes from is people were <laughs> <laughs> literally brilliant the candle at the end day. of the day. Sure. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so we've still got. Go on. I'm committed to this treatment, and I can't wait. This is like this is like Christmas Rick, Eve for me. It's it. like Christmas. I've got to open another present now. No, I'm afraid we've got to save it. But Rick, listen. Um, we often get a lot of email correspondence during sure. the show, Rick, uh, which I don't I don't sort of pass on to you because I mean you're busy, you're planning the show and stuff. Sure, you've got sure, a lot of ideas, you've sure. got music and stuff to worry yeah. about. So I check the emails, and we get a lot of response. A lot of people that obviously uh, you know want to give us feedback. Uh, just a sample one um, from Richard Anderson. He's just uh, emailed us in here, Rick, because uh, he's been listening to the show. He says, Ricky, your show is appalling. Um, are you actually aware you're on the radio or has someone just secretly stuck a microphone on you? That's from Richard Anderson. So <laughs> yeah. that's, the, that's typical of the kind of feedback Rick we're getting <laughs> really? today. So, it's that um, good, is it? So that's, that's the kind of, yeah, high positive praise that we're getting. So, uh, I'm, 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 I'm glad Anderson's listening because I wanted him. 
I yeah, was, no, I mean, I, I was gunning for him as a fan. I was worried early, Anders, early uh, on in our career. So uh, I, uh, think, I think he's hooked now, though. But thanks, uh, Anders, for <laughs> getting in touch. Good work. <laughs> he's he's sitting through it for Hellraiser, though, isn't he? Yeah. Well, that's still to come. Still to come. Still to come. What we're playing. Uh, a little bit of old dirty bird. I can't. I can't say the word. It's offensive. Old old dirty bird. Is it old dirty bollocks? No, 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 no. What is it? Old dirty. Old dirty big cock. What is it? What is it? I can't tell you. Breaks up. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Funny word, isn't it? <laughs> it's a funny weird. word. What other funny words are there? Although Carl? XFM's a funny word, I just yeah. say the letters out because mm. the word doesn't make sense. Just uh, let me just check Richard Anderson's email again. Just remind myself of. Go on. Uh, Ricky, your show is appalling. Richard Anderson, thanks. What I like about, uh, Dickie, <laughs> Dickie Anders <laughs> is that he's obviously so angry, he's so annoyed by the show <laughs> that he's bothered to email just to get the venom out. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd just think you'd switch over. Well, he's you know, obviously so annoyed, he's he just switched on the computer. He knows how to hurt someone Locked as well. On. Exactly. He's really taken the time out to, I'm to show his disapproval. of giving up. Mm. I'll tell you what, though, it, can't, it, it is pretty hard to listen to. What this? Yeah. I've listened back to the tape that when you're, ma when you're making that thing for the best of. Yeah. And I. I mean, I sounded like Albert's Taplock. I sa I really sounded like some sort of punch drunk stroke victim. And I, I oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I have to say, yeah. I don't remember myself like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. so, uh, yeah, I do apologise. It's, it's not a great planned show, slick word. Of articulate <laughs> no, sentence, no, no, is it? No, but no, I mean, no, then no. who is? But I think, I mean, there's so many shows that are, you know, nowadays on radio. I think there's, there's a lot of stuff that's heavily formatted, you know, and there's with, you know, I don't know, presenters who are professional and have got some sort of degree of talent yeah. and ability to sort of string a sentence bored together. You know, I'm thinking Chris Moyles. Yeah. Predominantly. Yeah. But I mean, I'm bored with those, those yeah, exactly. people. Yeah, You know, I, I think we need a little bit of, a little bit of calm hey, in our lives. I'm just thinking, actually, I've just suddenly struck me. If you want to get rid of your, um, your furniture. Got a buyer. You've already got a buyer. Because if, if there's any st other stuff, what I we uh, we were clearing some stuff out of our place recently, and we just dumped some stuff outside on the street because we were going to take it and, and take it to the tip later. Just dump some stuff outside, and I have never seen so many people come out of the woodwork scavenging through our garbage. It was incredible. They were like zombies. Well, that's what I was. They saying. were like flies around. Yeah. It was when crazy. Carl, when I said to Carl. Uh, That's what you should just do. Just dump it outside because it'll get taken. When he went, he, he, he said, "Do you think I asked enough, Andrew?" I went, "Yes, definitely." He went, "Oh, I could ask." What? I said, "No, don't do that." I said, "Because you'll end up having to pay the council to take it away." He said, "I wouldn't." He said, "I'd rather just dump it and let a little homeless fella have it." <laughs> and then he went, "And most of the little homeless fella sitting at the desk." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you imagine, right? There, I walk past. He sat outside Hearts, right, the little twenty-four hour shop. Yeah. He sat outside there, and he goes. Have you got any change? Nigga, I can do better than that. Yeah, here's a chair and table. Here's a, a futon. futon. Yeah. A futon, no less. Not your boring bed, but a trendy, yeah. Well, but the thing is, I, the amazing the number of people that would stop to look at our junk. What? There was a car driving by with a family and kids, perfectly respectable, just driving past, you know, on the way to somewhere, stopped, got out, got the kids out of the car, come on kids, let's just look through this junk. But I like the you idea You said we were going to Walton Towers, yeah. Dad. No, no, sorry, no time. We're not going this to the zoo, let's look through this rubbish. We're not going to look through people's rubbish Put again, these gloves we? on, look through this shit. Ow! That's a yeah, needle. That's a needle. <laughs> it was, I mean, who does that? It was like a Saturday afternoon. Kids were just gonna go and look through some rubbish. And one guy, this is the most incredible one, one guy, I caught him going through the bins as I came, as I came in. I said, alright, what are you doing? He was one of those homeless guys who likes to remain dignified. Why did you say, what are you doing? Well, because it was my house, I had to go part, I had to squeeze past him. He wasn't in your him. kitchen. He was in our front garden. Oh, was he? Yeah, going through rubbish. He torn the bags open, he was going through it. I said to him, what are you up to? He went, oh yeah, just looking at the stuff. Don't, don't worry, I'll just, I'll, I'll clean it all up afterwards, just looking for a few odds and ends, blah, 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 blah. I said, oh well, you can take what you want, you know, it's all going away. Yeah, thanks very much, thanks. Yeah. So he went off, right, I didn't think anything of it. I was walking past the shops the following day, there's a little sort of, uh, kind of 7-Eleven, right, I was walking past. I thought, oh, that's interesting, a Gil Scott Heron album for sale. And I looked. I thought, wait a minute, this is all our rubbish. And the guy had set up like a little car boot sale outside the 7 Eleven on the pavement. He'd taken our junk, he'd marked on prices. There's like an old RAC book from 1976 that had been lying in the house, a yellow pages. You know, and he'd marked up the How prices. How much is yellow pages? So I'm glad you were. What year was 50p, that? 50p, I snapped it up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's a bargain. <laughs> and um, it was incredible the, the cheek of just selling our junk. Outside en Enterprise car. You, you, you did that. What did you used to do? You, did, you used uh, to sell flowers. I sold flowers. I yeah. sold, uh, sold fizzy drinks at school. Did you? Yeah. What did you made? It was soda stream, yeah. Yeah. Made, made some, uh. Well, of course, when you were doing your Pilkies making music, your disco, yeah. you used to go into my bedroom and find a pair of tights and a cigar. 
Yeah, they, yeah, they'd be prizes. Uh, yeah. Did your dad them. used to smoke cigars in tights or, or your mum? <laughs> <laughs> Which one of them? He's just, go on. Right, look, let's, let's, uh. Yeah, we're educating Ricky. No, no, no. That's, we'll tease him that. Uh, Rockbusters. Well, I think we should play a tune and come back with Rockbusters. Oh, so the show's falling down and we were going so well and we, it's just the energy, isn't it? The first hour we got through. I'm still uh, in good spirits. Is this, this still good, is it, this I'm show? I'm enjoying it, yeah. Yeah? Good it's still good, is it? I'll just, let me just check, cause, uh, just check what Richard Anderson thinks of it. <laughs> good evening, man, again. No, he thinks it's appalling. He, <laughs> yeah. he, no, no, uh, the Dixter thinks it's appalling, so, uh, we should what play we, a tune. Cause he can play some music. What's this? Better Aqualung. Oh. Aqualung. Aqualung. Rockbusters next. I like that. That's great, isn't it? Aqualung. Good time's gonna come. Well, Carl, we've got loads of ideas. We've got emails coming left, right and centre. I think you've caused quite a stir. I think you've turned this show around, to be honest. I'm being- honestly. Yeah? No, you've done really well. You're actually acting a bit like a producer, isn't he? Mm. And, mm. uh, you're coming through in your own right. Yeah. Um, we've had a great suggestion, We've we? had a great email here. Let me this, just check, this, uh, Carl. Let me just check. Listen this, to is this. From, this is from, uh, Jeff Dunn. He's a big fan of the show and he's just had a genius idea. He's saying, you're moving house, Carl. Why don't Ricky and I come round? We can do a live outside broadcast from your flat. It's we genius. can observe from your kitchen, those weirdos that live opposite. Yeah. We can just, maybe just wander around, just see the kind of place that you've got, you know, see, maybe check out your record collection, your clothes, what you've got in the bathroom. It'd be amazing. Your futon. It'd be like Louis Theroux. Wouldn't it? We'll be Louis through. Come on, Carl, this is a dynamite idea. Nah. Why? I, I don't want you coming around making a mess and that. We'll, we'll make, make a mess. A mess. We'll, we'll, make we'll take our shoes off. Well, when have I ever made a mess in the studio? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Do you know what I mean? We're not gonna make a mess. What, what, we're not gonna have anything with us. But what's in it for anyone? Well, it's just a fascinating insight into yeah, you. Yeah, but, right, when I see that little Chinese kid across the road who's dancing <laughs> about in his underpants, yeah. that's in the evening, yeah. right? He's not gonna be doing that on a Saturday. <laughs> So you'll be disappointed there. Sure. The <laughs> old, that old woman. But you could at least show us the oh, room no, in which he really, dances. Yeah, we say little Chinese kid, he's a 35 year old man, isn't he? Yeah, well. Uh, yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, that, that's beside the point, you know, we'll find our own amusement. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't, and the, the w woman downstairs has got a baby and if we make loads of noise and it's, that gets stressed out. We're not gonna out. make noise, are we? Just gonna have a conversation in your flat. Have a cup of tea. Yeah, but if we do an OB, we need to get like a car outside with a big aerial on it and well, the parking's bad problem. round our way. What do you mean you have to do a, what do you mean? To do a outside broadcast. Can't they put in an ISDN line just for the day? No, no, because it'll make a mess of the wall and I'm, I've, I won't give me deposit back. <laughs> <So> <laughs> he's we'll leave that. <laughs> well, he's Thanks right. for the idea. You know he's <laughs> going around painting all the little holes, well, uh, to get his deposit back <laughs> in, the, in the wall. <laughs> he wants to get his deposit back. He's probably cost him about 400 quid redecorating. <laughs> 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 Let's remind people, Carl, of the, uh, the prizes for Rockbusters this week. It's right. dynamite stuff. We've got the David Attenborough DVD Nature Collection. We've got a number of CDs, The Best of David Bowie, we've got a Madness CD, not quite sure whether that's songs, uh, from the musical or, or their original tunes. Uh, Country Legends, two CDs there of, uh, great country music. Brilliant. And the, uh, remix to XFM compilation. Plus, of course, the big movie prize this week. Um, Hellraiser. Hellraiser. If you haven't seen it already, then I assume you <laughs> have never seen a film before. <laughs> Because I don't know if there's anyone who hasn't seen Hellraiser. <laughs> but obviously you have to be above 18 to join. Uh, Come to on then. Play the Come on so, How um, long would you want to be around for? Is this just for the... Just for the show. Couple of hours. Two hours. Just get the desk in there. Mm. A live OB. We could check out the futon. We could sing it's it check, check the vault in, right? Yeah. Oh, you might have sold that by now. But we could have someone it? come round and buy it live on air. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. It's great. Uh, great what's, uh, how, did, how did Graceland start? Because that was... <laughs> That, well, that was his normal house, and then he took <laughs> over. <laughs> right, anyway, Rockbusters. <laughs> yeah, go on. I, I give a cryptic clue. Yeah. And, <laughs> and a letter, and it makes up a band. He right? never said the word cryptic a few months ago. I love it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I feel it's like our own little Eliza Doolittle. Yes. <laughs> right, even Richard will like this one. Mm hmm. Um, here we go then. First one. There's okay. three of them. Go on. And you email in. If this doesn't turn Dicky round, nothing will. Right. This is an email only competition. Email only. Um, right, here's the first one. Uh, initial is B, so it's B. a band starting with B. Okay. Mm. And the cryptic clue is, I don't like them birds, uh, they shouldn't be allowed in this area. I don't like them birds, they shouldn't be allowed in this area. Next one. Right, the next one. Uh, he doesn't like women, yet he's got a couple of kids, that's a bit weird. <laughs> Is that a cryptic clue or is that just- <laughs> Is that just a thought, you know? point? Is that, that's, yeah. That's the cryptic clue. Okay. And the initials there are PD. Okay. And, uh, the last one, 
Uh, oh, I've got that one. That's terrible. That's terrible. Okay, quickly. Oh, <laughs> oh God. And the last one is, uh... Oh, God. That bloke who does... <laughs> Come on! <laughs> He's making me laugh. Come on, Carl. Be professional. Right, right the last one. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, he's making me laugh. Oh, come on, I'll come and read him then. No, 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 Come on, Carl. Right, here we go. They don't do this on <laughs> Blockbusters on TV, do they? No, come right. on. That bloke who does sport on telly, <laughs> <laughs> he's got a little kid, right? Uh, initials DC. Uh, what? Right? Is that, was I'm that the clue? I'm completely confused by that. Was that the clue? Yeah, that bloke who does sport on telly, yeah. he's got a little kid, initials DC. Okay, is that a band? Um, well, that is. Uh, it's, oh, well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm this is a well known sandwich. Is it, what is it? Is it Fine. a band or not? Right, so just quickly recap. That's okay. It's, 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 it's a Come D. on, Carl. Right. Come on. Quick, quick recap. The first one is B. I don't think them birds should be around in this area. Right, that's B. Right. <laughs> Second one, he doesn't like women, yet he's got a few kids. It's a bit weird. That's PD. And the final one, that bloke who does sport on the telly, he's got a little kid. Right. D. C. All right, and uh, it's Ricky Gervais at xfm.co.uk if you want to enter for a uh, Hellraiser. Oh, I tell you what, continue to do a little theme of like some old stuff people haven't heard of. If you're under thirty, you've probably never heard of this band. It's also a new thing I want to introduce. Uh, it's uh, it's um, show up Camfield. Camfield yeah. talks the talk. He doesn't walk the walk. He doesn't play some rock classics on his show because he's scared. I'm going to play the tracks that Camfield's too scared to play. Right. This is Kansas and Carry On Your Wayward Son. All right. Raw Nirvana. Amazing. We were just talking, we were getting excited about that. Yeah, you've got an incredible brilliant. voice, yes. And Grohl, drumming, it's, it's brilliant. You know you're right, the new one from Nirvana. Well, we're, it's time for Educating Ricky Part 2, isn't it? I'm yeah. excited, Carl. I'm gonna learn so much <laughs> from this. What's the choices again? What's right, you've got, uh, you've got left. Still, uh, still keep phoning your answers to, uh, uh, Email. Email, sorry, yeah. Uh, the answers to Rockbusters. Rock busters. Yeah. Right, okay, Educating Ricky Part 2. Um, right. I'm committed to this treatment. Yeah. Is, is one. Oh, I've got to go for that one. Yeah? Yeah. Or the other one is the police are causing a bit of a stare. <laughs> he still says it like it's the best thing he's ever come up with, which yeah. way it is. It could be. Right, go on then. I'm committed to this treatment. Right. Do you know the saying? Oh, is it just sayings now? Uh Are they all sayings this week? No, 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 no. They're not. Okay. No, the other one isn't. Uh Frog in your throat? <laughs> The saying, there's a frog in your throat. Yep. I, I assume, assume it's uh, when you uh, croak a little bit. You sound like a, <coughs> a frog. No, no. Right. That might sound, seem a bit weird, this one, right? But years ago. Oh, yeah. Um. So, what, what is that clue committed to this treatment? It's about frogs committed. Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably works better with a K and an yeah. ER written down. Well, also, if you'd pronounced it committed. Yeah. But uh, not committed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> committed to this treatment! <laughs> right, go on then. That's right, genius. Uh, so yeah. For uh, what? You get you go to the doctors and you go with throat certain a bit. Right. And what they did ages ago. Ages ago? What year was this approximately? We are going back quite a bit with this oh, one. Oh, okay. Go on. Um, and the doctor would say, <laughs> uh, <laughs> did history. Imagine years ago. Go on. Um, and the doctor would say, right, keep your, keep your mouth open and I need to look at your tonsils. And the jaw would ache a bit because because they weren't as quick back then because they didn't have the technology and stuff and they'd sure. have to like stare at it and study it and stuff. Mm. And like, you get an achy jaw, right? Keeping their mouth open. Yeah. Like you get, you know, yeah. you jaw Mars yeah. bar yeah. or whatever yeah. it's yeah. like yeah. that. So, um, they, they'd sat there and they used to always close the mouth and they, it used to annoy the doctor. Yeah. Right? Sure. So what they did, yeah. they used to get a toad. Right. And put it in the mouth. Rubbish. <laughs> okay. Keep, Rubbish. The, keep talking. Keep talking. And, um, that way they couldn't close the mouth because either they'd squash it. Right. Or, apparently you're not allowed to, uh, lick a toad's back. <laughs> <laughs> so the doctor would have them for breaking the law? <laughs> no, 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 but it's poisonous. Right, a toad's back. You should never lick a toad's back. Or, or, or put it in your mouth, really. Oh, just, 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 just stop no, no, for a second. Wait, wait, wait. What, what? Can I just ask one question? Go on, yeah, go just on. Ask one question. I've got a few, but no, go I, on. I, sure. M my initial thought is, it sounds like a brilliant bit of, of sort of medical, uh, knowledge there. It's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. My only thought is, how does the doctor see past the toad? Yeah. At your tonsils? What's he actually looking at with the mouth open? Surely the toad is, is, is in the way. Is it around in the way? It, it didn't say. No. Uh, sorry, and uh, my, my question, my first question is, was this on the internet? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. D Carl, that is bollocks. <laughs> that is. I mean. Uh, <laughs> well, all right then. Let's turn this round. Where does the saying uh, "you got a frog in your throat" come uh, from? Probably because you sound a bit croaky. Probably that. <laughs> probably because you sound a little bit like a frog when you've got <laughs> a sore throat. <laughs> Carl, did you not question it just for a moment when you read it? Just for a second, didn't you think that seems an odd approach? Firstly, why a frog of yeah. all the different because species? Because it's poisonous. It's poisonous. A toad. No, so a toad. So it's a toad right. as well. Yeah, well, that it worked. I'm committed. Worked. No, that, no, 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 no. I was going to change it to. Uh, have you heard the news, Toad Day? <laughs> <laughs> but I went with, I went with the frog. Oh God! Oh God! Right. So, right. so, so that's rubbish. So that's rubbish. Next, um, <laughs> can I have? Um, <laughs> Let's play a tune. Let's come up with the last one. Oh. Oh, can I, I just play? say? No, just play it. Just play it. Yeah. Yo, Carl. <laughs> I thank my uh, mate Dave who sent me an incredible four disc compilation. That was one of the tunes on there. It looks uh, professional. It's amazing. It's incredible. The effort yeah. Oh, he's gone to too commendable. much effort. Uh, ben Queller. Uh, it's a track called "In Other Words" from his album "Sha Sha." Open wide. Uh, oh dear, that's <laughs> interesting. Oh, in your junk though. You've actually got a frog in your throat. Uh, I, I didn't get there. I put it in there. <laughs> that's the most ludicrous story I've ever heard, Carl. Why don't you think when you read these things? I, d I think there's always going to be a bit of truth in all of these. I mean, that fella called up, didn't he, and said, um, he said, I'm not sure about the, you know, putting a frog in your throat if you've got, ton you know, problems with your tonsils or whatever. But he said, years ago, um, if someone had toothache, yeah. they'd get hold of a frog and strap yeah. it to the face. Yeah, sure. So maybe down the line, you know, maybe they did. Yeah. Maybe they did. Uh, uh, well, uh, well, I think Caligula made what is emperor, uh, a horse and emperor as well, but I mean, you know, it doesn't- go on. Um, Dick Anderson's been back in touch. Excellent. Um, so, I think, so he's obviously- We've turned him round, well, he loves it now, he's been he? tuning in, he, he says, loves um, it now. He says, Ricky, thanks for a really forgettable two hours of radio. I think I'll spend the time next week counting my feet. That's from Richard Anderson. So, uh, we've turned him round. We've turned no, him round. do you know where the phrase counting my feet comes from? Well, in the olden days, right, and I'm talking ages ago, when you really loved something, yeah. you used to, as a, as a sign of respect, like say a radio show, mm. you'd count your feet. Mm. Mm. And that's where that comes from, that's where Carl. It comes from. Well, what, what about the, uh, the frog thing? It's with well, a, it's with nonsense. A with a poisonous back. It's rubbish. That's true. No, the po toad toads have, um, uh, the, the secretions in there. The, the, why, the, the, why, why? But they didn't put it in people's mouths. No, so, why? well, I'll tell you why. When a, 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 a badger or a, a heron tastes the toad, it's horrible. Ugh. The toad might die, but it, it's for the good of the species, because then, Think how many toads, like looking like that, a heron could eat in its lifetime. So the fact that one toad sacrificed itself, all those other toads in that heron's manner but will be but safe. Why? Why? I mean, you know, we, we've talked about animals a lot on the show, right? Yeah. And when God made a toad, sure, right? right? Okay. Well, so on, I'm gonna stop you there. I'm gonna stop you there. Stop don't, away. Don't. Just let him carry on. Right. Okay. Like. There's, there's annoying things out there, you know, jellyfish is a big problem with me. I don't understand why, what they do in the sea and stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, but we'll, we'll leave them. Got right? a we'll, we won't, me, but go on. We won't, we won't talk about jellyfish. No. With the toad, right, um, if it's to protect itself. Yeah. Right, now no, say- protect itself, it's to protect its species. No, 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 yeah, but that, surely, right, if, if the toad had a choice, if God said, right, what I'm gonna do for you here, um, you can have something like a lobster's got claws, big claws to have a fight. <laughs> or, I can give you something that if someone's having a go at you, you've got to try and persuade them to lick you back. <laughs> as, as a defence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what use is, right, oh right. my god. Well, I, t I tell you why. What is God? The fact to? that there are still toads around is a testament to that defence working. That's all I'm gonna say, okay? If the toad had died out, you'd have a point. But they're still around. It works, all right? And all right. don't start slagging God off. <laughs> He's got a lot on his plate. He, I mean, he, basically, I think he took on too much. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly in one week. Exactly, it was crazy. <laughs> Danger High Voltage, Electric 6, XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me, Steve Merchant. Carl's getting all flustered because I put elastic band around his head. And we've had a definition of- Well, uh, hang on a second, the because there's an update to that, really. Go on. Um, we did just have, uh, one, uh, definition here of, uh, a frog in the throat. Apparently this has come from some, uh, internet site, so who knows, uh, how convincing it is, but it says frog in the throat meaning suffering from temporary hoarseness, needing to clear the throat. Origin from the old English frogger meaning hoarseness. That's from Chris. Now that sounds slightly suspect to me. Why? But, uh, frogger? I mean, it, it seems odd that it would derive from that when it so clearly appears to be 
<coughs> you sound like a frog when you when you have a sore throat. Yeah, but 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 the word frog could mm. come from frogger because it sounds I like it. I think it wasn't frogger a game you could play on the yeah, uh, yeah on the spectrum. 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 But yeah. listen, hang on, there's an update to that because uh, just to the common frog, of course, Rana Temporara, that's the Latin name. Well, you, your toad is Buffo Buffo. All you right. may be trying to show off, but I think <laughs> you're about to embarrass yourself as Go well on. because you've been slagging off young Carl. Yeah. It says here, another email, it doesn't tell us who it's from. Although it's hard to believe now, at one time, medieval physicians believed that the secretions of a frog could cure a cough if they were coated on the throat of the patient. Yep. That in itself yeah. sounds repulsive, but what makes the idea even worse is the application of the secretions. Instead of painting the treatment on, something which may also have seemed uh, rational, a live frog was placed into the mouth of the sufferer where it remained until the physician decided that the treatment was complete. Right. Uh, apparently Shakespeare's son-in-law, that's a question mark, I don't know what that means. Anyway, it's no wonder that today a froggy or croaky attempt at speech is said to be a frog in your throat. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you can see that what's happened there is Carl's misread or been slightly misinformed about uh, a medieval practice. In a yeah, sense, yeah. you're both winners, just for taking part. <laughs> 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 what's your yeah. final one, Carl? Right, the final story <laughs> is, um, the police are causing a bit of a stare. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Um, it's about this fella. Uh, I think it's in England somewhere. Yeah. Don't know when it happened, but uh... Literally ages ago or? Basic, well, it's when, I think it's when they were trying to crack down on like drunken people walking about in the street. Oh yeah. And they found this Saturday. fella. Saturday, big Saturday that one. <laughs> and uh, found this fella and uh, all the local people were saying, oh look at him wandering around, he's, he's drunk and what have you. That's not right, get the police in. He got arrested and that, and they got him in the court. And uh, the judge was there and he says, uh, so you know, what's all this? What's going on? What are you doing wandering about when you've had a drink? You know the rules. Mm. Uh, you shouldn't be doing that. You had a glazed expression on your face. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, he only, he only had a glass eye. So Did he have was, two glass eyes? No, he had one. But that okay. was, th th they, they were about to sort of lock him up. Was he a bit pissed up as well? Well, he was, he was pretty livid. <laughs> <laughs> but was he also drunk with a glass eye? No, no, that's oh, the right. weird thing. He right. wasn't even, he hadn't even had a drink. So they just thought, because he had a weird stare. Because, because his eyes were all glazed. Yeah. Well, uh, well, where'd you get this from? Why are you telling me this? <laughs> 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 no, but why are you telling me this? I don't, I don't, I mean, thank you, because it's, you know, killed a couple of minutes, but why is this educating me? What are you, what are you telling me because here? Because the, the, there's a bit of a thing there, a bit of a fable, that don't always judge a book by its cover. Yeah? So, the guy, he hadn't even had a drink. He's probably just been shopping. Yeah. Uh, walking down the street and everyone's like getting involved. Like, what's he doing? He I shouldn't. Don't, hang on, I don't understand. He's walking down the street, happens to have a glass eye. He was doing nothing else to suggest he was drunk. You don't pick people up just because their eye looks like you. But even if it happened, why are you telling me? With no, with no particular detail. Oh. I know this, but then we're gonna get- It's not enough information. I know, yeah. No, oh. th th there's a bit of a lesson there, educating Ricky. Just, you know, just watch what you say. Uh, don't always jump to conclusions. I'm just oh, 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 the, the only education I can take from that is that, um, if I ever do become a policeman, I shouldn't just arrest people because they look a bit drunk. I should just <laughs> tap their eye with a pen and go, goes, <laughs> oh, okay, on you on go. You go. Well, <laughs> on you go, yeah. Guys, can I just look at that? I'm just gonna email Richard Anderson and tell him I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Right, listen, <laughs> we're running out of time and that. Um, oh, we've got the answers. Where did the phrase we've got, frog in the throat come from? We've got, we've we've got it here, it's been, it's been told. Well, there's three. Can we and come back with that? Have well, we got anything lined up? Uh, yeah, we've got the song with a story in it. Come on, okay. Carl, let's do something. Quick, play a record. Song with a story in it. But never mind that, just, they're listening. We, this, we discussed this off air, come on. Play a record. Right, play it. It's Kings. 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 It's a song with a good story in it. You've got to listen to the words. <laughs> Carl, what was that? That was a little song that's with a story. Uh, that's another it? little feature that we do every Saturday. <laughs> Uh, so song. make sure you tune in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a song that's got a good story in it. There's a lot of music about these What's days. What's that story that, about then? What's that, that story you about? You don't know what they're going on about. Whereas that, classic from the Kinks called Lola. Yeah, what's it about? Um, I'd listened to it for the first time properly this morning. Yeah. And what I've worked out from it is, is a fellow who goes out for a normal Saturday night out, he's yeah. in Soho. Yeah. He's having a, he's having a Coca-Cola or whatever. And he, uh, yeah. he sees, he sees this woman and he thinks, yeah, she's all right. Yeah. Won't mind a bit of that. So he wanders over and he sort of gets to talking to her. He looks at her and she's got a great figure, nice face and all that. Lovely knob. And, uh, and she speaks and he yeah. goes, oh God, got a bit of a bloke's Frog voice. Throat, yeah. <laughs> not a <laughs> yeah. bit of a voice like a bloke. But he thought, but you know, that's her only down point. Sure. Mm -hmm. So he's, he dances around with her and I think he sits on his knee, I think he said. Yeah. Anyway, it turns out it's a fella. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, a sobering yeah. lesson. Yeah. Um, um, what do you take from that? 
look away sort of- if you- if you think you might be talking to, uh, a, a bloke in dress, dress, just look at it Adam- his sort of Adam's apple. Right. <laughs> okay. And he'll probably have a hairier arse than- than a woman. <laughs> yeah, I think you've gone too far away then, though. I think you've already- I think you're already- you're already getting too close. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit late to pull out. <laughs> no, pun intended, definitely. There was a pun intended. Oh, was it? Alright, was it? Yes. Oh, Alright, alright, okay, we well, don't be disgusting then. <laughs> Right. Okay. Right. Um. The the uh, results of um. We, what, we ain't got a winner for the first time. Yes, uh, we have. We've, we've, we've got loads. We've got loads of winners. No, we haven't. We've done the, this feature for three weeks. This is the first time I've um I've managed to sort of. What? Well, let's go through them then. What have they got the wrong? The first one. The right, first one. What the was first the first one? Well, hang on. Let's, let's just let's what? just let's do them in reverse order for a second. So what's what's the last one? The last one. The clue was. That bloke does, uh, does sport on the telly and he's got a little kid. What's that? That's Destiny's Child. Des, who does ITV Sport. Oh, that's he's got terrible, a tiny man. child, right? No, that's, they, that's cu- fine, yeah, they got okay, that. That's Destiny's that's Child. Des, what's the, what, Des what's the, what's the middle one? Right, Des the middle one. Child. <laughs> right. child. The second one was, yeah. uh, he doesn't like women, yet he's got a couple of kids. That, that's a bit weird. Yeah. Right? That was PD, that was Puff Daddy. That is offensive. Go on. But that, it's not Puff Daddy. It's Puff Daddy. And he's not even called that anymore, he's called P. Diddy. Well. Okay. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. But they got that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, <laughs> and if- so if I'm being tight, these lot are as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Tight means it means something in Manchester. Go on. Right. And the first- the first one that they- they're having problems with, I don't think them birds should be uh, allowed in this They've area. They've got it. Boys boy zone. It's not- it's not boy zone. It's- what's the clue again? I don't think them birds should be allowed in this area. That is perfect. A boy zone. No birds. No women. No women, yeah, birds, right? A boy zone. Sorry, Carl. If that isn't the answer, their clue is better than yours. That is brilliant. What was your- boy zone, it works perfectly. What's your answer then? Bangles. <laughs> what? I have no idea what that means. Like seagulls. So you- you don't want them in this area, so you're banning them. Bangles. <laughs> <laughs> Well, give it to Boy Zone, because Boy Zone's better. Then it's no. to be loud and scary, it's a Boy Zone. I think zone. we should have a rollover. <laughs> Carl beat them. Carl beat them. You have to use his logic, surely. But there's works. You can't do what am I thinking. No, that's not what I'm thinking. It perfectly, it works perfectly. I think you've got to give it to the, the ones that got the, the Boy Zone. Well, how about, right, because they didn't actually get into my, my head. That I'm well, not thinking, heaven right? forbid. How about we just keep back the David Attenborough, and they can have, I'll chuck in the L Razor. Right? <laughs> okay. Um, and, uh, <laughs> Blondie album and the Madness yeah, one. Yeah, okay. Pick a winner at random. Pick Steve. a winner, Steve. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Paul Sloman, who got those answers, uh, and he also says, P.S. Carl, you're a moron. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Give that to Paul, and uh, good luck to him. <laughs> right, well. He's got a crazy night l- uh, well. tonight. If we can rush these over to him, he's got uh, a crappy yes, uh, Saturday, yeah. Saturday night. Well, well, if I'm a moron, I might get your address wrong when I send them to you. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Coming yeah. right back at you, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> God. Right. Do you want to play your song? Is this oh, your God, God's annoyed, because wow, they didn't get wild. band goals. A song from, uh, a song for the lo- ladies. I think we seem to have missed this a lot of weeks, but, so uh, this sure. is, uh, I've been wanting to play it's this for It's not like to for- forget things like that. This <laughs> is a band at Frente, who kind of came and went and oh, no yeah. one was particularly interested, but they did this, do this lovely acoustic version of the new order tune, Bizarre Love Triangle, oh, right. and this just shows you how incredible the melodies and the, and the words and everything are. Brilliant, I'm uh, uh, new order, just, uh, play this card. Good night. Bye bye. Is bye. this bye. the week? Do you reckon Richard Anderson will be back next week? Yeah, Richard Anderson will not miss this show. Excellent. Coldplay, the scientist. Have you seen the video of that? Great, it's just brilliant. I, I think I might have worked out. What, what, what is, he's, he's walking backwards, it's all filmed backwards, but he's singing forward. Now the only way I can work out they've done it, without CGI in it and cheating with the lips, is that he had to Learned learn it backwards, it backwards and did it sort of like yeah, bit by bit. Did he do that? He was on Zoe's show like about a week ago or oh, something and so he, he le- sang it backwards. So he learned phrases and they filmed that. Yeah, yeah. But he didn't learn the whole song, did he? They must have- he couldn't possibly have learned the whole song. He must have like stopped it and- I don't know. I it's a great video though. They always do a good video. No, it's very good, very good indeed. So it was, uh, yeah, The Scientist on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Jemais with me, Steve Merchant Hello. and Carl Pilkerton. I had a bit of good news this morning. Go Rick. on. Um, I was on the tube coming down, and uh, I don't- uh, I don't want to sound arrogant, I don't want to sound pushy, but um, I was at Green Park, and I'm fairly certain, Rick, it's not 100% corroborated, I'm fairly certain that a woman pinched my arse. So what do you think of that? Yes. Th- th- there's a lot of pop- uh, pickpockets around Green no, Park, No, no, so no, 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 my wallet was still there. 
Really? But even if it wasn't, you know, that would have been money well spent. But, <laughs> but, 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 but the, but the wallet was still there, so how, <laughs> what do you think of them apples? Eh? So what did she just pinch off? I don't, and... I can't confirm it at this stage, uh, exactly what happened, but it certainly felt like a pinch. I looked around, there By was- a woman. There was a woman behind me. Right. She was fairly old. She was, I think, she's probably in her mid thirties. Right. Um, kind of reddish hair. Right. Uh, I don't know if she's listening. Right. But uh, she knows where I am. And, um, so I don't know how to proceed, really, Rick. I don't know if it's worth putting up some posters <laughs> around the Green Park area. <laughs> well, what if you Just do... to try and corroborate well, it. If you saw a woman pinch the lanky you... guy's arse, no, please we, get in touch. you could probably get in, uh, a contact with British Rail and look, go back over their CC exactly thing, CCTV cameras, yeah, and then they could probably zoom in and you know sort of identify and sort of birthmarks or <laughs> exactly. she might have been holding someone. Then I could hire a private eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, money well spent. <laughs> well, so, uh, so there you go. You know, I'm just so, saying. I mean, I'm just saying maybe the you know maybe things are looking up. Things it's getting are towards Christmas. D the worm has turned. Hey? I don't. I, I mean, you know, it's a little uh, sexy story to get the show going. <laughs> it's, it's but, pretty so what sexy. What do you make of that, then, Carl? Really I know that, you're Carl? quite damning. Um. What's your answer? Well, I mean, you're quite a, quite a tall fella. Sure. So, she must have really wanted to sort of reach up and <laughs> and have a pinch. Hmm. Do you know well, what you mean? think she, she was a dwarf? dwarf. She, she did it with her teeth. He didn't say she was a dwarf. No, no. But Steve's taller than you know his arse. Yeah, but his arse here. isn't six foot nine, is it? Well, his arse is about three foot off the floor. F four foot. What? Four foot off off the floor. Uh, no, I don't think so. About three. She'd have to be a midget to have to reach up to pinch Steve's arse. He is very tall, but yeah. I don't know what your point is there, Carl. You're just you're just trying to you're, you know you're just. Uh, yeah, I, I think maybe just a little bit jealous. Just a little bit uh, of jealousy. Well, do you know what happened to me on the way in? Go mm. on. Homeless person called me a dickhead. <laughs> How did he know? <laughs> <laughs> do you know him? Is right. that why? He's a local. He's like the local big, big well. issue fella. Oh yeah, yeah. And he know he knows me. He sees me walking up and down the oh, street. Oh, that's how he knew you. Right. So um, so I normally have a have a bit of a chat with him and that. And I walk past him, and um, <laughs> we're, we're, you know I can I can be a little bit cheeky with him because I've been cheeky with him in the past with stuff. Um, you pinched his arse. No, no, <laughs> just you know saying stuff like God, you're always there. I mean, you got home to go to and. Oh. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah, no, just he, breaking the ice. Just breaking the ice. Go no, on. He yeah. knows, and he'd laughed at that right yeah, last time, yeah, so I thought yeah. I can be a bit cheeky, right? So he goes, uh, he goes, do you, want a, do you want a big issue? I said, nah. He said, come on, I've got loads of them, right? So I, I sort of said, oh, w when I was a kid, and I used to do a free paper round the free papers one. I said, just put them in the bin and go home. <laughs> right? And he went, yeah, but how am I going to get any money doing that, you dickhead? <laughs> you see, yeah. I can see his point. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. is homeless and having to sell newspapers to get 50p or a quid or whatever. Yeah, uh, and, and sometimes I treat him, right? And today I didn't have any money. I had a takeaway last night and I normally give them a quid and I felt bad not being able to do that because I didn't have any money on me last right, night. Right. I couldn't look him in the eye. Did you night. explain this to the homeless person, the traumas of the takeaway <laughs> without the tip? <laughs> Did you explain that, you know, y you've had it hard as well. I yeah. go, look, you don't I know- I had what food delivered to my warm flat. Yeah. It was Yeah, you don't know what that's like. You don't know what the trauma is because you can't have food delivered to your flat because you haven't got one. So please don't look at me like that. You should have said. But most people ignore him. At least I gave him a bit of acknowledgement and sort yeah, of- Yeah, took the- took I, the mick. Yeah. I didn't think I was. I just was being mm. friendly. Yeah. No, I know. You've got to be careful with the homeless because I- this is- I, this is true and this is- I- you know when the clocks went- was it- the clocks went back recently? Yeah. So you got an extra hour in bed? Yeah. And um, I was at cash point with a friend of mine and there was a homeless person sat by the cash point <laughs> and um, was, you know, we were getting some money out and she said spare some change and my friend's like, oh, he's a bit awkward, he's just trying to make conversation with her. He went, oh, clocks go back, extra hour in bed. Oh no. I gave her two quid. I felt so bad. <laughs> oh, he didn't God. do it intentionally. He didn't no, realise no. what he'd said. I just know, making just conversation. Bumbling. It's uh, tricky making conversation with the homeless because there's so many areas you ca you've got to avoid. You know, know, what was on the telly. Yeah. You know. Although I get recognised by homeless people and they are, are they, I don't know where- Well, you've got to remember that's very much your demographic, Rick. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know, Dixon's people who watch TV through the window in Dixon's. Yeah, in Dixon's. Yeah, there was a- the Ridge of Aces on. Yeah. The well, they, on. they can smell the alcohol on you. They think <laughs> you're one of them. <laughs> oh, I've had to cut down on that. I've all been really good with this training thing. The boxing. I, oh, oh, play a record and I'll tell you about that. I had my first week of training. I'm- I'm in trouble. I'm struggling. What do you want to play? Oh, we've well, we got a bit of, uh, have we? Stone Roses, classic. Feeder, come back around. XFM 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington.
all right? Uh -huh. Yeah, so I, st I did my first week of training for this, um, charity boxing. Um, for those people who don't know, I'm, I'm fighting Grant Bovey, uh, Anthony Turner's husband. Um, it's, it sounds arbitrary, but it's actually because he's, uh, at 41 and about my weight, a bit taller, I think. But, uh, and we've never done it before, but, um, no, it'd be, it'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Battling someone for charity. <laughs> yes. Um, no, but, um, it, 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 it's, and I can't believe my luck, because I've, you know, I've been a fight fan for, like, 30 years, and, um, and they took me shopping, they bought me all the gear, and, uh, the training's great. It's really hard. I mean, it's, uh, I imagine it'd be really hard, and it's probably slightly harder than I imagined. And the only bit I like, so the, 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 I, I, I don't like all the exercise and all the stuff you've got to do. I like the bits that look a bit like something I've seen in a Rocky film. Right, sure, You know, sure. we did that thing with the, uh, the string along the ring and I have to pop up and punch and that. Right. That was great. Right, nice. I, skipping's not bad. I'm trying to get good at that. I like that ball that you go... Yeah, yeah. Are you any really good at that? Uh, I'm getting, getting good at it. Uh-huh. And well, what's well, that teaching you, that particular thing? It's just uh, the rhythm, is it? Uh, it's, it's rhythm and, of course, your arm are up for that long, so it, it, you've got to keep your guard up all the time. Yeah. So that teaches you to keep and your you arms were, up. And you were, uh, up at six this morning, you broke some raw eggs into a cup and <laughs> you ran up the steps of the town hall, didn't you? I know. Well, 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 those are people following me, and I shouted, Bovey! <laughs> at exactly. the top. No, I'm not going mad, I'm not going mad, just, sure. just, 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 you know, once every, you know, every other day. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm struggling now, I've, 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 I woke up saying it was like I'd been hit by a car. Yeah. Just everything aches, so the muscles you haven't used. But, um, anyway, I had a meeting, uh, the first time with the, with the people, the program makers, because they're following me for a month and everything, and Grant as well. Um, and they said, oh, um, uh, you'll need a sort of nickname, just for a laugh. And I went, oh, what's Grant using? And they said, oh, I think it's going to use gorgeous Grant Bovey or Grant. I went, oh, I don't know, um, oh, gosh, I better go, I better go against that. Um, what about, um, Ricky Gippo Gervais? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, uh, uh, like, yeah, so, anyway, I had a freaking with Frank Maloney meeting the next day, and, uh, it's sort of like, uh, you know, you've got to do this nickname, and the bloke said, oh, I checked out that name, you can't call yourself Gippo. I went, well, of course I can't, <laughs> I was joking. He went, well, I said, well, it's racist, I was joking, I was making a joke about me, but, and he went, oh, I don't know. And then, uh, I went down to get the, um, Buy all the gear from this shop. They had the dressing gown made. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was picking all the stuff. I was going, oh look, that's like Naz War. Oh look, that's like Ali War. In the and I'm going, I have that. I have that. Picking all the gear and everything. And um, there was a couple of boxers down there, sort of like looking at me, thinking, who's that fat bloke taking yeah. up boxing at forty? And uh, I said, oh, I wasn't. It? And uh, the bloke went, oh yeah, how are you doing? I went, oh yeah. So how long have you been in the game? So I've been boxing twenty years. So how many fights you had? He said about forty. And oh, God, I said, oh yeah, help me. I've got to think of a nickname. And I thought, I said, uh, I thought, uh, Ricky Balboa Gervais. He went, right. I went, or Ricky Marciano Gervais. He looked at me and went, what about Ricky Martin? <laughs> 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 oh, uh, dear. Absolutely justified. Yeah, I, I, I'm not respected yet in the boxing world. <laughs> no, sure. But, I mean. It's only a matter of time. Once well, they I see think they're going to go. see you fight, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gonna change. So, uh, that have you good. actually, have you actually punched anyone yet? Have you actually- Not any, no, no, I haven't punched, punched I've punched pads, and I've punched the, uh, the bag, and I've sort of sparred and that. I know, you can get a chance to well, punch Well, someone. as I suspected, um, my, my punching power's alright, but my fitness is, I mean, it felt like I was smoking. Yeah. You know, but there's, you know, bits of lung that haven't been, had oxygen in them for 20 years. Yeah. And it's ridiculous. And also, because it's not only it's being filmed, but there's the other fighters there that are ridiculous. They're like machines, mm, right? Mm. And it's that thing, I go, I can go, right, I can, I can come out on top, but die now of a heart attack, but never give up. Or yeah. I can sit down and go, I'm sorry, I'm, I yeah. feel ill. And I chose that one, and of course they took the mix. Well, of course. But absolutely. I mean, you know, soon. Uh, you know, as I said, I haven't got the respect yet of the boxing <laughs> fraternity, <laughs> but and it's- how long have you got them before- Four uh, weeks. Okay, so, yeah. and, and do they think that they can turn you around health-wise in that time? Uh, no, they're going to be realistic. coming out on the Zimmer no, they're gonna, they're the gonna, you know, they're, they're gonna teach me the ba basics and see how it goes, you know, right. but I mean, um, you know, And I'm each sure. round is four seconds, is that right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, two four-second <laughs> yeah, rounds. with a, with a yeah. two-hour break in between <laughs> each one. <laughs> <laughs> sit down um, meal. So, uh, give the number, I want, I want serious suggestions of my fighting name. Nothing insulting, so what we can actually use. Well, let's give out the, the email, BBC. that's always the easiest. Ricky yeah, exactly, Dr. Yeah. at xfm.co.uk. What's the number, Carl? Um, oh eight seven hundred eight hundred one two three four. And it doesn't have to be in the middle, it could be at the beginning, like... Okay. <laughs> the Rage. Okay. Ricky, yeah, yeah, Ricky yeah. the Rage. Ricky the Tits. <laughs> 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 sure. Ricky the Man, rest, player yeah. record. <laughs> 
Yeah, it gives a good us. day, yeah, Ice Cube. Yeah. Uh, it talks to me about my life. Yeah, in the <laughs> yeah, yeah. A <laughs> no. couple of emails are already coming in, Rush. They're flooding in, Rick, yeah. inevitably, uh, as boxing name suggestions for you. This is one from Matt, I think. Uh, he's given a couple, actually. Ricky the Pudding Gervais. <laughs> uh, Ricky Big Mac Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> um... I, the, there's a theme here, Ricky Pasty Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> the Pasty. I quite like the Pasty. That's it comes great, the Pasty. <laughs> the thing is, Carl said, he said, the thing is, if you have a really good nickname, it's embarrassing when you lose. Whereas if you just call yourself yourself, it's not so embarrassing when you lose. Carl, this is doing so good <laughs> for my ego. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If you have, like, Killer Gervais. Yeah, and then you end up, like, vomiting. Yeah. Choking on your own vomit upside down, exactly. hanging out the ring. What happens if you win? Do you have to... Whereas properly. there goes the pasty being stretchered off <laughs> in the first two minutes. <laughs> yeah. It's not such a problem. <laughs> there he is being lightly basted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and chuck down a mine. <laughs> what do you mean, what do I have to do? Say if you, say if you beat Grant, say. Yeah. Say if that, if that happened. Yeah. yeah right. Um, <laughs> you, what, what happens next? What do you mean, what happens next? What? Do you think, oh, this is a... A contention fight for no, the no, big no. one. But do they, <laughs> they, 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 yeah. Well, th then we make Ricky too. <laughs> <laughs> No, but you know, <laughs> do you know if they're planning on making more money? Because it's for comic relief, isn't it? So what happens on the night? No, it's, it's, no, it's for charity. Of our comic choice. relief would make sense. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Whatever, right? Yeah, it was last time. I think it was last time. Is it sport we're... relief? It's not sport. It was relief. last time. Oh, right. Yeah, but this is. I think this is a program where. The... And, and how do we? Sorry, how does this? How do you make money for charity from this? Do we? Do we pay to? So sort of for how many punches to the head you're going to take? Or no, no. I just how think long you're going to last? I assume the BBC donate. Money or someone, a sponsor or whatever. So I don't know. Just right. donate because it's actually a program. This is more about a program with a, I think I see, a, I a see. charity angle. So uh, yeah. So as if if you get like killed, there's more money and food to go around. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but no, I mean the thing is, what's the next step? Because if they go like right, yeah, well done, you've won. Thank you very much. Well, Carl, what do you expect? That, that, that it's winner stays on? <laughs> yeah. Like, in a fair, where I go out there and I'd let people right, punch me in the- Right, on Manning. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then my twin gets up. Yeah. What, what do, what, it's just a- it's a program. He's it's not like, gonna turn it's, pro. It's like faking it. Yeah, but what's the point if he's not gonna go anywhere? Well, look- a what, a sorry, him fighting Grant Bovey in a ring is not entertainment enough. <laughs> yeah, what's the matter with you, Carl? Grant's gonna get his face pummeled in. That's gonna be no, hilarious. But, right, when I did boxing at the youth club. Once, right. when he did boxing, he fought once, he fought a little weak kid, because it was his first day, battered him. Next week it was someone else's turn and he got battered and he left. <laughs> yeah, I said, right, I've had enough. But there was-, there was <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There, there was a ladder there that I had to work, right? And I decided after the sort of the, the first step, I thought, it's not for me, this. Mm. Yeah. But, if you win, it's all kind of like, right, well... Yeah, the world's you your oyster. But it's a program. It's just a one-off program, isn't it? It's, it's like, it is like you got to treat it like faking it. Yeah, but faking it, right, that little gay fella who ended up being a doorman, he's actually doing that as a proper job now or something. He loved it so much. <laughs> Do you seriously think I have any <laughs> intentions of getting into the fight game and leaving <laughs> entertainment behind? Well, what's the point, then? <laughs> <laughs> what do, what do you mean? What's the point in what's what's the point in watching television? It's entertainment or educational. I, I watch it to sort of soak in. Well, this is educational. I'm learning a lot. I am actually learning a lot, and it's I can't believe my luck. I've got professionals telling me, you know, hopefully how to lose weight and punch hard. That's just fun. It's like like having golf lessons. Right. But say, I mean, here's an example. Go it's on. A, it's a nice way to plug it. We've got rockbusters coming up in about ten minutes or something, right? <laughs> Now, Look forward to that. <laughs> people, yeah. people email in, and they don't just do it for fun. They do it because they know they've got some good prizes lined up. Right. So they're doing it because it gets them something. Yeah. My my prize is that I've learned something in life. I've gone through an experience, and hopefully I'll come out in some way better if I don't <laughs> get mashed. That's it. That's uh, the prize. That's why we do anything, isn't it? I think this is this is an example of you, Carl. Is that you give up too easily. Yeah, you, know, and you, you suck don't, up the box. You, you gave that up straight away. You think there's no point in anything? I did. I did Crusaders for. a- I think I, I lasted that out for about four weeks. What's, What's Crusaders? That? Well, it was my mate, right? He uh, <laughs> it was it, it was religious. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I, I'm not really. Um, but no, I mean you believe in ghosts though, and shadows pushing people off bikes. But go on. But it's the same time. I think I told you once before that I went to the church with this lad because right. I swore, and he said he was going to tell me dad. Yeah. Effing <laughs> and jeffing. So he said if you're going <laughs> to 
church. <laughs> Is that how they get people to church nowadays? I, l- I love that what kid that, yeah, he hasn't got, got, uh, got the idea of the protection game. <laughs> There's nothing in it for him. Either you turn to religion or I tell your father. <laughs> right, so, uh, so I went to church with him and that, and then the next week he said, I know that was rubbish and you didn't enjoy it. It's when I got kicked out for messing with the tennis ball in the pews, right? I don't think we've heard that, but I don't think we could possibly <laughs> right. go into that now. Summed it up. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Well, no. No, we, come on. That's we'll it. come back that's, to that. That's, 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 you okay. had a tennis ball once in pubes. <laughs> no, in the pubes. pubes. In the pubes, pubes right. Yeah. But anyway, so <laughs> I, I went there and I said, I don't think much of this church thing. It's a bit boring. <laughs> um, Sorry. And so you went to church and you ended up in the Crusades. <laughs> No, the, the crusa- it's called, what's it's called the, crusade? the Crusaders. What it is, it's meant to be the fun part of religion for kids. Uh-huh. Right? right. And my mate said, oh, you want to come along? It's, uh, you know, you go on a Friday night yeah. and, uh, do it on a Sunday as well. Brilliant. Right. So I went on the Friday night, it was brilliant. They had Sabutio, <laughs> uh, played table tennis in this dead big old house. And what do they do right. at the end? Say, so, I hope you enjoy yourself. Remember God <laughs> gave you yeah. all this. Well, yeah. it's sort of, you know, enjoy the simple things in life. You don't need computer games. You can play, uh, table tennis and, uh, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. talk with your friends. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's all right. I so, think you'd be happy in a young offenders institution. <laughs> 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 you get to clean uh, the toilets there But as don't well. forget, Carl, I think God invented Nintendo too. <laughs> right. Well, anyway, so that was all right. I loved it on the Friday. Yeah. I mean, mate said if you go for four weeks, four, like, weeks in a row without missing a day. Yeah. Uh, you get a free badge, you know. And like, salvation. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like <laughs> yeah. all this sort of being stuck in stuff. Do you know right. what I mean? That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, every day. Yeah. Right. So, um, anyway, so, so you've got to come again on Sunday, so I thought, well, we'll have another game of table tennis, it'll be all right. Yeah. So anyway, I go on the Sunday. <laughs> who so, was this? Who was this servant of God? Right. <laughs> 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 I go on the Sunday, it's like a totally different club. There's no table tennis. <laughs> That's how they trick you. No Sabutio. Yeah. They start handing out Bibles. Oh. And it's I like a timeshare like, thing. Hang on a minute, right? <laughs> they trick you. So, so I didn't go again on Sundays. I used to just go on the Friday. Just go on the Friday. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. I'm amazed no one else saw through that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, there used to be loads there on the Friday, so I bet they, they, won't, they won't even notice if yeah. I'm not like. Yeah, do you sure. Know what I mean, <laughs> that I'm not showing up on a Sunday. So anyway, uh, carried on. It was just this kid in the vicar. Oh, I love that. You you got one over on the church. So yeah. I, I was loving it, right? Playing table tennis and that, yeah, and then no uh, on a Sunday. Phew, they found out where I live, and the head fella started coming round, knocking on the door. God, <laughs> <laughs> he's everywhere. Rick. <laughs> Why did he knock? The fella, for like this. <laughs> the fella <laughs> who like ran the club, he started coming round, knocking on the door, and I saw him coming up the path, and I said to my mum, "Oh, it's the fella from the Crusaders." Yeah. She didn't even know what I was. No, in. she, she, she was thought like, you were off nicking hubcaps and stealing cars. She yeah, didn't yeah. Have a clue what I was it's talking about. You've been going to church. You, to church? I don't you believe little bleeder. That's not how we brought you up. <laughs> So, uh, I said, look, just tell him I'm, I'm not in, tell him I'm not in, and she had to keep doing this, and they were coming round every Sunday to try and make me, like, go, yeah. go on a Sunday. It was yeah. really important that I went and that yeah. I was abusing the system and all this. Anyway, I didn't go, um, and then- Why didn't they just tell you on the next time we turned up on a Friday? <laughs> yeah. No, well, I, I d- because there was so many people there on a Friday, you just get mixed in in the crowd. Yeah. Right? Right. It was jammed. It was well popular on a Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But anyway, on one of the Sundays, um, it was, it was quiet for a bit. And, um, they stopped coming round, so I thought, right, I can go out again, right, on a Sunday, because I used to avoid hanging around the house in case- What it, sort yeah. of reign of terror <laughs> is, this is this? incredible. <laughs> right. yeah. so, so I thought, right. It's like the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, great, they forgot about me. Yeah. Uh, everything, I can carry on in sort of normal life now. Yeah. And I was playing out in the avenue, fella comes round. Oh. And he goes, there you are, you, oh, you, you know, you're always busy on a Sunday. Uh, you enjoy Fridays and that, don't you? I was like, yeah, yeah. He goes, well, come on, you've got to come with me. And I couldn't get out of it. No. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's like, what could I say? Charlie says. Right? Yeah. So, um, anyway, he nearly killed me in a car crash. <laughs> so that was the excuse I used next time. He had a Mini, right? And right. he was driving us there, and he hit the curb, nearly sort of turned over the Mini. Oh. Right? It was like three of us in the back. So, I said- <laughs> That record? So. Next time, was it came, a joke? next time he came round to pick us up, I said, look, really enjoyed it and that. I said, but ever since that journey, I really, you know, I don't, I don't want to get in the car with you again because you scared me a bit. And right. I said, all right then. I didn't have to go again. That's all right, isn't it? That's extraordinary. Yeah. He almost killed you in a car crash. It's a parable. Thank, thank God no one was hurt. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I remember that, that- Your life moves in incredible ways. Yeah. Rather like God. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh. So they're, prob- they're probably round there now, aren't they? Going, is he coming tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> what we got? Well, 
Uh, will we talk about the prizes next? Well, let's uh, talk about the prizes. We've got the, yeah, we've got the big game rock busters coming your way soon, Rick. I know you're excited about that. And uh, is there more educating Ricky this week? Have you got that planned? There is. We are struggling on that feature a bit now because I feel like we, we've covered a lot of topics. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Well, I know about hairy Chinese kids yeah. and deaf people that hit their head and can hear again. Sure. So I don't think there's lots more to learn <laughs> in life. The amazing Carl Pilkington. Right. Prizes. Yes. Them. Rockbusters. Yeah. It's, uh, one of the big exciting quiz shows, and this may be one of your last chances to play. There's rumours that it's gonna get ditched, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> rumours there uh, that Carl Wilkinson, the creator and mastermind behind it, has already <laughs> grown tired of it. <laughs> it's off and away. You heard them earlier on, the very best of the Stone Roses from that. We played, sure, uh, sure. I Wanna Be Adored. That's one of the prizes. That's a nice little, uh, Christmas compilation. Second hand now then, really, isn't it? Second hand, yeah. yeah. 50 years of the greatest hit singles. I'll tell you there's some great stuff on here. Oh, Opens, Rick, with, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. One of the, not, one of the big, biggest, uh, number ones of all time. If you've not heard that in enough already. You're followed then by, uh, John Lennon's Imagine. Candle in the Wind, Elton John. You've got, uh, all, all on sorts one of CD, Stephen. Well, it's, are they these are some of the greatest rock minds. They've, rock they've chosen some of the best songs by some of the best artists. Go on. Uh, Paul McCartney's Mull of Kintyre. <laughs> <laughs> That's on there. Uh, we've got, uh, let me see. Culture that is pretty impressive though, because they are real big classic number ones as opposed to, you know, the, 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 the song by the artist they didn't really care about. You see those things on, uh, this is not available in the shops and it's, you know, the second second best song artists have done. It seems odd that we're giving it away on XFM because it includes, uh, Robbie Williams' Angels, yeah. uh, Atomic Kittens' Hole Again, Spice sure. Girls' Wannabe, Connie Minogue's uh, Can't Get You Out of the Head, and I think it closes, well it almost closes with Steps Tragedy. That's the penultimate track. It ends though. Uh, any ideas? Yeah. It's a big, big hit single. But Do they know it's Christmas Band Aid? Perfect for your uh, Christmas sure, party. Sure, sure, uh, sure. We've sure. also got the uh, Groove Armada current album, is that yeah, from there? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And signed by the man himself. The Big Beach Boutique, uh, DVD, Fatboy Slim's, uh, concert on that Brighton Beach. And, uh, there's all kinds of treats on there. Uh, and includes a, um, an audio commentary <laughs> by, Nor by Norman Cook. I don't know how that works. Three hours of him going, this is where the needle almost jumps. Yeah, Watch exactly. this I did a little bit of scratching. I'm not very good at scratching, but just look uh, forward to that. I'm putting a, putting a different trap. You'll see me there. Yeah. There's the crowd loving it. Here's me. I'm just like, this is where I, I put, I go from, uh, I go from Conga Squad to Basement Jacks. Yeah. Look forward to that. Oh, this one of my own. I'll pop on what you see there. I've got, I've got Praise You Ready on it. <laughs> yeah, I've just got, got that. That's slightly dusty. I've just had to wipe that down with a damp rag. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> I look forward to that. <laughs> Plus, uh, I suppose this is good if you're a fan. This is a uh, box set of the first series of Linda Green. I think a new series starts this week or has already started. I'll yeah. tell you what I found while I was clearing up, Rick, because I noticed there's not a big movie this week. We normally give away a big movie. Uh, I was moving house this week and yeah. I found a video that you're more than welcome to if you're a fan. But it um, runs. No, it stars Kurt Russell. Executive decision. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that to give away if you're interested. Uh, executive decision with Steven Seagal in a uh, cameo as well. So, uh, <laughs> oh, great. I think he's I think he's on TV this week, Rick. So if you <laughs> miss it this coming Channel Friday, five? you don't tape it this Friday. Well, here it is on video. Bring it in because I think Carl's excited about that. I think Carl would like to win that. There's wouldn't some yeah? Great prizes well, there. How about if you come up with an extra Rockbusters today? For the, for like the bonus prize. I don't think I'm the man for the job, Carl. I think it has to come from your unique yeah. take on the world. Carl, you don't, I don't think you've quite worked out why you're funny <laughs> and why things you do are good. Go on then. Right, you ready then? So, uh, just in case, uh, you haven't heard it before, I give you some initials of a band or an artist. We're not doing rock buses now, are we? Yeah, I thought, well, we'll just. Oh, no, we'll we keep that going. Then we got, well, I, I love educating Ricky, that's my favourite thing now. Well, what, what do you want to do, Steve? I mean, oh, I it's, it's, it's just, just, just the two clues. It's, it's just that you've, it, it's, it's sort of bigged up the prizes. And, and so this be... is only by email. Give the email address out now for people to write it down now, Carl. Right, it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Ricky.gervais right. at xfm.co.uk. Only entries on email. Yeah. You're gonna get three clues, you've gotta get them all right. And you win all the You stuff. win all those prizes we just said. Okay, Carl, go on then. Right, and just a quick example, uh, the th one of the first ones we did, it was like AK and the clue was Exploding Pet. Yeah. And it was Atomic, atomic Kitten, kitten. kitten, right? Yeah. So you understand how it works now. These right. are your clues. The first one, <laughs> um, that army has got some well nice trenches. <laughs> so that army has got some well nice trenches. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. And the initials there are <laughs> DW. Do you okay. write some of the questions for 15 to 1? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. So that army has got it's some got a well similar nice phrasing. trenches. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the second one. Um, what are the initials there, Carl, on that person? DW. DW. Yeah. Right. Uh, the second one. The top of them curtains are all wrecked. All the materials all worn. <laughs> He acts it out though. Clue. We've got to get him on telly. We have got to yeah. get him on telly because yeah. his little face and his, so that's, his gestures. That's and the second on. one. The initials being HV. Okay, the top of those curtains are wrecked. 
All the materials all worn out. Right, HV. <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and the final one, um, <laughs> here's the final clue. Um, I was in Texas the other week, right? <laughs> I tripped and landed on my knees in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's uh, the initials? WH for that one. So I was in Texas, I tripped up, landed on my knees in a puddle. So that's WH. Incredible. <laughs> He's got it! Is it great? It's fantastic! It's okay, time to join the record. Time to join the record. you're playing for uh, these okay. uh, compilation albums. We've got the Fat Boy Slim DVD, Linda Green oh. on VHS. And of course, uh, <laughs> Executive Decision starring Kurt Russell as well. <laughs> oh, God! Bob Dylan. Just like a woman on XFM 104.9. Couple more names, uh, boxing nicknames for you, Rick. I think this is from Josh. Uh, Ricky Blue Eyes, I quite like. Uh, and uh, he's also put Toad Rage. <laughs> 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 which, uh, <laughs> which I quite like. Oh. Uh, I'll tell you, our number one fan is emailed again. I'm pleased to uh, announce. Oh. Richard Anderson, Dickie Anderson. He was in touch Anders last week. Anders is back. Anders he is back. loves this show. He's such a fan of the show. And this week he's emailed in what actually is the point of your show? Is it to confuse, irritate, depress, or what? All of those things, Dickie. Thanks for uh, noticing. Oh, he loves this show. <laughs> he's such a fan. He's such a fan. He's, he's Because last week, you remember, Carl, he emailed in to say that he'd rather spend his time counting his feet than listen to this show. Presumably he's done that. Yeah. And he's emailed in. Well, how many feet? Incredible. Yeah. yeah. No, but he's, he loves this he's show. Good, yeah. So, uh, thanks, uh, R.A. Thanks for listening. See you later. Missy Elliott. Work it on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Educating Ricky? Yeah. Should I do a bit of that? Well, they're, 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 the clues are coming in f uh, furious. The yeah. answers, I should yeah. say. Yeah. 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 So go on in. Oh, this is what Yeah, Rockbusters is well underway, Carl. Don't worry, you've done yeah. your work now. Okay. Right, well, come on. Um, right, educating Ricky. This is my favourite bit now. Uh, You're just going to tease us, aren't you, with three uh, headlines? If and I'm going to choose one, and then we got the other two as well. Yeah, that's the way it works. And at the end of it, you learn some stuff. Like I say, I'm struggling a bit with <laughs> with, with knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at last, he confesses. <laughs> yeah. Go um, on. So the three headlines for you to pick from. We've got um, first one. Um, we'll have a big fire tomorrow. <laughs> 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 I got a, I got a feeling there's some vegetables involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, go on. Maybe. Second one, um, um, he's a bit of a nuisance. Okay. All right. All right. And, uh, <laughs> third one, um, <laughs> I'll bake on in the morning, if you're sick of having me here. Oh, that one. I'll bake on in the morning, if you're sick of having me right, here. Right, I'm having that one. That's brilliant. Right, well, it's a saying. <laughs> Do you know, um, cold shoulder? Giving someone the cold shoulder? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, if you have someone round at your house and, um, you know, you, you try to get rid of them and they're hanging around and stuff and you're like, oh, I wish, I wish they'd go, I'm tired and that. Well, years ago, um... <laughs> when? Literally years ago. Well, ages ago. Sort of, uh... Old times. I think it said medieval times. Yonks ago, then. Yonks ago. Yeah. <laughs> medieval, we, yeah. we, we're going back quite a bit on this Well, one. you know when you find out these books, well, it just popped down when it was. Just make a note. I don't think it says all the time. It just sort of says, you know, a few years back. Yeah. Oh, no, right. no, it doesn't. Well, Never. Uh, all right, I'll make an effort next week. Okay. Right? So, oh, it's annoying that because my girlfriend said to me, just make a note at the time and he'll stop having a go at you. Yeah. Yeah? And I kind of thought, oh, it, it's all right. Didn't, didn't listen. <laughs> I don't think it matters anyway in this one. We're looking at the saying, right? So yeah. it's giving someone a cold shoulder, shoulder, right? <laughs> and what it is, right, ages ago, uh, there wasn't <laughs> enough houses for people. Right. Because there wasn't much money being made, you know, there weren't big businesses, people weren't earning good money like they are now, so there wasn't as many houses, right? right. So what you, what you ended up getting is like, uh, you know, the rich people having a nice place to live. Oh. And the poor people were like wandering about, you know, looking for places to live and that. And what they ended up doing is, they had like, uh, people would go around to the mate's house and say, look, I haven't got anywhere to live, it's a bit cold, can you let me stay, right? Mm. So they'd go, uh, oh, all right, then you can stay a couple of days. But they ended up staying for, like, weeks. Yeah. Right? So, to sort of get rid of them, what they'd end up doing, they'd be making the dinner, and they'd, uh, be making a lovely dinner, like, a uh, bit of meat, nice warm meat, and, uh, nice veg, yeah. gravy, and This happened every time, did it? <laughs> it <works. laughs> This is where the saying came this from. This is what happened, Rick. This, this is, is what happened. happened every time. It was in that vague book. Right. <laughs> the book of vague sayings <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. Right, so, uh, so yeah, so they'd be making a nice meal, but what they did, they looked after all the family, yeah. but the person who won't go home, mm. they just give them some, like, sort of a cut-off 
of cold meat. Right. So they'd say, you're giving them the cold shoulder. Oh. Uh, meaning. Right. <laughs> okay, that's, that's rubbish. Um, okay. Uh, absolute. <laughs> Carl, no, why no, no. does that necessarily work? Yeah, yeah. Why, is do, why, why do they always, in every situation when you want to get with a lodger, well, still feed him every day, but make the meat lukewarm. <laughs> so we They always to... leave then. Yeah. Oh, this food's lukewarm. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna become homeless and again, wandering the streets. And they go, are you giving me the cold shoulder? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you want me to leave? Yes, just say leaving. No, I like- I like to do it cryptically. <laughs> that way, in years to come, <laughs> someone will have a little saying about it. Well, yeah, that- that was our bacon in the morning. Uh, yeah. If you've got enough for me, we'll leave that. Well, we'll-, we'll, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> bacon in the morning! I'll oh, bacon in the morning if you've had enough of me! <laughs> so, so uh, come back. What are the others? Just tease us again with the others, we'll come got, back to those. You've got, he's a bit of a nuisance. <laughs> and, Brilliant. Uh, and, uh, we'll have a big fire tomorrow. <laughs> nice, looking forward okay. to that. Okay. <laughs> Nirvana, yeah. in their version of the man who sold the world to David Bowie Ching. Yeah. Good. Good tune. Good tune. Taken good from that, uh, new Nirvana compilation. I like that version, I like the David Bowie version. You can't decide, can you, Rick? You're torn. In fact, I like the Lulu version as well. Is there a Lulu version? Maybe we should play that one. Wow. Week. Yeah. Was this recorded what in the seventies? I think she recorded it about the same time right. as David Bowie. Uh, I don't. I don't know if he released it as a single. I think it was just on. Uh, yeah. So uh, off the album. Interesting. Carl. Carl, Carl is studying. Okay. What's the next yeah. one? What's the next educating well, wiki? I don't know. Uh, see, like I say, I was lo looking around and this stuff that is interesting. Right. I was looking on the web. But there's no point. Well, it's just I found one about, um, What's the point? About a lad who, uh, eight years old, yeah. but he's still breastfed. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if you can get anything out of that. <laughs> Is that what his mum said? <laughs> 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 So, what do you mean I don't know if I can get anything out of that? You don't need to. No, it's, it's just that, you know, Where did you read that? That was on the internet. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Um, You're always unspec unspecific when you mention it. It's just it was on the internet. Well, yeah. I'm trying to think what I put in. I think I put in why to see if I'd confuse a computer. Ah! <laughs> 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 Go! You are... No, I did, I did, it, no I, honestly. I did a search, put in why, and I ca he came <laughs> up with funny things that, like, why d is this person doing that, why is that... And it had a picture of this eight-year-old lad, sort of, you know, <laughs> on his mum's nipple. And, um, it was saying, you know, <laughs> is, is, is this healthy? <laughs> mm. Mm. You sure that wasn't asking you that question? <laughs> Uh, what? You, but I put in why? Just to confuse the computer. The computer. <laughs> like, we were going, what do you mean? Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, look, but, yeah. Uh, Last week, uh, I was walking, um, uh, home with him, and I went, uh, I got a, he was saying something stupid, and I went, I've got a competition for next week. Let's do a phone in, and it's called Carl Pilkington, genius or fool. Yeah. Right? And he went, no. No. I went, why not? He went, well, uh, it'd be confusing because they say, there's no difference between genius and being a fool. <laughs> <laughs> you do though, don't you? No, that's, that no, no, but it, it's rubbish and people say there's a fine line between madness and genius and, mm. you know, it's a ridiculous soundbite. Uh, they don't say there's a fine line between a genius <laughs> and an idiot. Well, the people who do are idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what, what would you do there though, just to sort of wrap that little thing up, what would you do? That lad loves his mum's... His mum's milk. What are you ta what are you asking me to come up with? <laughs> no, I'm just- A title for the- the story- No, 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 it's what? just- it's just what would you do? Right? What do you I mean what would I do? Well, it's causing a bit of a problem in the area, right? <laughs> what area? In- in America, I think it was. Oh, America a problem, are they? George Bush is worried about this kid well, who's no, breastfeeding right, at eight. Imagine it like this, right? Right. But, so, Carl, what are you asking me? About this spurious story you saw on the internet. I saw on the internet. There's yeah. an eight-year-old lad, he likes his mum's milk. Yeah. And it's saying, is this right? Should it? No, it's not. On? But what? What? What, what do you want Ricky to do about it? It's not his responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but but the little town that he lives in, they're all yeah. causing an uproar, right? <laughs> Going, this isn't right. You know, no. I can't let my kid play out in case he's in the garden with his mum getting a bit hungry, right? Yeah. So, oh, God. what should they do? Because his mum's saying, well, he likes it. Yeah. And he, you know, what? So what do you do? I don't know the laws. No, but I'm not asking you to sort out the laws. I'm just saying, if you lived in that neighbourhood, what yeah. would you say? If you went up to him and said, "Look, everyone's getting a bit fed up with this." Look. I'd say, "What? What? What? What would I do? What do you mean? What would I do?" 
What, what are you asking me? <laughs> right, it doesn't matter. No, 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 what are you asking me? What are you asking me and Steve and no, the I'm public? I'm just saying, say if you live next door to this woman. Yeah. Right? The kid's hungry, eight years old, he's out playing on his bike and he goes, Mom, I'm getting a bit peckish, and he goes, all right, son. She whops one out. <laughs> Um, and he starts having his, having his milk, right? <laughs> you live, you live next door, you're putting your washing out and you see this going on. <laughs> you're getting a bit sick of it cause it's gone on for months. <laughs> Eight so, years, I see. Why is it your business? Just why are you, me... why are you such a nosy neighbour that you're concerned? What would you do, Carl? Let's turn it back on yeah. What would you do? What's your solution? What would you do? Well, I thought, I'd say, right, why are you doing this? And she'd say, um, cause he likes it. And I go, all right then, put it in a bowl first. <laughs> Genius. So and you think that would sort that out? No, oh. because I, I was thinking about the whole thing, right, and you do that when you're a baby and everything's all right, innit? Yeah. yeah. No one bats an eyelid at sure. a little baby having, having a bit of milk from its mum's breast, right. right? Yeah. You'd almost say it was natural. But you grow out of it. <laughs> it's like, you don't see, it got me thinking about things you don't see, and you don't see- <laughs> Did you put this into a computer? Show me things you don't see. What else no. don't you see? Well, you don't see, like, an old man having a Twix. <laughs> <laughs> you never- <laughs> Oh! So what- oh, <laughs> You know the, you know the terrible thing about all this, Steve, is he's right. You don't see it all. No, man I know the that's a but terrible what, thing. What, so what they have got, right, they've made old man toffees, haven't they? They've come up with rollers. <laughs> is, is that a song? Oh, oh, God. You don't see it all. <laughs> no. No, listen now. So they've got their worthers, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> You think you're giving a lecture at Oxford? It's not going anywhere. No, go on, sorry. Go on. I'm just saying, you grow out of things. Yeah. And the old man, I'm sure when he was a kid, he'd have a twit. (laughs) Yeah. Now it doesn't look right, so he's having- (laughs) It doesn't look right! So- Right. I don't think Werther's originals were specially designed for old people. I think they were sweets that just happened to have been made for years. Mm. That's why old people eat them. Yeah. They didn't go, hang on, there's a market here. I've mm. noticed old people aren't eating Twixes. Quick, let's make some yeah. s- old man sweets. But the, the, the little yeah. advert, he gives it to his grandson as well, doesn't he? He goes, I have a Werther's original. No, I so think it, it cuts though before he throws it back in his face and gets, <laughs> get, get me a Twix. <laughs> and a damn curly whirly granddad, you old <laughs> fool. <laughs> Electric six, danger. High voltage on XFM, 104.9. Sums up the show. Danger, high voltage. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Ricky Giovanni's with me, Steve Merchant, and the amazing Carl Pilkington. So, other things you don't see, Carl? Got any other ones, or you've obviously been thinking about this? Um, what confuses you when you look out your window? What confuses you with the world? What do you walk around going, "Oh, that's a bit weird"? I remember um, when you were in uh, Edinburgh, you were confused because you saw someone putting a parking ticket on some rubbish, <laughs> which confused yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That, that was weird. Yeah. Um, the world's a crazy place, isn't sure. it? I mean, whatever you look at, you can. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like what? Like what? Well, d- anything. I mean, you could look out the window there and you'll see something you go, why are they, why are they doing that? Yeah. What are they doing that for? Yeah. Um, I'll tell you this, uh, this, maybe we should bring back White Van Carl. There's some interesting questions this week, Rick. Yeah. We could, we'll, we could pull that out of the bag if you're interested. Shall we do that? Just, to uh, get, uh, Carl's take on, uh, the world's- Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll tell you what, we'll do that in a second. Let's have another Educating Ricky, because well, I think you got sidetracked with your, your, your talk of- Well, just the other thing on things you don't see, look at the way when I went to school, there was two kids with them big heads. <laughs> now. You don't Never see him. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. no one else saw him anyway, Carl. It's only you that saw two of them, not related, and wouldn't hang around with each other because you think they thought it would be too obvious. Uh, <laughs> webbed, webbed fingers and big heads. That's amazing. And there was a kid with a pigeon chest. So. Oh yeah, and the and the the lady with the head like a bag of spuds. Oh, Let's oh, not yeah, go through these again. It just that. raises too many questions that can't be answered. <laughs> Yeah. Right then. <laughs> so, um, we've got, um, we'll have a big fire tomorrow. Yeah, go okay. on. Is that the one you want? Let's yeah. go for it. Right, um, I think this was like round the 1700s. <laughs> <laughs> bluffing. Um, and. <laughs> Just bluffing. Ba- it's, it's Who was the, the king then? Mm. Go on. But it's, uh, it's about the word bon- bonfire, right? Bonfire. Bonfire. Yeah. Do you know where it comes from? No, go on. No. Right, what happened is it's got nothing to do with Guy Fawkes and that, which is what I thought when I saw it. It's got nothing to do with that. But ages ago, at 1700s, yeah. right, um, they um, didn't have enough houses, like I mentioned. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. 
So if that happens, you get people living on the streets. Uh -huh. You get sure. diseases. People aren't cleaning properly. Mm. So you get more deaths. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So think about it. You've got all these dead bodies lying around. Uh, they're running out of space because there's like. I don't know. Don't know why they're running out of space. But okay. <laughs> they haven't. They haven't got much. I don't know why. Really, <laughs> I was going to say they should just bury them, but you know, there's probably more land back then than now. <laughs> he doesn't need anyone else in the room <laughs> to, uh, to have a conversation with himself. <laughs> yeah, we could leave and we'd come back and he'd go, I've sorted it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. anyway, for some reason, um, they, they presumably, if, it, if it's gonna be they burnt them, it's presumably to do to, to, that it also kills the parasite or, or whatever's carrying the parasite on them as opposed to burying them and not killing the disease. Well, yeah. So that's, that, there you go, you've worked it out. They, they piled them up <laughs> and they turned it into a celebration because there was a lot of fed up people at that time. <laughs> Is it to be the word bon, meaning good? No, 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 I'll oh. tell you in a minute. Go on. So you've got all these people who are like going around and like, oh, you know, so and so died the other day and, you know, nearly every week someone they knew was dying. Yes. So you can imagine like just constant like being depressed. Mm. So, and they've got all these bodies lying everywhere. It's like, oh, God, what are we going <laughs> to do? So they said, we're all too fed up. At the moment, <laughs> said let's let's make this a better world. This was 1701 by the time they got <laughs> yeah, together. Yeah. So they said, uh, what we need to do is uh, have a big party. Mm, so mm. they said, yeah, yeah. Good thinking. See what you're thinking. So um, they go right. Well, we'll put all the bodies yep. in a big pile, mm -hmm. and they're all diseased and that. So yep. they set f they set fire to the bodies, mm -hmm. yep. and they, and they said let's ha have this as a celebration to remember them mm -hmm. by, and you know uh, we'll we'll have a drink and that and have a chat. We'll have this big fire going, and it came from bone fire. Ah, right. So bone it was fire. it was it was all the bones. Bomb fire is is bone fire. Yeah, excellent. Yeah? yeah, that's interesting. So that's that's how it came about. Yeah, in the 1700s. Yeah, that was. No, nah, probably. Okay. I, I reckon it was 1600s. Probably I, earlier. I reckon yeah. it was the plague. Mm, mm, I reckon mm. it came from. But uh, interesting stuff. Interesting. Yeah, stuff. So that, that's. Yeah. Uh, Did you celebrate Bonfire Night? Is that a big celebration for you? Do you like the fireworks? I sick of fireworks. I just think it's the, they're rubbish. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not impressed. I've never been impressed by fireworks. No. Even as a kid, you know, you'd have to go to like sort of community kind of get gatherings with a bonfire and fireworks and yeah. some local vicar or whatever would come out and- But I also think the adults serious. think the kids love it yeah. and, they're, and, they're, and if they just got together and said, should we go to see it? They'd all go, no. Yeah, not absolutely. Go. Let's not go yeah. this year. It, what would be better is if the vicar had <laughs> wheeled out like a massive rocket, yeah. climbed in, yeah. gone last <laughs> one to the moon is a bender, <laughs> and then fired himself <laughs> off. Now that, I'd pay to see. That's a fire display I'd like to see. As it is, it's just oh, rubbish. Oh dear. Yeah. That's that excellent. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not keen. No. Sorry, what, what, what clue was that? Um, we'll have a big fire tomorrow. <laughs> Bone marrow. <laughs> Bone marrow. <laughs> Genius. Let's <laughs> play the record. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, he's... Right, what's this? Go on. Wait, tell them. Go on, just get on with it, because I just can't believe what you just said. What, what, what are we doing? Are we, uh, the final one? Yeah. Alright, the last one. Like I said. No, no, no. Say, say the record. Yeah. Say the record you played. They, Go on. This is, uh, Free Association. Yeah, brilliant. I right. wish I had a wooden art. Yeah, and what did you just say to me just before this was ending? He just looked, he just looked over at me and went, are there any animals without a brain? No, but hang on a minute. No, 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 right, right. And I went, yeah, there's animals that are. He went, oh, I was not talk about this, but it's sad. There's a lad born without a brain and he laughs a lot and his hearing and his sight's okay. I'll go, well, that's impossible. You, you if, if he's without a brain, all that is impossible. And he went, well, this was in the <laughs> magazine. <laughs> no, it was in a book that somebody sent. Right. And I didn't want to bring it up because it is a bit sad, really. That this, you know, young lad, it is a picture of him sat there with his mum and, uh, What? Uh, Carl! Well, Carl! I, I forget it. it. It's impossible. Well, there must have been more to the story, He Carl. can't not have a brain. Hearing and sight is a concept within the brain. That's all yeah, it is, right? Yeah. The ears are yeah. just receptacles. They're just, yeah. So, but, but that's why it was in this book. It was a book of mysteries. Carl, you know if you if you if you <laughs> Carl, if you're reading a book and you see a photo and you guess at what you think the story might be, that doesn't make it true. That no, doesn't make yeah, it fair. I, I looked at it because I thought he looks like an happy lad. Sure. And, and I read about it and I thought, that's weird. Like you've said, the fact that he hasn't got a brain but he can see and he can hear. No, impossible. Really? Uh, impossible. <laughs> okay. Go well, on. I, I don't know who to believe. <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, uh, we haven't done it for a while. White Van Man. I thought yeah, there's some back, interesting questions back. raised today, and yeah. I think it might be nice to well, just call them. Uh, I think we set Carl up again in the last hour as a person that people want to know yeah, his opinions on the world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. if you're not familiar with it, uh, on Saturdays the Sun newspaper um, asks a typical white van driver questions uh, his opinions on the week's news, mm. and uh, we thought we'd throw these in the direction of Carl. Um, yeah. Good. And then what do you make, uh, what do you make of, uh, this teenage thug, Carl, Mickey Carroll, who spent four months in jail and he's won 9.7 million on the, uh, lottery? Is that justice? When you think of all the good people that are going hungry? And there's a lad there and he's won Did he buy the ticket before 7. he went in? Uh, no, I think he bought it once he'd come out. So he's, he's done his time. He's done his time. Fair enough then, he's, he's been punished. Yeah. Right? He's bought a ticket. He's had a lot of bad luck. Mm-hmm. No, he's having a bit of good luck. Quite right. Right. Next one. Are Next you one. concerned that now he's got all that money, he could turn into like a sort of mastermind villain? You know, like a James Bond style villain? He's Ooh. got a criminal streak, we know that. Is that a concern for you? Well, well we imagine don't. that he could build we, some kind of underwater fortress. We don't, with, with, with my lawyer's hat on, we don't know that. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'd have to prove that he didn't have a criminal streak. <laughs> I say, have you been in jail for four months? Yeah. yeah sometimes so. people are bad because they haven't got any money, so he might be just an angel of gold now. Or yeah. Whatever, yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. one in five children aged between 11 and 16 go on booze binge sessions at least once a week. That's terrifying news, isn't it? Kids, they, they know, they know too much now. Yeah. yeah. Um, you despair. To you, yeah. You despair. <laughs> yeah. Know, right? yeah. Listen to this one, right? Go on. Me, me dad had me, uh, niece in the car, right, running her to school one day. And, uh, she's in the back of the car with a mate and they're chatting away about stuff like kids do. Um, and they got onto the topic of one of the mates who they said, uh, I mean, you've got to remember, niece, this point was probably about f five or six, something mm. like that, right? Mm. In the back of the car talking about my little pony, whatever it is they play with. Uh, subject changed. Um, oh, that Lisa in, uh, in our class, she's a lesbian, isn't she? Right. <laughs> that was the to that's what they were talking about. Yeah. Chatting yeah. away about it. <laughs> Just openly talking about yeah. lesbianism. And probably, you know, <laughs> this is the topic that they're talking about in the pub when they're having fun. <laughs> Out drinking. Yeah. Yeah, but they might have thought a lesbian was a, 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 you know, a, a funny word or something. You don't, you don't listen to the, the ins and outs of it, do they? He's, he's weird though, isn't it? Because when I was, when I was younger at school, you didn't like, I mean, you swore a little bit, but it wasn't like major swear words. And you sort of did a little bit of nicking, but nothing like they get up to now. I mean, if- My, my, um, girlfriend, when she was about seven or eight, she was walking to school with her mum, and she called her a C-U-N, right? You are joking. No, she said, oh, you because she thought it was a big, she said she thought it was a big furry animal. She said, so she was being nice, and her mum said, where'd you do that? Where'd you do that? Like, just heard it at school. So they might, you know, they might not know what it means. Well, I tell you, you know, um, I have to, I'm gonna have to use kind of euphemisms here to tell oh. this story, but when I was at school, I learned, you know, the stronger version, it's not the same word, but it's very similar with one letter change. I'm gonna use twit. Yeah. You know the word I'm thinking of. Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna use the word twit to replace it, right? And I said, so I went round- You think they're twat? Yeah. Oh, that's, right. that's what I'm thinking of. And, um, so can I say it? Am I allowed to say it? No, no it's, it's, not, it's weird it. though, because no, hang on, some we're... people are from Cornwall use that like saying twit. So, if people well, are listening to Cornwall- you know, think, A twit think... is a pregnant goldfish. Well. Well, uh, I, I learned the, uh, I learned the stronger version of twit. Yeah. Um, Sorry. twat. <laughs> 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 For those that aren't sure. <laughs> I, I learned this at school when I was like 10 or whatever, and I didn't know what it meant. I thought it was just a stronger version of twit. Yeah. I thought it was just if you were really annoyed with someone because they were yeah. a real twit. Because uh, I is worse than I. <laughs> exactly, yeah. apparently. So, you know, Carl would be a twit. And, yeah. um, and so I started using this at home because I didn't realise what it meant. I started using this at home. Oh, you twit, you're a twit. And saying it to my dad, you're a twit, you're, you know, but yeah. not saying twit. Yeah. And my dad didn't know what it meant either. <laughs> That's great! I can believe. So he started using it as well, right? So uh, then we'd be driving in the car, he'd be saying to my mum, you stupid, do it. Yeah. And he'd say this to my mum, you, 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 don't, pull over, pull over, you're gonna, gonna bother you. And then saying this, then I learned at school from Mark Johnson what it really meant. Yeah. Stopped using it, obviously finding out it was quite an offensive word. Yeah. Couldn't, I didn't want to bring it up to my dad. I didn't want to sit my dad down and say, dad, you know that word we've been saying? Yeah. You know what it means? So now, to this day, I've never brought it up with him. So we'll be driving. You know, he'll be, I'll go in for Christmas, we'll be driving around, he'll be calling my mum that word. <laughs> <laughs> Left, right and centre. I think she knows. I think she's just embarrassed. Or she's just upset and she knows what it means. She goes, why does he keep calling me this terrible <laughs> word? But he's the only one, I think, in our family who doesn't know what it means. No one's oh. got the guts to say. I don't know whether I should tell him oh, this Christmas. Oh, what a twat. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Can you hear that again? Always good to hear that. Suede. Animal nitrate. Carl's all flustered because there isn't a, a, a record set up and he's getting all tizzy. He's been more worried about his competitions than sorting out putting records on ready. Uh, what? I'm after so Steve's song for a love. Well, I'll tell you what, you, uh, why don't you carry on with your, uh, educating Ricky section? I'll have a look on the, uh, on the screen. We'll keep it going, Steve. Yeah, Cover you keep it. Go on. Go on then, right, okay. We've right. had, uh, we've had a, a few emails. Uh, anyone got it right, Carl? Anyone um, with Ricky, Educating Ricky, that's the final one. We've got to get that out of the way. We've got to get Rockbusters as well, though. Go on, then. We've only got five minutes left. Come on, just do Educating Ricky. Right. Oh, God. The, uh, the last one that we haven't done right. is, um, he's a bit of a nuisance. Go on, then. Um, again, not, not really, not really that interesting. Thanks. Um, no, like, again, I t spoke to you in the week and I had much better things, like when I tell you about Brian Blessed climbing Everest. And for some reason it made him, uh, it, uh played havoc with his belly and- What? He followed through and he had to clean up- Shut using, himself? Yeah, using, um, using ice and stuff. Why are you tell- why are you telling me that Brian Blessed- what, what- in what way is telling me that Brian Blessed shit himself once in any way educational? Because I was saying how he- he- was climbing Everest, right? Right. I give it to him, he's an actor and that, but he- he gave that a go. Yeah. Right, he played- What's the know, point of that, you'd say, wouldn't you? You'd say, God, he's, he's, you know, he's Oh, good. so he's all right. Uh, me, me doing a boxing match, there's no reason it's rubbish, but him climbing Everest and shitting himself- Yeah, he did is, that. Is commendable. Right, and he's only gonna, like, go and do it again. He's gonna climb it again. Yeah, but he might not shit himself this time. Yeah, what's the point in going? Nothing's changed up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah, good. Been? Well, it has. They've probably, uh, they've uh, probably cleared right. it up by now. Right, but, uh, <laughs> it, it slip on it. I can't really bother just telling you this one, cause- Come on! To be just honest, do it, or do it now! Steve, how we doing? Look, no, no, never mind that. Look, just tell me what that means! Uh, oh, he's a nuisance. Oh, this is so annoying, Carl. I'm gonna go mental. Right, Talk. Right, right, listen, I'm just putting right. this in here, right? Right, nuisance is a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah. the old fella who used to hang people- <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to be able to tell somebody's weight just by looking at them, right? Um, that's a bit of a bonus fact. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. The, th the, thing, the thing that I wanted to tell you yeah. is um, money for old rope. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't even be bothered. <laughs> yes, you're gonna tell me now. Come on, Carl. Right, I mean it. Basically, money for old rope yeah. came from the t right. What was all that about? He can tell someone's way. <laughs> that was a that bonus for? fact. And blind blessed shitting himself. What are you? What? No, don't you. No, tell me that now. You nearly made me swear. Then just I'm getting really annoyed. <laughs> I'm getting really annoyed now. Tell me this back, Carl. Or I'm gonna go mental. <laughs> Come on, Carl. Time's running out. Not that people years ago. When people used to be hung, right? Right. If you didn't like the person who's been hung, you'd go, God, I really don't like him. And, to, and so you never forget the <laughs> time. Because if they're being hung, we take that as red. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so they never forget afterwards to get the hangman to get the rope and to cut it up into little pieces and he'd sell them. He'd sell the little pieces of rope to people. And See, that, uh, to Carl, that's the most interesting thing, if it's true, that you've come up with. Right. Okay. And so what's, what's, you, so they, they sell the rope. They sell the rope and it's money for old rope. Money for old rope. Meaning, like, you know, God, it's easy to make money, that, that, that all they have to do is cut it up and sell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm cynical. <laughs> I'm not so convinced, right, listen, though. We're, we're really tight. We haven't even got time for a last track. We've got an ad break and we've got to give out. Okay, questions. give the answers then. This is right. ridiculous. So, Come Steve, on. do you want to pick a winner? Uh, I've got oh. a winner when you give us the answers. Okay, so the first clue was uh, that army has got some well nice trenches. Yeah. That was DW. Who's that? Dandy Warholes. <laughs> It's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> right. That's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, the second okay. one. The top of them curtains are wrecked. All yeah. the material is worn. Yeah. HV. That's yeah. uh, Holly Valance. Oh, he got a phone call for a woman saying that I haven't heard it, and she went. She was. He was talking to her off air, and she went. Uh, what is it? Uh, so and so said them curtains. She went. All oh, right. She said. You know the thing around the top of the um, curtain is a palmet, not a valance. And he went. Cut her off. Yeah. But <laughs> My aunt is always making balances on everything. I'll tell you about that next week. Right? <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Right. Is this the one that farted for five minutes? Yeah, yeah, the very same. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, we'll talk about that. Uh, I was in Texas, I tripped up, I landed on my knees in a puddle, WH, yeah. uh, Wetney, Houston. 
Right. Wet Knee Houston. Yeah. So, You're a maniac. So, who's a winner? We've got Pete, Catherine and Laura in Newcastle upon Tyne. They're listening uh, online, I assume, and uh, oh, they're going to those great places. Remember, they've got loads of stuff. They've got uh, the DVD here, they've got Linda Green, they've got Stone Roses, they've got another compilation, and Executive Decision. What did you read about Brian Blessed? Is it actually true, or have you said a live or no, something it was, an, it was an interview with him, innit? And what did he say? Oh, Come on, what did he say? He said, I, I climbed Everest and uh, I played off it with me belly. Uh, Let's talk about it next week. We've <laughs> really run out now. Oh, you're a fool. <laughs> Foo Fighters, all my life on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant. And, uh, Carl Pilkington. Indeed. Genius Carl Pilkington, yes. as Heat Magazine said. Really? Is that what yeah. he's referred to now? Yeah, oh. yeah. Genius. Saying about people tune in just to hear his games, yeah. such as Educating Ricky. Have you got some Educating Ricky for me? Got some educa I need some education, Carl. That's I like desperately that. need some education. I want to learn about Chinese kids that are born hairier than average. <laughs> I want to hear, hear about deaf girls that can hear after their mum hits their head against a wall. These are the things I need to know. I mean, I don't wish to be disrespectful. He doesn't look like a genius. He doesn't look like but a genius. But then I don't know what a genius looks like. Exactly. Really. So, Steve. you know, I don't want to be an look, look, look at Einstein. Yeah. Yeah. His mum thought he was mental as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that information from? That was in the Einstein book. <laughs> 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 well, if it was in the Einstein book, then it's absolutely true. <laughs> Which the, Einstein book is that? The theory of relativity? The, 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 big, the big book of Einstein stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the big bumper book of Einstein stuff. It's <laughs> yeah, uh, for yeah, a coach yeah. trip yeah. and you have to fill in, uh, yeah. E equals MC1 squared, <laughs> two, <laughs> fish, or three, hello! <laughs> and then it's multiple choice yeah. and you, uh, fill it, it's great. It's Did his brilliant. mum think, A, he was a genius, <laughs> B, mental. <laughs> <laughs> Some most people go for A, but it is in fact B. Ooh. She thought he was mental at the age of 28. <laughs> oh, Carl. Oh. You never let me down. You never let me down. So, have you got Educating Ricky for me? We've got Educating Ricky coming up. We've, we've got, got Rock uh, Busters. Uh, we've got Rock Busters. Some great as, seen, as seen and talked about in Heat. <laughs> in Heat magazine. It's got really tough this week now. We're not messing about anymore. Uh -huh. Right. Um, got some good prizes? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll talk about those later. Yeah, uh, uh, cause I mean, was it last week that you had the, the classic? Was it, um, I can't remember, I, I'm paraphrasing Carl, apologies. Something like, I'm here in Texas, I've fallen in a puddle and my knee has got wet. Yeah. Wet knee Houston. Wet knee Houston. Whitney Houston. Yeah. And also, it was last week when there was a little bit of confusion over, uh, the one for Holly Valance. Right? Of course. Um. I don't think it was confusion. I think it was your error. No, yeah. No, 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 it wasn't. And it was Holy Valance and you meant Pelmet. Ah. Then, one. Becky, who called up that time and said, yeah. oh, if you, you're getting mistaken with, uh, Pelmet, right, she sent me an email in a week yeah. saying, I've done a bit of research. Yeah. It was my fault. I've made an error. Yeah. It is a Valance. Okay. And I know about Valances, as I told you last week at the very end, my auntie loves them. Yeah. Right? She, um, she makes them. She started off just like putting them on top of the, uh, sort of window around the curtain. Uh, and then she, she thought, oh, I can do more with this. Yes. <laughs> and she had a little coffee table that had magazines underneath. And yeah. she said, I'm sick of seeing them magazines when I'm sat down. She, she <laughs> sounds, she sounds like a pilkin too. So. <laughs> I'm sick of seeing the <laughs> magazines when I sit down! So she put a valance around the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah! She just got valances around everything now. Yeah. Right? Then, yeah. right, next step, uh, she, she tapes everything. She never actually watches telly, she tapes it all. Yeah. Cause she gets sick of listening to the adverts and that. Yeah. So she tapes everything, so she's got loads of videotapes and that. And the video used to get on her nerves when she was watching a film. She'd see the clock changing. Oh. And it distracted her from the film, so sure. she put a valance around <laughs> 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 yeah. That's genius! Yeah, so. That is or, really is it, or is it mental? <laughs> oh, Only Mrs. Einstein can tell. I don't know. She's even made her little, um, Jack Russell look like a hovercraft. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Still, so it. everything's got a valance. If you, if you go round and you stand still for too long, the chances are <laughs> she'll put a valance on your head. Yeah. This is the, 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 this is Auntie Who? Auntie Nora. And this is the one that farted for five minutes. <laughs> lest, lest our listeners forget. <laughs> lest we farted forget. for five minutes, called his mum, saying I'm farting. <laughs> Two minutes into the fart. She said about oh, two and a half minutes in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said I'm about two and a half minutes well, into well, the fart. Well, my mum said how long's <laughs> been going on for? She said, well, uh, it was about two and a half minutes before I called you. Yeah. And then it went on for a further two, <laughs> two and a half minutes or something. And, uh, <laughs> then it stopped. And, she couldn't, uh, she couldn't type right because there was a balance over the clock. Yeah, she used to annoy her when she was yeah. on the phone and you'd put her off, see, at so the she, time. Was she was guessing it was five minutes. This was one consistent fart. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't making a noise, it was just- Oh, it wasn't making a noise. Just gas. <laughs> right. Endless gas. Mm. So, uh, 
There you That's go. fantastic. Well, we started off with a new one, a little bit of Foo Fighters. We like new and old on this show, don't we? We like to mix it up. I'd like to play to some Smiths from their, from their uh, debut album, um, I Don't Owe You Anything. I Don't Owe You Anything. The lads from, uh, Carl's hometown there. Indeed. The Smiths. Brilliant, that one. Wow, I went to Manchester, didn't I, the other day? Went up to Manchester for a little corporate. Uh, it was all right. Yeah. Um, I, the, he went, um, wait till you get out. You see, Piccadilly, it's better than Houston. Right. <laughs> it was. It, the, 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 you know, it was, it was nicer. I went outside and there was a ridiculous queue, uh, um, uh, and sort of one cab. Right, um, yeah. So, uh. Horse drawn. Yeah. yeah, and so I walked, and it was okay, it was only down the road, it was a bit dark. It was wet and raining, of Obviously course. the north. I know, yeah. yeah. Um, the I hotel know. was very nice, but no minibar. I've never seen that before. I've travelled all over the world to <laughs> a <laughs> hotel without a minibar. <laughs> no, so I don't know what's going way. on then, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um, and then I, uh, uh, I did this corporate gig in Old Trafford. The pitch was up, I don't know what they were doing, but, um, you know, very impressive, big impressive. I think they're British Football Club, aren't they, Carl? Yeah. You did yeah. a gig at where? Old Trafford. It was, in a, it was in a function room. Oh, there, well, I thought it was the stadium. No, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that big yet. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, but I mean, oh, uh, you know, I, I can't really comment on Manchester. I do know that Liverpool was voted most important music city via poll. True enough. Um, so, uh, Carl, you're making noises while I'm talking. Yeah, but you do this all the time trying to wind me up. And I'm not, I'm not saying Manchester's the best place in the world, but what I'm saying is, there's bits of it that I really miss. Yeah. Like last Sunday, right? When I'd, I'd met up with, uh, with Ricky, um, we had, uh, a, a spaghetti about bolognese, which was alright. Uh, and then I said to him, I said, I need some soil. Damn, I wish you'd invited me. It sounds <laughs> amazing. Right, <listen. laughs> so I need some soil. What, what do you think? You need some right. what? Soil? soil? Soil, yeah. I need to repot a plant, right? Yeah. So, um. You need to repot a plant? Yeah. yeah. I, oh, fair enough. So, um,. I'm like, where, where, you, you can't see you these can't, shops yeah. in London. You can't Do you know what I mean? Sure. There's been nothing around. I took him straight to one in my street. Yeah, yeah. but near your street and that's probably the only one in London. Well, you say that, Carl. No, it, it does annoy me. Round my way, it's like, you know. You can't move for soil shops. <laughs> 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 you can't. There's earth. You can just pick up handfuls walking down the street. Yeah, incredible. Which People just, just lean over into someone's front garden. No, yeah. you can take the plants yeah. as well. No, yeah. but what I'm saying is, Go on. Manchester, there's loads of decent hardware shops. Yeah. Here. Um, you know, if you want a panini and a latte or whatever, you can't move from. But for soil, I had to <laughs> go virtually how many miles away from me to carry that soil home and stuff. Yeah. It's not, it's not I mean, London's all right, mm. but if, if cities were sort of it's, it's, it's neglecting the peat. <laughs> yeah, at, at, yeah. at market, yeah. really, Well, there's it? barely, I mean, there's barely any mulch available well, Rick, uh, well, in I, central I, London. I'm sick and tired of not getting a good decent compost of a Sunday. <laughs> Indeed. So, it's you know, me. I'm thinking of moving to the north. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where there is loads <laughs> of soil <laughs> and <laughs> gravel. Indeed. And animal shite. <laughs> uh, whatever. Yeah, so. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, you were gonna say if you were marking cities out of ten, what would you give, uh, London? Well, if you were marking them on, like, you know, on, on what they have. Right. As opposed to what? <laughs> well, as opposed to <laughs> how the you name. spell it. Say, like, I think the greatest city in the world is Rome. Right? Okay. It's pretty amazing. Mm. Yeah. Have you been? What? Yeah. Why do you think that though? Just because, like, you turn a corner and there's something there that's really old. Right. right. Yeah. Like you're going down <laughs> normal street. <laughs> go, go and stay in a Derby and Joan Club. Yeah. No, no, no. But but it's like you're going down the road and then you turn a corner and like, like the Colosseum's in the middle of a, like a busy road. Mm. It's like, what's that doing there? Yeah, and yeah. And just when you think there's no more, you turn another corner. It's oh, almost it. as if that was there first. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. But do you know what I mean? London. Yeah. What have we got? You, you know, Trafalgar Square's world, sort of world known. And you go there, what's that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, there's a lot of space there. Get one big B&Q. In Trafalgar Square. To, to, to cater for the whole of people who live sort of central London-ish. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd be happy, but what I'm saying is- What with is Nelson just popping up through the middle? Cause you can still see it, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a great B &Q, idea. Uh, 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 so B and Q could be like the whole sort of flat thing and make it sort of grey so it looked like rock and then Nelson popping up- Make it up classy with, is what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stone clad it. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like you've made an effort. <laughs> exactly. And then you can pop in and then you can go out and go, oh look, Nelson's column. Oh look at that, isn't now oh look at that, the victory, oh, defeat, that's fantastic, one of the greatest living, yeah. I need some nails. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. 
County Bridge of Bonstone, you say? But, but why don't- why isn't there more than them- than them- more than them shops? Because when I went into yours, every time I've been in there, I've been in there twice now, the first time was to get a shower head, right? <laughs> right. And I went in there, couldn't resist buying something else, I ended up getting some super glue as well. Blimey. <laughs> 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 hey, right. hey, big spender. And then, last yeah. Sunday we went in there, got two bags of soil, not one, I bought two. Yeah. Yeah. And I bought some scissors to cut plants with. Secretaries. Well, you don't- scissors. you never know when you want- you know, you might need more soil, I suppose. Well, mm. I've got- I've got- You've stopped out now. Where'd you keep it under your bed? Sorry, this isn't going out, is it, this conversation? It's not going out on air. I got a feeling it might be. You're joking. We've better play a record. Okay. Play a classic. I hate to say I told you so on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously. With me, Steve Merchant. And Carl Genius Pilkington. <laughs> Absolutely. I was Carl, watching a bit of TV. Carl the Brain Pilkington. Yeah, the Brain. Brains. Yeah. Uh, I was watching a bit of TV last night, Rick. Um, Go on. And I, I had a little Children thought. Children Need? No, I, was, I didn't watch Children Need. No, um, I, I was treat. watching something. I think it was last night. It was a bit earlier. Um, I had a little thought for lads that might be out tonight, you know, on the yeah. r on the Raz. Yeah. Maybe they get a little bit of success with the ladies. Yeah. This was something that struck me as I was watching it. A lot of gentlemen, you know, when they're, uh, when they're engaged in, you know, an act of, you know, relations with a lady, mm. they like to sort of, you know, think of an image or something that will prevent them from, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you get, you catch my drift. We're, we're men in the world. Grandmother's funeral is the <laughs> cliche, isn't it? Exactly. And I'll tell you what, what I think, uh, it should be. Rick Waller jogging. <laughs> I was watching Fit Club. I, I know. have never seen I'm go anything I'm go I like liked it, it when Rick. Harvey lost it with him. Oh, man alive. I mean, I, I know I slag him off, but I do, I don't really like him either. I just think he comes across appallingly, and I think, you know. When he just walked away when that, in that mid-conversation talking to that bloke, they're doing it for his I good, know, really. But he's, he's, He's how he's like thirty one stone. I think he lost a bit. I think he's twenty nine now. Don't exaggerate, Steve. You make him <laughs> sound like a fat. <laughs> but um, but you know, I mean, oh, yeah, that was close, wasn't it? When having sex, you know, yeah. apparently uh, thinking of uh, Rick, w Rick Waller oh. helps. Oh, don't um, look what's happened. <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> less the reverse effect. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, me and no, Carl. No, if you're with a lady, if you're with a lady, apparently yeah. that that works. I know. Um, he's out now, Ellie. He's out. Is he, did he walk out? I, th I think so. I think that's it. From what no, I can. No, no. I think next week. To kick him out because I read something about um, he, to get rid of him next week because of his attitude. And the first time I read it, I thought he'd actually ate someone's hat. Are you lost me? He's got rid of him because of the attitude. Everything you think of now is puns. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get puns out of your head, can you? Oh, God, you're great. Look at his little face. He's so good. How long good. have you been working on that? You've got to love, you've got to lo uh, give him that. That now was that a is, real no, joke. It, it, Look it, at his face. He knew it was funny. It was meant to be funny. He said it to be funny. And it was. Well done. I, well done. I'm just interested, I just want to dissect it, because it was brilliant, and I'm wondering, how long have you been working on it? About two weeks. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's good stuff, it was worth the wait. Can I go uh, on now? Yeah. Oh, well done. <laughs> the Hattie Tune. Well, I don't Hattie think, uh, uh, there's only one band that can top that, another band from Manchester, Oasis. Oh. Vines, Ms. Jackson on XFM 104.9. I'm Richard Mays, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Right. Getting towards that time where Carl really kicks into action. We've got the quiz. We've got Rockbusters. The quiz that's a bit like Blockbusters but mainly around music. Yeah, and a pun. A yep. scenario. Yep. Based in wordplay by Carl. You know how good he is at that. Can I tell you uh, what the prices are this week? Because they're worth playing for. Please do. <laughs> okay, we got on DVD the Manic Street Preacher's Greatest Hits on DVD. The videos, I'm assuming. Uh, the film Human Traffic, it's a remix DVD version of that. Uh, I think we were giving this away last week. You've obviously got a bulk <laughs> stock of these. Groove Armada's Love Box, an album from them. Uh, the best air guitar album in the world ever. Uh, that's got the likes of Queen, Adams, Palmer, Leopard, Aerosmith. Idol. Um, I don't see it. I think the Smiths should be on there. Uh, we've got Purple, Wolf, Cooper, Top, <laughs> Quo, and, uh, Back, Nickelback. <laughs> um, now there was another, there was another one around actually. I seem to have lost one of the points. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, this is, uh, you mentioned this advertised on TV, the Best Bands Ever album. And, uh, just, just imagine who this is aimed at. It's got, uh, Oasis on their Nickelback, Coldplay, da da da. The Dandy Warhols, Bohemian Like You, in brackets, as featured in the <laughs> Vodafone TV ads. <laughs> then it's got Smash Mouth, Walking on the Sun, as featured in the Ford Fiesta TV ads. It's for people who didn't know they liked indie. Exactly, exactly. They, they go, I don't like indie, but you do. Do you like this? <laughs> Advert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you like it. this advert? Yeah. Well, you like indie then. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I love indie. I can't believe it. That's great. Yeah. 
The Mock Turtles, Can You Dig It, as featured in the Vodafone TV ads. I really like Indy. Do you love, uh, the T-Mobile TV ad? Yeah. You'll love this, it's got Royce Cup on there, which is featured <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. um, so that's, that's, ca that's, uh, me, uh, an album for people who don't like music. That's great, that's coming up, Rockbusters. But I also have a movie, cause you know last week I gave away Executive Decision. Yeah. That was on TV last night, yes. so you didn't receive my copy. But, 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 but well, they probably watched it before it was indeed, on TV. Yeah. A few days I before. I was clearing out, Rick, yeah. last night. I found another one, which might be just to entice people. Go on. What is it? Coming it's, right got it. it's coming out the bag. The Pelican Brief. Oh! Another arbitrary film choice <laughs> on VHS. <laughs> Pelican <laughs> Brief. Robert Washington. You know, Get it's it there. now on VHS in before there are no more VHSs around. <laughs> it was six ninety nine. I'm giving that away as that's well. That's great. Pelican and that's Brief. his personal collection. That's, that's from that's my personal collection. Um, did you see that um, picture, Carl Boy? I don't think it's even rewound from when I watched it. <laughs> really? No, it's not. You can rewind that yourself. Brilliant. That's a little touch of Steve yeah, Merch in there. Exactly. Did you see that picture that you brought in? I have, actually. Can I see it again, Carl? Yeah, this is a picture of- this is- you carry it with you, do you? In your well, no. He found it, right? Last- last week I was sorting it- cause I'm moving. I'm sorting all my, uh, files out and that. <laughs> and, uh, because this is the only school picture- so He I had got. one school picture taken when he was- t was that 10? 1981? Oh, I was about eight and- eight, eight and nine. Nine. Okay, tell the story. Why- why- why is that the only school picture I'd taken? Just because, uh, no, I had them all- I was always had them taken, right? But my dad- thought they were overpriced for what you get. Because uh -huh. really, he said that they, they ha that sort of the whole idea of a good picture is like, not only the person that's in it, but, but like the surroundings. Yeah. So like, if you're on holiday, he'll look at me and he'll go, oh yeah, you're looking well, huh? What's that hill in the background? Mm. Or something like that. Mm. Where's with <laughs> That's that? Rick Waller, catch it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but all you get on, on these school pictures is like a blue background, isn't it? Yeah. So it was like, I'm not, I'm not paying for that. Sure. And it was a big one, you get a bigger one than that, but that's just like a little passport size, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was one pound sixty. And, and he, he wasn't really happy paying that, cause he said you could get like some done from True Print for a, uh, a lot cheaper. So he could take himself? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> and so, so did he so tell you at the time that was the last time he was playing for a school he picture? He said, I'll get you one because it's good to have a picture of you at school. Yeah. Because they hardly ever went and all that. Mm. Um, so <laughs> he said, like, <laughs> What's that in the background? That's from school, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't. I don't recognise it. <laughs> you got any interesting stories about it? Not really. <laughs> so, uh, I was a good looking kid though, wasn't I? Y you were, what are you doing with your mouth though, Carl? It looks like you're sort of, it looks like a bit like you're a ventriloquist dummy. What do you mean? Well, it looks like you're, you're sort of scrunching your mouth up, or, or pursing your lips or something. Do you not think? Oh, I mean, now you've got, dare I say it, very kissable lips. <laughs> so in here, look how thin they are. Oh, look at those uh, little thin lips, it's like you- I'm smiling. That's a smile? Uh, that's what I didn't recognise that no, either. I didn't that was a smile. Oh, I I never is that what you look like when you smile? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what's you, happening with the head? Had your dad you... seen you smile before then? Well, I think that's why he wanted to buy one as well. That's like so he can remember what it was like. Yeah. Right. Because I don't. I don't smile. When did you stop smiling? When did you? When was the last time you had fun and you just like happy go lucky? When? When can you remember when you, you had no weight of the world on your shoulders? I often think that because I don't sleep like I did, like when I was when I was a kid. I mm. had really good sleeps, and now I don't. Right. So I think. <laughs> Why but you've got a lot of things on your mind, you know, where can I buy soil? Yeah, how can I confuse a computer by p p t tapping in Y in the search yeah, engine? Yeah. Probably when I was 14 I was stress free. Uh -huh. Were you? Yeah. When was the paper round? Probably when I was 15. Right, Is that, that's when it started, was it? I reckon, that's when I started getting stressed. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm just looking at the haircut you've got in the, because uh, obviously I've not seen you before with hair and uh, it's an interesting mop. Um, uh, did you, do you have that done at the barbers? No, my mum, mum used to do it. Yeah, she cut that? Yeah. Right, she did used to, uh, what she used to do, um, <laughs> you, you can't see it in that picture, but it was one where she did, um, bit of a mess of it. I mean, it looks right. quite- I, I, quite I can't tell from this picture. <laughs> no, 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 that, that, that's one of the better ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. Um, Were you bullied much? <laughs> <laughs> on, on one of them, she used to, like, <clears throat> use a bit of newspaper in front really? of my eyes so she didn't, like, stick these scissors in my eyes. <laughs> So well, newspaper <laughs> stops scissors every time. Yeah, cause they, I think they, they use that for bulletproof vests. Yeah, the tough, the tough fabric of a, yeah. a, a reconstituted newspaper will stop the scissor yeah. any time. No, definitely. I remember, cause I know a lot of UN guys <laughs> when they're on patrol, they use some old copies of the Sun. <laughs> they put it in their yeah. pocket. Yeah, they just start. Sorry, yeah, okay, yeah. So, uh, she, she used to, uh, used to always be on a Sunday night when, like, Songs of Praise is on or something, nothing right. was on the telly, just sure. before Last of the Summer Wine or something. Yeah. Yeah. And she used to get the, What uh, a depressing time that was. It was. Having your hair cut and listening to 
the songs of praise waiting for last summer wine. Yeah. I always used to get depressed on Sunday nights. Well, I'll tell you and it wasn't because school was the next morning, it was because the telly was so shite. Mm. I think it was because school was the next morning, because Antiques Roadshow still does that for me. I see the Antiques Roadshow, I love it, but I'm just thinking I've got to go to school or work tomorrow. Yeah. The Roadshow, I wish they put it on the week, but I, I know, I've, I've never, I've never really had that, I, when I worked, I suppose, <laughs> I work now, <laughs> don't I? No. Oh, <laughs> not what a giveaway. Really. What a giveaway! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you were telling us well, yeah, so, so anyway, so she get the, uh, newspaper, right, and she stick it in front of my eyes, and, uh... <laughs> what does that say? Go on. So, so she she You inherited a lot from your mum, didn't you? <laughs> So she'd, she'd cut me fringe, right? Yeah. But then she'd go, oh, it's, it's not straight. It's not yeah. very good. So she'd go again, and she'd keep going. And the problem is that why is, you're bold now? I was gonna say, is this the, you have got <laughs> hair, but she has to get it right. Yeah. It, it takes her to the back of your neck to so get then, it even. Yeah. She she sort of removed the newspaper, and she was like, oh god. I said, what? And she goes, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and like, <laughs> what? Does this, this happen every Sunday? Well, no. Can I ask you, Carl? When she was cutting your hair in this picture, was, do you think she was maybe sidetracked by an interesting article in the paper <laughs> and really yeah, wasn't yeah. paying attention or to what did she was her doing? Or favourite hymn come on? <laughs> yeah, and she's not. Or Compo was rolling down <laughs> the hill <laughs> in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I ended up with like, you know, a fringe sort of on the back of my head because yeah. she just kept going further and further. Sure. But, so uh, When did you start going to that barber that was on the railway station? <sighs> Must have, that's when I started work. So, you know, sort of 16, 17. Okay. And is he the one that said you have the hair of a Chinaman? He's the one who's, yeah. He sounds like a wise man. Um, well, uh, can I just stop? I think maybe, maybe we should play a tune, but maybe you could bring in some photos next week, Rick, and we can talk about them on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm just gonna do a card trick. Right, take a card. <laughs> Any card. Yeah. Right, look at it. Uh huh. Is that your card? Boy with the Arab strap, uh, Bell and Sebastian. Cutting next, educating Ricky. <laughs> you two, Electrical Storm. Steve. Am I mental, or we've been playing some great tunes we've today? We've been playing some great tunes, you're not mental. You're Onyx a genius. FM. <laughs> yeah. Onyx FM 104 with Naomi Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. Carl Pilkington in the chair now. The, um, oh, the talked about, the acclaimed, Educating Ricky. Right, well, just in case anyone's new, doesn't mm. normally listen, yeah. um, basically, I'm educating Ricky. Yeah. Uh, do a bit of research in the week, find stuff, news, history, anything that's interesting. Um, three stories, I give them a nice little headline, you take your pick. Yeah. Between now and three, you're gonna learn three things. Yeah? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> the headlines are, um, I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Give us that again. I'll be no buying one of them. Nice, okay. Yeah. Uh, Three. we've also got, uh, Hippopotter News. <laughs> 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 okay. And, uh, Chicken You Believe It. <laughs> Chicken You Believe It. <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna go for Hippopotter News. Hippopotter hey, News? Hippopotter yeah. News. Right, well this one, it's, uh, uh, I'm not gonna take the credit here. I heard Christian talking about this on Breakfast, right, cause it's a good, good, uh, Good story that happened. Um, basically, I don't know if I told you about it last week when we were having our spaghetti, but um... No, I think you did! Right, I know this... what it is! I know what this okay, is! I've not heard this. <laughs> right, there's a little midget, right, there's a circus- I'm loving it already. Circus going on somewhere, I think it was in America. <laughs> yeah. And um... Is that present day or old times? I'm talking like in the last three weeks. Okay. Right? Uh, little midget. Uh, circus, really <laughs> packed out show, people are loving it. Um <laughs> Steve, you're asked the same question I did, I know. <laughs> so, um, so there's a little, little midget jumping up and down on a trampoline. <laughs> That's what a circus is doing! Right. <laughs> I take good money to see it. So, everyone, everyone's clapping and he's getting carried away. Um, <laughs> Cause he can't believe he's like, he can't believe they're loving it. I didn't know they'd like a little person on a trampoline, but they love me. But you know what it's like when, uh, if there's a crowd of people sort of encouraging you to sort of go higher and stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure he knew he was, it was getting out of hand. <laughs> but he was jumping and he was coming down there all going higher and he's going really high in the air, right? So he's, he's doing this, crowd are clapping. There's a hippo, right, just sat next to the trampoline getting ready to come on and do his act. Oh right, I thought he was in the audience. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it, <though. laughs> he's ready to do his act, Steve. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, the he's hippo a ventriloquist. 
<laughs> what do you mean he's sitting like the trampoline waiting to do his app? Because he's- Why does he sit in the dressing room and they go, five minutes, <laughs> Mr. Muss, five minutes, Mr. Muss. So anyway, right, like, <laughs> so the hippo's there, uh, <laughs> He's getting annoyed, is he, cause this, cause the midget- He's, he's going, going, how can time? I follow oh, this? How yeah. can I, this is really annoying. Yeah. They're gonna be, yeah. oh yeah. no. So- <laughs> He's sticking, <laughs> he's already done the trampoline, my pogo stick out, he's never gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, so there's a hippo waiting. Uh, this, this, see, it's a great story and I just know he embellishes it or it gets slightly wrong. Go on. So- So there's a midget jumping up and down, the hippo's yeah. getting annoyed. He the crowd are going the mad, the midget's loving mental. it, can't believe his luck. Although we think, you think, he probably knows he's uh, dicing with danger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, next thing you know, they're all saying hi hi hi. He gives it one big, like, heavy sort of landing on the trampoline, goes really high, but goes off at a funny angle. Oh, hypotenuse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and sort of flies up. Hypotenuse. Sure. Flies off at a funny angle. Oh dear. Hippo's there. Swallows him whole. <laughs> Crowd are clapping, thinking that's why the hippo was waiting there. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> It's not rubbish, though. I but mean, no, maybe the, uh, there was an accident in a, uh, a circus with a midget and a hippo, eh? But at no point was this hippo waiting to go on going, come on. The midget flew off at hypotenuse and landed in the hippo's mouth and was swallowed whole. <laughs> <laughs> this well. is this is what you embellish it. That is great. And what's I that? have to say though, Rick, when I heard midget trampoline hippopotamus, I was thinking actually what didn't happen. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. I mean- It is it. That, 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 you should never put those three together. <laughs> never. It's, it's a recipe for disaster. It's Everyone knows that. Midget trampoline it, Thomas. <laughs> are you mental? You're asking well, for trouble. Well, you, you know, when he told me it, he said, and the midget, he didn't, he didn't mention the hippopotamus, <laughs> and he said, the midget went on like, and soon he fell off, and the hippo ate him. <laughs> and I said, sorry, what was the hippo doing there? He went, it's a circus. <laughs> I've never heard of a circus having a hippo. No, what do hippos do? What can they do? You can't train them, can you? <laughs> what do you want to do? Aren't they, like, very deadly? They're yeah. huge, aren't you they? You can't have a hippo in a circus. Are you sure? You're not thinking of Zippo. <laughs> He's neither clown. Yeah. He did, no, 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 and it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't some sort of, where Zippo was eating a midget and it's, it's some sort of horrible sexual act. No, it was definitely, I heard it on breakfast, right? Um, oh, okay, definitely. sorry. <laughs> no, it's definitely fact. Yeah, okay, it's right, proof. okay, good. Uh, well, let's play a record then. So, um, uh, I'd like to play a, a classic Springsteen, we're all fans of Springsteen there. This might be his debut album, I'm not sure, Greetings from Ashbury Park. I think it is, yeah. Um, New Joysy. Um, and this is Growing Up, it's great, it's classic. Mm. It's right. Springsteen and Growing Up off of, uh, Asbury Park album. Mm -hmm. uh, great. They make you feel good, Springsteen, oh, don't they? he's a joy. He's an absolute joy. Uh, Rockbusters. Well, this, what, this, what all, this is what they're this all, what they're reading and writing about. Absolutely. Um, before you get the clues, let me just remind you of the prizes you're playing for. We've got the Manic Street Preacher's Greatest Hits on DVD. We've got the film Human Traffic on DVD. Uh, we've got the Best Air Guitar Album 2, uh, on CD. Uh, Groove Armada's, is this their current album? Yeah. I guess it's not selling very well, they're still trying to promote that. You can have that as well. If you are a fan of the Ford Fiesta TV ad, of the Vodafone TV adverts, you will love the, You will uh, love- you <laughs> didn't think you liked indie. <laughs> well, you do. <laughs> exactly, and that's got, uh, Feeder and Travis and Badly Drawn Boy and all sorts on there. Plus, my own copy, six ninety nine. it cost me, uh, The Pelican Brief, starring Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington, if you've not seen that, panned and scanned on VHS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what right. are the clues? Do you what know what a pelican, uh, I read the other day that has mm -hmm. to turn its head upside down to eat? Give us the clues. So, Rockbusters- Well, it? let me just explain. A, a bird, a bird has a, has a gullet, an esophagus and a gullet, it's all in one thing. It hasn't got peristalsis, which is the movement that we have that can make food. Uh, so a bird has to, can only rely on gravity, yeah. so it, it has to have its head up and has to shake, it can't eat. You were gonna it. say that, weren't you, Carl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rockbusters, um, you mentioned it earlier, one of last week's was, it's a cryptic clue and then some initials, I was in Texas, I fell in a puddle on my knees, knees got wet, uh, WH, Wet knee Houston. Yeah. That's the sort of thing, thing we've Use of the with. word knee twice there in the cryptic <laughs> clue <laughs> and in the final And the word answer. wet. I think you're yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Which is wit. Right. So fine. Good. So, um, there's three of them. It's email only, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Sure. Load of stuff to win. Here they go. Right, the first one. I'm writing these down. Go on. Make a note of them. Um, 
the fella has only got one badge left. <laughs> <laughs> the fella has only got one badge left. Yeah. What are the initials? That's just E. Just E. Oh, just E. Just E. The okay. fella has only got one badge left. This is either a solo artist or a band. Yeah. Um, second one. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Say that again? The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Yeah. What's M the initial? M D. M D. M D. And finally, I really, uh, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. No, give, us that, give us that one again. I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. And that's right. M. Right, okay. now I've got that one. Right. Okay. So that's great. It's great. That's lovely. So, uh, yeah. That's great. I think, I think the, the second and third one's quite easy. First one is a killer. Is it tricky? Yeah, it's a tricky one. So, uh, ricky.gervais.xfm.co.uk and what, we pick a winner out at about quarter to two or something Quarter like to two, that? yeah, absolutely. No, quarter to three, what am I talking quarter about? Quarter three. Yeah. So, uh, so there you go. That's dynamite stuff, well done, Carl. Excellent. More, uh, educating Ricky next. Yeah. Back, lost cause on XFM 104.9. Wow. Carl. We haven't had a lot of emails. They're tough. I'm struggling. Yeah. I've, got, I've got you one, got and I, 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 I'm struggling with two, but I know one of the words, but I can't think of the band that fits it unless the clue's wrong, and I've got no idea with the first one, E. Give us again. Just, just quickly again. recap. Number one, the fella has only got one badge left. That's E. Uh, second one, the unmarried, uh, lady is a friend that you're out with. That's MD. And, uh, the last one, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Well, so, uh, Ricky, what is it, Ricky? Ricky dot Gervais at xfm dot co dot uk. So keep those coming in. If there's no winner, we don't know whether to give it to the person who gets the most right first, or have a massive rollover. And uh, what a Christmas booty that would be, as Carl said. Mm. All those. Imagine what you could have. Uh, oh, uh, indecent proposal, maybe. <laughs> who knows? It, you who know knows? what I mean? I've got some real junk, so I can bring that in. Yeah. It, the mean machine. Imagine someone Vinnie this Jones. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This Christmas. I can't believe it. Oh, I, thank you so much for the Pelican brief. I noticed yeah. you'd left the price on. And I, I, it's on VHS as well. <laughs> oh, great. Brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it's, it's so. a perfect Christmas gift, isn't it? Yeah, really? it's great. Okay. <laughs> now, um, Some so that's going. CDs. That's <laughs> going. That's Christmas going gift. on. That's a big, big, <laughs> big prize. It's a big weekend prize on yeah. XFM. Educating Ricky, part two. Right, what's the, what's the clues right, left? Well, we've, uh, we've, we've got left, uh, the headlines, I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> yeah. And we've also got, uh, chicken, you believe it. Chicken, you believe it. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're the two that are left. Which one's right. you for? Chicken, you believe it, is not that picture, is it, in that, that we saw? Which picture? The bloke with the... No, 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 Right, no, no. okay. God, um, that was bad. Right, okay. Um, um, right, so... I just better explain we that. We can't really discuss this on it, can we? Well, we can. Um, uh, Steve brought in, Carl, the best book ever, which is, what is it? I, I found it when I was moving house. It's an FHM publication, and it's kind of like lots of grotesque pictures and stories and like the book of the, uh, a book of freaks and weirdos and And grotesques. Carl opened it and the first one was like... At the back. At the back. Well, you couldn't but believe you luck, could what you? Was it, what, was, what was it? What was, what was number 50? A bloke with two heads. And he said, what's number one? Yeah. And then number six, there's a bloke who's a squid or something. Uh, octopus. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's loving it. At number one, he said, well, it's just a fella under a rock. And I went, oh, no, read on, I think I know about this. And it's the fella that was found, w he caused a landslide while having sex with a chicken. And they pulled him <laughs> off and there he is, the chicken owner. Right. So Carl so could not believe his luck. So it's not that. Chicken, you believe it? I love that one. You're going for that one? Yeah. Right, well, we've talked a lot on the show about, um... we talked a lot on the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, about <coughs> animals without heads. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we haven't! We've been, no, we talked about cockroaches could live without a head for well, seven days. Yeah, we've talked about that. And then, of course, there was the, um, <laughs> the well known one about the, uh, the fellow who had his head cut off. And he, he, he blinked and he said to his mate, Count how many times I blink when my head comes off. Yeah. We, as you, when, when you told it to me, you said his head came off. And he said, as he said, <laughs> in the basket, said, quick count how many times I blink. <laughs> And it was Nick Frost that had to go, no, Carl, no, he, he said it before. I went, and, uh, that was, that was lovely. So, uh, yeah, we've talked quite a lot about things, Ed's coming off. Go on, then. Well, this one. Yeah. Right. Um, mm -hmm. back in 1945. Oh, you looked it up the date. It's got a specific date. Uh, wow. Mate Jonathan sent this one. You know him as well. It's lad at the BBC, right? He emailed this one in. Mm. So, thanks for that. Um, Chicken. It's called Mike. 
There's, there's a chicken uh, called- sorry, I, I missed a bit there. There's yeah, a chicken, chicken called Mike. A chicken called Mike. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, what happened was, it was living on a farm, mm -hmm. right? Loads of chickens knocking about, <laughs> and, uh, the owner of the farm is like, you know, getting ready for tea and his wife says, uh, go out and get a fresh chicken mm. cause me, uh, my mum's coming round. Mm. So he thinks, well, <laughs> I, I want to get a good one in, cause, uh, I want to impress her, cause yeah. back then, even then, they wanted to impress the mother-in-law on that. Uh -huh. So they said, alright, I'll just nip out and get one. So he sees, uh, he sees Mike, chicken, running around. This is during the war or after the war? 1945, I'd, I'd say that was after. No, it ended, uh, well, it ended know. in 1945. Yeah, okay. September, go on. Yeah. So, um, chicken's running about, he thinks that one look, uh, you know, that looks alright, I'll yeah. have that one. Mike. So he picks it up, um, and, he cuts his head off. Oh. Puts it on the block, cuts his head off. Runs about a bit, like they do. Um, he thinks it'll stop in a minute. Keeps running about. Hmm. And what's going on here? Right? He's, he's, he's now like chasing the chicken without an head. Yeah. He's saying it should die in a minute. Anyway, doesn't die. Chicken's walking around with no head. Um, lives for 18 months. Yeah. Chicken with no head. Yeah. What do you no. think of that? Well, I'll tell you, I've heard this story before, Rick, and, uh, my, the explanation as I understand it was that, um, certain vital cords, spinal cords, weren't severed when the head came off. So yeah. that was why it continued to, to yeah. live. Yep. I don't know if that sounds plausible. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Um, how did it take on, uh, protein and energy? The fella who yeah. owned it, he said, well, hang on a minute, he said, I could, I could kill it now. But I've got a wonder chicken here. But he's thinking, it must really want to live. Sure. Right. <laughs> If it survives that, they sort of got something here. Yeah. So we, uh, what he does, he gets a little, um, eye droplet thing that he used to use on it. Obviously not, not anymore, right? And he filled it with grain and water, and it had a big hole in its neck where its head used to be. And he, uh... <laughs> Incredibly. And he dropped... You know what, there's, there's, I mean, that, that is possible then, if it, you know, without, without infection. Without, 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 without infection, if he's taken on things, it is, it is possible, right? Why? <laughs> Why what? Why did he do it? How cruel is that? I mean, that was not cruel because the chicken obviously, you know. He said he said if he thought it was a bit fed up, he would have killed it. He said, but right. he was running around quite happy. Well, it wasn't <laughs> fed up at all because it had no brain. <laughs> well, <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I'm just saying what. It what was I nothing. Mean? It was just it was just sinew and nerves and electrical impulses breaking down energies. Right, that's all it was. It, it didn't have a brain. So it was, but I, I'm worried about the psychology of keeping a pet without a head. <laughs> I'm worried more about what the farmer was thinking than the oh, chicken. I tell you this, what I'm, uh, the question I'm asking is, was the mother-in-law impressed? <laughs> I mean, that's oh, why he's out. That's why he's out to shot this Mike's is, head This off. is lovely, but it's just the head where you don't kill a chicken like that all at once. <laughs> I thought we were having chicken for dinner. Come and look at this. <laughs> running around the yard. <laughs> yeah! Oh, dear. So, there you go. You've learned something there. Yeah, I have learned something. Yeah? Yeah. So, so one more. That farmer, I've learned that farmer was very strange indeed. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I have to say, to be fair to Carl, I have a feeling like when I read it, the reason he kept it alive was as a novelty. He sold, he, you know, he, he got charged people to come and see the incredible headless chicken right. called Mike. Right. So, <laughs> there we are. Right. That's great. So, uh, <laughs> tune, Steve? A tune, yeah. Um, I just thought uh, I'd like to hear a little bit more from uh, that NERD album. We played some of this from uh, from there when it first came out many, many moons ago. Since then, it's gone on. It's won awards, all sorts. And obviously, NERD now, Nerd, as they're sometimes known, kind of big producers. They're producing Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears, all kinds of people. But this is a track from their uh, album. I've heard they're wicked. To, they are indeed. <laughs> and this is called Things Are Getting Better. Right? NERD. Uh, from their album In Search Of, and that's Things Are Getting Better. After the break, we got, uh, more Educating Ricky and the results to this week's Rockbusters. And Richard Ashcroft. Oh, dynamite. Richard Ashcroft, check the meaning on XFM 104.9 on Wicked Gervais with me, Steve Merchant. Carl's just remembered a little story he was excited to tell you. Okay. Go on. Oh, are you going to tell him? Oh, okay. Um, w when we went into this cafe last week after um, Carl had got his soil. We got two big bags of soil. I was going, get a bag. So, I mean, he, uh, he was, and I can walk home. After about ten yards, he was going, oh, my arms hurt. So he had to get a cab. So we stopped in this cafe. He had spaghetti bolognese. You were loving it, weren't you? It was good. It was a good little day out. And there was a woman that worked there, and she sort of, I could see her sort of looking at me. And she said, uh, and then she came over and said, are you off the telly? And I went, um, uh, yeah, yeah. She went, yeah, Chris Moyles. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. 
beautiful. And I just laughed, and we both started laughing. She went, no, sorry, I, uh, I said, no, I'm not, because what's your name? And I went, and I had to say it, I went, R Ricky Gervais. <laughs> she went, oh, no. She went, oh, the thing in the office. I went, yeah, yeah. No, the yeah, funny so thing went, was, no, she said, she went and said, Oh, no, I saw you on, on Jonathan Ross. Jonathan Ross, that's it, yeah. So she'd obviously watched the Jonathan Ross show thinking, Chris Miles has, you know, lost his looks a bit or whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what I found funny, the fact that she must have that's watched it, yeah. it thinking yeah. that- Yeah, she went, no, I saw you the other day, I was like, yeah, yeah, she went, oh. And then we were still sort of laughing, I was thinking, she went, oh, sorry, I was going, no, it's fine, it's fine, I was thinking, imagine that, just like, God. great, there's not a better one to pick. That's just <laughs> appalling. Oh, that was lovely. It's the second time as well. But you've been mistaken for Chris Moore? Yeah. 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 Oh man, you've yeah, got to feel I've, bad I've about had, that. I've had Moyles, I've had, um, uh, Vegas a few Johnny times. Johnny Vegas, yeah, I can imagine. Um, that. so, yeah. Do you think, like, people are going up to Moyles going, you, uh, you do that thing about working in an office? Yeah, I hope, well, I don't know. I don't know whether I hope that or not. I don't um, know, it depends what he answers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I like. I thought you were going to say that. Uh, are you Chris Moore's? No. no. What's your name, uh, Ricky Gervais? Uh, never heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have <been> brilliant. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Educating Ricky. Educating number three. Ricky, yes. Well, we've got the emails in. We've got the emails in. Yeah. yeah people are started... finally. They're finally trickling in. I think. People okay. Are getting... People have but... got the full three right. But I mean, it's still worth emailing in because we never know who we're going to pick as a winner. I'll tell you what. We've still got fifty minutes before we uh, give the prize out. So let's give this. Give them again. Just give us a quick uh, right. run there because I think these are these are these are tantalising. They yeah, really yeah, are. Yeah. 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 So the first one, <laughs> the fella has only got one badge left. Yeah. That's E. The second one, the unmarried lady is a friend to eat out with. MD. Yeah. And the third one, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Excellent. Right. Ricky so Gervais at xfm.co.uk. You can win all kinds of prizes. Educating Ricky, right, number final three. Final one. You've had uh, Hippopotamus. Love you've had, you had Chicken, you believe it. <laughs> and <laughs> the. <laughs> The last one is, um, I'll be no buying one of them. I love that one. All right. Um, interesting one, this. I, this, I mean, I spent probably three days looking for this stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and another one that I came across, right, and, um, I was gonna use, I was a What a like, great life you've got! <laughs> I was just, you know, going on the internet and that, and I also, looking magazines, found a story <laughs> about a bloke <laughs> who, um, I don't know, he was messing about with a chainsaw and he was- <laughs> 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 oh. I don't know, he was messing about with a chainsaw. Um, he was juggling a midget and, uh, whilst well, taking uh, his alligator for a walk and, um, go on. And his arm, uh, come off, right? Come off? What do you mean his arm come off? The chainsaw took it off. Oh, yeah, so okay. Like, oh. Again, anyway, he's going, oh no. Oh. So, uh, there's a picture of him on a exercise bike, sort of just with a, a little stump sort of balancing, but he's getting on with his life, he's happy and everything, everything's fine, he's not complaining, it's his own fault, he's got no one to blame, right? So anyway, he goes to the doctors and the doctor said, I can do something there. So he goes, well, it's all right, you know, I'm, I'm getting by all right, don't worry about it. And he goes, no, no, we've got an arm in, right? We can, um, we can attach that a real arm from someone who's, I think they'd passed away or lost an arm or something and uh, <laughs> They lost an arm and didn't want it back. <laughs> yeah, 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 he went, I'll have it. Are you using that? <laughs> yeah. No, because I know someone. Because <laughs> I know a bloke actually. Yeah. Well, can't you just put this one back on? <laughs> well, it's first come, first serve, really. I was just, I, listen, I was just building a bionic man. <laughs> We've replaced one arm with a robot's arm, so we got a spare one. <laughs> so, the doctor's going, let, let me put it on, he's like, well, oh, all right then. <laughs> so. So I'm do, grateful, bastard. So he does the operation. Right? <laughs> Everything's fine. He's loving it. He's, he's happy again because he said he can brush his teeth. Right. Okay. If this is if this is going to be <laughs> he's loving like, it again because now he can brush his teeth. Right. If this is going to be, and it was a leg. Or no, no, no. it was a chimp's arm, <laughs> or, or it was the arm it of was, a killer. It was yeah, it was two left arms, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to s kill you. Oh, let's let's leave it then. What is so, it? What's the answer? No, it's not that. I'm just what missing. is okay. Right, right. So, um, so he says, uh, go on and do it. So he, he he sews it on, and uh, like I said, he's happy. He's brushing his teeth. He can have a pint in the pub. He's lifting a pint with it. All his mates are happy for him. Uh, he goes on for about two years. Everything's fine. Then it all starts going flaky. Oh, I knew it would. Uh, uh, was it made of chocolate? <laughs> all right. So it all goes all like gammy, and then for some the reason, going gammy. it goes gammy, and it gets longer. <laughs> Of course it does. So there's a picture of him, right, stood in the magazine. <laughs> he stood there with his arms by his side. Um, 
one arm's normal, the other one is like past his knees. <laughs> it's re- he can pull his socks up without bending over. So it's is really this gonna be, they gave him, they gave him the arm of an eight year old child who would have been the tallest man in the world? No, he just said, oh, what am I gonna do? And the doctor said, oh, there's not much we can do. And left it. <laughs> What so, what, what, wait a minute, you can't leave it there. That's not a story. So, Carl, what, you've got story. to tell us the explanation. What, what, was what? it an incredible plastic arm? An incredible expanding arm? Did he fight crime later? No. Well, that's the end of the story. You've got no scientific explanation as to why- That's why I didn't pick it. But you just told it to us anyway! Yeah, but I'm just saying the sort of knowledge I come over when I'm looking for the good knowledge. <laughs> yeah? So <laughs> why did this arm grow? Place? Why did this arm grow? He must have had an adult arm. They couldn't have given him an arm. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just what I'm. <laughs> it's rubbish again, it's isn't not, it? Well, well, well I thought it's an interesting story, but you should have. It's not, went, and it's, it's rubbish. But you it should have read happen. to the end. There was photos. <laughs> yeah, but you should have read to the end of the article, Carl. No, I did, and he said, that, you know, he's not happy, and he wishes he he wouldn't have had it done, and all that, and you know. Are you sure this wasn't entirely unexpected? No, seriously, he was saying, you know, his teeth are nice and clean again because he could brush them and that, <laughs> but his arms getting in the way, <laughs> <laughs> really, <laughs> ruining his shirts and everything. <laughs> So I'll leave that. Let's play, let's play a tune this come back with the next one, because I love the fact that that- This is like Ronnie Corbett telling one of his jokes, <laughs> that's ironic. <laughs> that wasn't even the story he was gonna tell I'll play it, man, Colin. <laughs> oh, God. That's alright, innit? Travis, level come through, mm-hmm. quite like that, that's on right. XFM 104.9. Mickey Jermaine, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. In the chair. We've had the, uh, we've had the answers in. It's Rockbusters. Mm-hmm. It's the results. Yeah. Carl, yeah, yeah. give us the winning answers. Right, Steve, you search for a winner. I so will. At random. We can yep. slip into that. So, the first one was, the fella's only got one badge left. I, I have no idea. The initial was E. Go on. Will I get out the answer now, Yeah, Steve? give the answer, yeah. I think on. you should. That was his last sticker. <coughs> yeah? E- Elastica. The band Elastica. I'm right, not doesn't sure. Work, no. Doesn't work. The word, the word sticker and the and the ba- yeah. and a badge are not interchangeable. And it's not his last sticker. It's elastica. Yeah, but like his last sticker. So <laughs> someone's got it. Oh, um, so, so so say a different word and it works. <laughs> oh, so if the band is is elastica, then it works. <laughs> God, if only Justin would have named it different. If she'd have just gone, let's call it elastica, <laughs> then we'd have yeah. Second one. Um, what was the clue? The unmarried lady is a friend he out with. Go on. That's Miss Dynamite. Miss Dynamite. Doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, but it's been running <laughs> for four weeks. We've done, we've done the obvious Doesn't ones. Work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Miss Dynamite. Again, if she'd have called herself <laughs> Miss Dynamite, it would work. She didn't. <laughs> See, what, what, what's happening is pop stars are letting you down by naming <laughs> themselves incorrectly for your clues. Those don't work. <laughs> They don't count. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one, <laughs> I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That yeah. was M. Yeah. That w- was Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. I'm, I'm going to give you that. That work. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, that's the end of that feature. Until you can get ones that work. Okay. So you won't hear any more of that because <laughs> it's rubbish. You're running out already. <laughs> I do. So do you just think of the first three things that come in your mind and make them fit? Just no, think of three bands and make a clue, and if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I just, I just went through the game. Rubbish. Uh, it was rubbish. Whatever. Right, play a record. Hang on, we've got a winner. We have. Uh, actually, you say all this, Rick, but lots of people got them right. Which yeah. So I don't know what that proves, really. I don't know if that says, you know, you're the tosser or. Or they they're as stupid as Carl. One or the other. Okay. But uh, I'm going to give it to Simon and Daisy and Hitchin. They uh, got the right answers, and uh, well done to them. They get the Pelican Brief and some <laughs> other treats. <laughs> Says you're right. <laughs> I look forward Says to that. Says you're right for understanding Carl. <laughs> Swide's new one, Obsessions, on XFM 104.9. Well, uh, I'm Ricky Jermaine's obviously, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilgerson. Well, Carl, that's that's about it, and uh, we got sidetracked on the last Educating Ricky. You telling me about a man whose arm grew. Well. Something, well, something went wrong. I'm not saying it's, it grew. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? The rest went, of him shrunk. It went long. <laughs> it uh, went long. What, is that growing now? What do you mean it went long? Uh, did it grow or what? Did it come loose? That's, that's what I was thinking. Oh, so it was hanging by a thread which made it look long. Yeah. It was in the skin. 
It's like how you can stretch a pair of tights if something <laughs> is too heavy. Arms or... are very much like <laughs> tights. They so, are very so much the like one, tights. So the one that we didn't get round to <laughs> on Educating yeah. Ricky was, uh, I'll be no buying one of them. Go on. Um, are you familiar <laughs> <laughs> with okay. the with the same white elephant? Something is a white elephant. Yeah, yeah, I don't oh, think so. Hold on. You phoned me last night and said, what does white elephant mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I told you. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I know where it came from, but I just was wondering what it was about. So how, in what way is educating Ricky, you <laughs> calling me up and asking me something? <laughs> Well, do, do you know how it came about? You've given away some of the secrets of the show there, it would appear. I didn't realise he was phoning you for information. Well, he just asked me what, what the term white elephant meant in sort of like colloquial- <laughs> did, he, is that, did he say, Listen, why, why, why are you interested, Carl? No reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on, go on. Well, what it is, ages ago when- So what do we understand white elephant to mean? It's- Well, some of this useless that's like a bit of a, you know, a, 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 a you know, something that you wouldn't want around that's just, that's just stood there doing nothing. No. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Carl. So, uh, <laughs> so years ago when, <laughs> when people used to use elephants Years more, ago, go on. More, <laughs> when people used to use elephants? Yeah, more, more than they do now. Right. Um. <laughs> more than they do now! This doesn't involve a midget, does it? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, um, so you know, they'd use them in the workplace and stuff. Sure, yeah, yeah, as factories. Sort of, yeah. yeah, yeah. To move stuff Tea around and that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a cure, guards. <laughs> yeah. Can't trust them with the buns, though. <laughs> 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 That's why they stopped using them. Oh right. god, go on. So there was loads of y loads of elephants knocking about, about and the Chris thing is, is right. You couldn't if, move from. If you have a lot of something, uh -huh. you also have a lot of demic ones, don't you? A, a lot, lot of what? Of, you know, sort of demicky ones, ones that aren't right, really. Demic, demic. Well, you know, like it, they weren't, they weren't properly. They weren't. <laughs> they weren't properly. <laughs> they weren't Sorry, what, or Carl? Properly. What are you what, doing? Right, I'm getting to the story. So what I'm telling they you were, is they were a bit demicky, so they weren't properly. Have you started making words up? Right. Yeah, yeah, you Stanley Unwin, <laughs> Listen, reincarnated. What, demicky? What, uh, yeah. What, there was a lot of albino elephants knocking about. Okay. Where? Where is this? Um, old Africa. 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 <laughs> Uh, should we say Africa? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If an answer's got a question mark at the end, I'm not well, sure. It's either answer. Africa or India, but I'll give you a clue. Well, these elephants, do they have big ears or little ears? Um, I didn't sort of notice the size of the elephants. I noticed, what I noticed is they were white because they were albino elephants. Okay. Right? So, <laughs> that's why they're heading, I'll be no buying one of them. Okay. Right? <laughs> no buying one of them. So, <laughs> what would happen is people who didn't know what they were doing, like, you know how you get people making a mistake buying cars that are full of problems and that, back yeah. then when people were buying elephants, they'd go up to someone, say, I'm after an elephant, and the fellow would say, yeah, I've got one here for you, sure. this is a nice one. Mm -hmm. And it was all white and stuff, and it had, like, blue eyes. You should never trust a used elephant salesman. <laughs> <laughs> it was just this elephant that's white with blue eyes. Right, so, This um, is great. So, yeah. uh, so a yeah. fellow who didn't know what he was doing would buy the elephant and he'd get it back and it'd be all sort of lazy and stuff oh, and we'd we'll be doing the stuff. Yeah. Mm. And he'd say, what's, what's up with this? And his mate, who's a bit of an expert with elephants, and go, oh, where have you bought that from? And he'd say, oh, I got it off that fella, and he goes, oh. All this said, embellishing <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> Come on. With the story. He shouldn't have bought that. So he goes, why? And he says, it's only albino, isn't it? And he's like, what does that mean? And he said, oh, it's, it gets tired. Yeah. Um, it's not that good at doing work and that. He shouldn't it have bought it. It steals from you. But elephants back then were like a god. You know what I mean? Right. You couldn't, you couldn't say, oh, I'm sick of this and I'm gonna abandon it or anything okay. because ele elephants were seen as like pretty high up on the chain of things. So <laughs> they'd end up being stuck with an elephant, that's an albino, yeah. couldn't do much, gets tired, basically gets in the way, so they said, that's where they're saying like, you know, got a bit of a white elephant there. <laughs> <laughs> what so, do you reckon, Rick? <laughs> I, I feel, I don't, I feel like I, I haven't been educated. I feel like I've lost something. <laughs> so at that time in my life I can never get back. I feel like I've sort of been soiled and I, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm angry. Sure, yeah, I can see that. And all that rubbish around, look at his little face. Well, what was that, all that <laughs> shit about a second-hand elephant salesman and his mate knew about elephants? <laughs> what is it, what are the, they had blue eyes. What are you? Well, <laughs> albinos have red eyes for a start. Yeah. Oh, that's it. We've run out of time. Oh, yeah. what? What? The I mean, Sorry. what are you going to do about this next week? Are you going to actually do some w educating next week? And what about Rockbusters? Are you going to make the clues proper cryptic clues? Well, that's the teaser, isn't it? That's what we'll leave them with. <laughs>
<laughs> Will it be any good next week? <laughs> yeah. Tune in and find out on XFM 104.9. Red Hot Chili Peppers on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant. Hello there. Carl Pilkington. Alright. Don't be nervous. Uh, we, we might see a difference in Carl, he's a little bit shy. Um, there's someone here from the BBC filming this, part of that celebrity boxing thing. The Fight, I think it's called, and they they want to get a little clip of this, so we're gonna let them film for a minute and then they're gonna go away. Is that alright, Carl? Yeah. He doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to be on camera, do you? Do you? I think it ruins radio, doesn't it? <laughs> Do well, not for the people listening, it doesn't. Yeah, but it does because people are like, oh, that, he sounds like a bit of a looker. <laughs> what you do? Yeah. <laughs> and then they'll see it on the telly and they'll go, God, yeah, he, he, you know, his head is round. <laughs> <laughs> it is round though, isn't it? So. <laughs> Guess what? I got a call yesterday, um, you'll love this, Steve. Mm. From MTV. And, uh, I was wondering if, um, they could screen test Carl. That's outrageous. I'm loving it. And I was going, yeah, and I come, I said, yeah, yeah, he's it, trying, I come down with him and I was, I was saying, what about this and that, and they were, they were loving it. I called him and I went, oh no. I went, why not? He went, well, I'm looking at my reflection now in the mirror. He said, I, don't, I shouldn't be on the telly. What would you wear for your screen test, Carl? What kind of look would you try and cultivate? Because you've got to bear in mind that the audience out there, they don't know what you look like. So, would you be a snappy dresser like, say, Jonathan Ross, or would you go for your kind of street can't, cash can't, look? Can't wear a suit. Don't, you can't wear a suit? Don't hold it well. Uh huh. So, I'm <laughs> thinking, uh, I don't know, I'll prob probably wear my woolly hat, cos that takes some years off me. <laughs> <laughs> it does, he looks about ten with a woolly hat on. Yeah. Okay. And, um, you, is it quite a cool woolly hat, or has it got a bubble? It's charcoal, I'd say it's the in, in colour. It, it, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> and I'll probably wear my, uh, my anorak. Right. Oh, oh, he's going for the- He's going, he's he's going, going for, for glam. An anorak he's look. going for quite a glam <laughs> look. <laughs> oh, yeah. no one dressed else for a jumble sale! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. I'm, not, I'm not that happy about it all, to be honest. You, are you gonna do it? You're not gonna do it? Well, I'm sort of stuck in the middle, cos throughout my life so far, <laughs> I've always just- I've never planned for anything, right. right? It's just always happened. Yeah, yeah. The time, you know what I mean, being in plays at school, never planned it, but when I did it, I went down a storm. It was a triumph, yeah, we all remember that. So- we, I, As I remember, you did Little Donkey. Did Little Donkey, yeah. And then later, someone was filming at the back, was it your dad's mate? My dad's mate, well, yeah, yeah. and on the camcorder, he listened to it back, watched him playing it, his dad says, just off camera, what does he say? I don't want to say it because I'm in charge of the show and I'd be irresponsible. He looks like a right twat. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so I, he gets I, home, I, just I, watching that, and then here's his dad just off camera go, he looks like a right twat. <laughs> yeah, alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you worried about? Your no, dad's saying sorry, that. Can words. I just interject? Because I'm really worried about this idea of Carl being on MTV. Because the problem is that you know, let's be honest, Rick. I mean, we're we're getting by the skin of our teeth, aren't we? Really, it's yeah. only Carl that's keeping this afloat. Yeah. And if he gets on MTV and the world sort of gets a sense of him and they understand him, and, and he he won't be ours anymore. We won't be able to control him. It'll be out there. It'll be in the well, that's, that's the thing. No, that's the thing. It, it, that's the terrible thing, though, isn't it? It's like Carl is my pet. But mm. I realise I've got to release him into he's the wild, the wild. Sort of, and you know because I love him, I know he's got to go free. <laughs> sure, but I yeah. wanna. I it's wanna... like Kez. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's someone like... will beat him to death, and we won't have to worry. <laughs> I'll I, I, I uh, have you on though, I'll have you on as a guest. Uh, yeah. which, gets, which gets me on to something we've got coming up today. Oh right. yeah, he's got a new idea. Yeah. Right. Um, do you know, like, I've talked about ghosts and we had that good discussion the other week walking to the yeah. Circus Station, yeah, yeah, and I was telling you about ghosts and you were saying, Carl, don't be an idiot and all that. Uh, spoke to a woman in the week, done mm -hmm. a little interview with <laughs> You've her. done a little interview? Done Brilliant. a little interview, two minutes or so. With okay. uh, with a woman who's who's got ghosts in her house, <coughs> so uh, I look forward to uh, hearing that later. That sounds brilliant. Coming up later. Well, I'm going to play a classic tune now. I've I've just gone straight for it. I've gone for the jugular. This is Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. <laughs> Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. Next FM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkerton. Carl was also nervous. Got a bit of shock last week, didn't you? Just a little bit. His uh, his dad tuned in to the show. Yeah. Um, and Carl's never told him that he actually speaks on the show. He just said, I just pressed the buttons, right? He's kept him from it. He used to do radio before and you never told him, did you? Yeah. It's because of the little donkey incident. Yeah. When he went along to well, it. Was that the, the twat incident? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's never told him since, but, but they've promised not to listen, haven't they? Well, my dad uh, my mum said to me, don't worry, don't be put off this week, because, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, no. I've, I've told him he can't listen, but I hear my dad in the background kind of going, oh, Alex. <laughs> so, he might be listening. <laughs> so that's extra pressure. Yeah. There's lots of camera crew in. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You, well, you don't, don't like it, do you? Yeah. This is good training for MTV, cos then he can watch you on TV. I mean, what's he gonna make of that? Oh. Yeah. Does he know you're bald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> you don't keep your hat on when you're with him and say, oh no, I'll just press the buttons. No, it's no. just, it's just, you know, it's like when, when I was in any plays, I didn't tell him. No. Um, any sort of parents' evening, I never gave him the note. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. So then what did the teachers think? You were just an orphan? No, just on an off chance, um, my mate's dad spoke to me dad once, I think, and sort of said, oh, you going to school to see how, you know, your kid's doing? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> so there's a parents' evening, so he <laughs> went to- He said what kid? He went to one, and that's when Mrs. Matthew said I'd never be a high flyer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think we should call Mrs. Matthews and make her eat her words. Well. <laughs> ah, she'll turn on to MTV when, uh, I don't know, like their, their slamming session. Yeah. yeah. And they're, they're going to go, that's young Pilkington. <laughs> He's bald, but it's definitely him. I, I recognise that Willie Hack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, did you see <laughs> Celebrity Fit Club yesterday? I missed it. I didn't watch any TV this week. The only TV I watched was, um, Are You Good In Bed? I already knew the answer. I what was it? Do you had to have to tick points? Yeah, yeah. Right. It was no! <laughs> <laughs> I was off the scale. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking off the scales, Rick Waller. Really? Yeah. He's off. What's well, on? what he did is he lost, he lost weight and they couldn't believe it and he had a big argument with Harvey and they said go, never come back to it, right? And then he got to weigh and he'd lost sort of like ten pounds or something. Mm. And, uh, they were really... They said you've been starving yourself, haven't you? And he admitted it. And, um... <laughs> I thought he just wasn't wearing his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but he's, he was whinging all the time. He was, wasn't it? He was doing a press that was going, I've hurt my arm. They was going, I feel sick. They was going, um, and he was just lying all the time about whether he was doing the routine and what about what he was eating and stuff. And I thought, that's me with yeah, this celebrity like box. It is, it because like it's sort of like... And they go, how's it going? Do you have another drink this week? I mean, I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had a beer this week. No. <laughs> Did you do the exercise day? And I go, yep. Yeah, I've done all that. Done all that. Done all that. Yeah. And I try and get out of the sparring because it hurts because there's a man hitting me in the face for fun. Right. Um, because you know that's what boxing is. So, yeah, that is that? being hit, yeah. And I like you... all the, I like all the bits except the being hit. I don't even mind hitting someone. Right, I'm so you- I'd be willing to hit someone. Uh -huh. It's the getting hit that I don't like. Because I know you're a big fan of, um, like wearing the clothes, the sort of sporty gear. I'm I know looking you, you, good love, you, you look good and you've, you've obviously just switched back there, man. They've, they've, no, no, they gave that's me free, this to training. Charge. That, this was free so to training. That's a perk you love. So, uh, and I know yeah. you like, um, kind of the, uh, the sort of various sort of nutritional drinks you've got to drink. I know you're a big fan of those. I love the protein shake because mm. it tastes like chocolate. Mm. You know what? I've put on a couple of pounds since <laughs> I've been doing this training. <laughs> like, I think it is the extra meal and, uh, So you're adding the protein but not out enough to, to take it off again. Yeah, but I, th I think I've, um, I have actually changed a bit. I've got a, 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 an inch on my chest, but an inch off my waist. So uh -huh. even though I've put on weight, uh, there must be a little bit of muscle happening uh -huh, uh -huh. somewhere. So I just, uh, just to, to, to recap that slightly, you're, you're, you're enjoying all the trappings of boxing. Yeah. But not the boxing. Not the getting hit in mm -hmm. the nose. Right. That's the one. And you are aware that that's what will, what, what will be happening during the, the actual no, fight? because that's... I've got a cunning plan. Okay. I'm gonna duck and dive. Just, yeah. Okay. I'm bob and weave. Dance. Uh -huh. I'm gonna dance. Well, I read in the paper yesterday, I don't know how much truth there is, that, uh, Grant Bovey has recruited celebrity hypnotist Paul McKenna <laughs> to help him win. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't true. know if that's of any choice. I know you've got, haven't you got, um, you've got to uh, spit the dog. <laughs> I've got, got a couple the... of ventriloquists <laughs> <laughs> and an impressionist on your side. <laughs> 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 I've got pork boy from Desmond. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. getting me cheered in your corner. Yeah. Mentally. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. It's all a bit of fun. What do you reckon, Carl? What do, you, do you think he's, uh, well, in what's, the chat? what's McKenna going to be doing? Is like Grant Bovey going to be turning into a chicken and. You know yeah, what I mean? He's going to do an Elvis impression. Yeah. And take <laughs> if I say the right words. No, I think it's probably, he's probably going to just help yeah, him focus and- Yeah, and, exactly, um, yeah. I, I think there's, there's lots of sports psychologists out there at the moment getting people- So I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure it's valid. If it's true, I'm sure it's, uh, oh. fine. But, um, I've been, I've been, I've been getting tuned mentally learning how to hit. Yeah. Uh, that was my method. Eating and hitting. I think is. And do you work out to any of the music? I mean, do you put on the Rocky soundtrack? Because I know you've got, um, no, a no, CD with all, with music from the, all five films, haven't you? No, we don't. It's all, it's, um, I think they have the radio on down there, but you don't hear it. It's, uh -huh. all you hear is people shouting, saying things like, that's not like a fighter, and me going, I'm not a fighter, yeah, I'm a comedian. Yeah. And is it quite intimidating down there? I mean, do they, yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're most it's, people, but is I'm, it I'm like... getting used to it now, but it's, it is, it is, it is a different world, and I was quite scared, and I, I didn't When like... you say it's a different, I mean, is it like, is it like they're gangsters? I mean, is it kind of... No, I don't no, mean, I just mean, no, no. has it got that feel? You know when you see it in films, they walk into those places, and, you know, they're kind of, they're hard nuts, and there's that feel like... Well, they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're all, you know, they're all Xboxes and stuff, so yeah, yeah. But, I mean, but no, they're not, they're not, no, 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 that's not, that's not what I mean. I, I, I suppose it's like they're real men. <laughs> well, yeah, and, um, they, they, they don't understand, really, that I'm, I don't like getting hit on the nose. And they mm. say, well, no one gets hit on the nose. And it took me a long time to get over that, just, 
just taking a couple of punches. Yeah. I, I wanted to rule it out. Yeah. And, uh, um, but, you know, it, it's okay now. And, and of course they're, I know they're mollycoddling me, they're not, yeah. they're using about 25% power, but, yeah. and I'm still- And I'm you wear the headgear, do you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and the gum shield, yeah. I wanted to wear a crash helmet, <laughs> right, but they yeah. said no. And carry a baseball bat, and they yeah. said that's, that's technically <laughs> illegal. <laughs> but, um, I'm looking for, I'm a changed man, Carl. What we got coming up? Got a bit of a, uh, Death in Vegas with vocals from Liam Gallagher. Final question for you, Rick. Do Go you on. think you'll carry on boxing after <laughs> this is finished? Competitively? No, 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 just the training and stuff. Yeah, and I, I do, do the you training. Think so? Yeah, no, I love the, I love the training. I love learning the, the skills and I, and I do enjoy the training. I don't, I, I don't relish getting punched around. And, I, and I'm not worried about the fight at all. I'm really looking forward to the, the fight because, um, Grant's a novice like me. It's just when you get in with an ex-pro who you know could destroy you, <laughs> yeah, ain't yeah, yeah. So you're scared to hit him. And, and, you know, they never lose their rag and they're really cool and they're really nice and they've never, act, they've never even hit me by mistake. But even just tapping you like that in the yeah. face hurts. I just, I was walking down Finchley Radio and a couple of six former said, oh, you lanky gog like freak. And I just wondered if maybe you could pop round <laughs> and have a word with them. <laughs> I will. I will. Some of your friends. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, an enemy of yours is an enemy <laughs> of mine. Good. Scorpio Rising, Death in Vegas on XFM 104.9. Steve, mm -hmm. I'm Ricky Gervais. Carl, Carl's a little bit more, less stressed now. There's ca a camera crew have gone, his dad's not listening, we think. Well, we are, yeah, who knows? Mm. Who knows? But, uh, you're chilled. I tell you what though, me, uh, my mum was loving it. Do you, was know, she? do you know Rockbusters? I love, do I know Rockbusters? <laughs> I love Rockbusters. She's, I think uh, I dream of it. She was taking part, I mean, she oh. doesn't know a lot of the, the new bands and that, oh. but she, uh, she made some up for, uh, some older bands and that. Oh, she, she did some herself? She made some herself, sent them in the post. So are you gonna use those today? Um, she's not quite got the hang of it. That's okay. Oh, no, I'm like, I'm like a genius son. Have you got them there? Can we hear what they well, are? You keep talking a second then. I'm quite excited, I mean, if they're, if they're even approaching, say, the genius of Wet Knee Houston. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, there was another one which was something to do with a trench, Carl. What was that? Oh, that was Dandy Warhols. That was a good one. Dandy Warhols. That, I think yeah. that was his, that, that was, was his finest moment. Yeah. yeah. Incidentally, I've got an email here from, uh, someone called Sauda, if that's a uh, he or a she, but let's assume it's a she, just for, uh, glam's sake. Yeah. Um, she says she saw an old man eating a Twix last week, Carl, so that blows your theory out the I'm not having it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 so if you are a bloke, he's calling you a liar. So maybe you want a little rumble later? In fact, if you are a bloke, he's calling you a girl. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah then. Um, these are ones that my mum's made up. Um. Brilliant. Right, just in case you're a new listener, I give some initials out and a cryptic clue. Mm. And, and it makes up a band, doesn't it? Yeah. Or a soloist. Yeah. Or a soloist. Yeah. Not so much cryptic as w w what you're thinking. But well, go on. Uh, my mum sent this one. Uh, this group would be good at doing your hair. <laughs> this group would be good at doing your hair. TP. Uh, is, there, is there a group called the hairdressers <laughs> from the 60s? This group would be good at doing what? your hair. TP. TP, TP. Is it the something? The platters. The platters. Yeah, that's yeah, alright. Yeah, so that's, that's alright. Nice. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, this group sound like dinosaurs. Group sound like dinosaurs. T Rex. T Rex. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. They're not so much cryptic, are they? Uh, this group. <laughs> they're good. This group <laughs> likes being uh, by the sand and the and the sea. <laughs> this group likes being. <laughs> they the Beach Boys. Beach Boys. Beach boys. <laughs> 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 this band are called the Beatles. Ah, uh, the Beatles. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> we just have, just uh, have a. <laughs> <laughs> What else you got? Um, <laughs> it's oh, funny because one of them that she's done, I'm actually doing today, I thought of in the week. Right, so. is it the same clip? Uh, it was, yeah. Wow, well, well, great here's, minds here's, think alike, so this is obviously one. coincidence. Here's the last one from her. This guy sounds superb. <laughs> this guy sounds superb. The Bachelors. Glenn Campbell. I like that. I think I'll tell you this, I think you should get on to one of the big game uh, organizations, Parker Brothers or whatever, because this has got to be t I mean this could sweep the nation at Christmas. Don't you think this is the perfect <laughs> Christmas game? Yeah. Well, I think this is what's gonna make or break the M T V thing. Right. <laughs> Some kind of T V version. Yeah. Uh, I'm just yeah. thinking into mm. ad breaks, you know, coming up next is this band. Be careful though, Carl, because, you know, make sure you retain the rights, because I can see this selling abroad. You yeah. Know, you and I can America. see someone coming along and taking the sort of like the, the, the rock busters and changing one word and making another na like another game out of it and just what, using the same format. What, I, don't know, I don't know, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, I can't think of them there, but they could change. So sort, sort of like. They yeah. change the word rock to something else and have it. What could it be? Brick block? Yeah, and so you'd have to, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, be careful. Blockbusters yeah. will never work. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little face. So, uh, so yeah, so we're doing that later. Got some good prizes. Okay. We'll you talk about the prizes. Talk about that in a bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
educating Ricky. Yeah, we've got, got that. that. We've got the woman who's got a ghost in her house. Yeah. It's a shame she's not here live, because I feel like I want to ask a few questions, Rick. I don't know about you. Don't uh, worry, I've covered it all. You've covered it all, God. Yeah. So. Yeah, play a record. Rick, um, I know probably you, like me, are just too busy, really, to keep abreast of new music, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, we're busy people, we've got, you know, important showbiz parties to go to and stuff. That's why I have friends of mine who send me compilations and stuff. That's one of my, yeah. uh, quarterly compilations from my friend Harry, and that's All Downhill From Here by Jim O'Rourke. I've got a new track coming up later, actually, that oh, I think you might like. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, um, we're inflaming each other's desire for new <laughs> songs as well as going back to the back catalogue of some classics. Sure, sure. All sure. right? <laughs> I love adverts better though. <laughs> so I do. I love adverts. It's weird. <laughs> Missy Elliott on XFM 104.9, Orchid Gervais with me, Steve and Carl. Mm. Carl, why have you got a headache? You got a headache? Just a bit stressful because the moves, moves on this, uh, this week. Oh, you're moving yeah. house? Oh, by the way, uh, the XFM listeners came round to my house and bought the, uh, feet on the table. Did they? Well, they're happy well, with it. Quite normal. They were well happy. Yeah. Couldn't believe the luck with it. What do you mean quite normal? What do you mean quite normal? Well, it's always a bit scared, isn't it, getting, getting people round. I imagine they were scared. <laughs> well. <laughs> and were they excited to see you? Could they, I mean, they were, you know, could you tell that they were pretty pleased to see you? No, I don't think so, I mean. You're well, not Carl Pilkington. Yeah, but I, uh, the, the fellas sort of, I mean, they brought the whole family round, which was a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not often they get the chance to, to visit a living freak. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, no, uh, they, were not, they were nice. They were and nice. you're moving now, yeah? He said he phoned me up today. You know, it was absolutely tipping it down. <laughs> he had to cycle in. Because <laughs> he said, because of the move, he doesn't want to leave his bike around there. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> he said, and uh, Suzanne, oh, I can't say this in case he's listening, can I? He won't know, will uh, he? He said, he said, Suzanne's hired the oldest removal man in London. <laughs> you should hear him. <laughs> and the thing is, right, we ah. booked him, we booked him because everyone else happened to be booked out, but this fella's free, right? <laughs> so he called up this morning, <laughs> I've never spoke to him, but he was on the phone, he sounded about 90. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Carl thinks that he's gonna have to do all the work. <laughs> and, the, and the thing is, <laughs> we, well, it, it seems he's to be He already wanted some Werther originals. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. listen. <laughs> It seems to be cheap because it's fifty pound an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but how long is it going to take him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so, genius. Wait, when's the move on then? When's the end? Oh, he's coming round. He came round today to bring some empty boxes, and he was struggling with them. <laughs> 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 so, uh, oh, it, it actually wow. happens on Wednesday. Oh God. Anyway, oh. so um. Richard, I noticed that you were laughing and almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Doesn't bode well for the boxing match, oh, does it? Carl, for the moment, I? I've had my limbs it. Anyway, what are we doing now, Carl? Well, oh. um, I teased you with it before. Mm. Um. <coughs> you gonna get it out again? I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm always, like, trying to get you, you know, thinking, opening, opening your mind right. up a bit to, to ghosts and stuff. Yes. So, um, this woman who I know, she, uh, she said she'd come in and I could interview her to try mm. and sort of, you know, get the belief out there. Okay. Um, so yeah, I there's I'd not enough belief in the occult and rubbish out yeah. there. So, so does she, she think she has a ghost? <coughs> she has, yeah, she's, she's got a ghost. She has, no, it's fact. <laughs> yeah, no, so, yeah, she has. So I thought maybe it's a new feature we could try for a couple of weeks, see how it goes down. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know Parkinson? Uh-huh. What about Pilkington? <laughs> Welcome to, uh, Pilkington. Thank uh, you. My guest today is Taryn, she's a plugger. Uh, you're still a plugger, aren't you? No, we do co-management. Right, now. she does co-management, but she was a plugger, she looked after Therapy, Raging Speed, on Slash, all the big names, yeah? Um, but we're not here to talk about music today, we do a lot of that on XFM. Today we're talking ghosts. Now, Ricky and Steve, who I do the show with, they, uh, they're not having any of it. So, I said, well, I know someone who, uh, you know, gets on with ghosts, there's a lot of them. Um, so I thought I'd get you in today, have a little chat for a couple of minutes, uh, just to sum up the story so they get an idea of what happened. Um, you had a horse, yeah? You had it in some stables. Yes. He hasn't there to speak yet. Uh, you went to, like, look after it and that, play yeah. around with it, take it for a ride and that. Riding, yeah. yeah. 
Um, two of your mates were in the stable where your horse is. Not my stable, in the opposite but stable. In the opposite stable. And I heard them giggling and They're messing about and that, yeah. You heard them having a laugh. So you thought, right, what are they up to? So you go in and they're messing about with a Ouija board. Yeah. Right. So this is where you come in. Did you get involved with the Ouija board? Unfortunately, I did. Right. And what happened then, then? I was like, oh, you don't believe in this, oh, let me have a go. Right. And, uh, ask a few questions, put our hands on, and it actually started moving. So a lot of the stuff you asked it, has that, did the things happen that yes, you asked? Yes, they did. Right? So that's scary for a start, right? We haven't even got to the ghost beat yet. So you mess about trap with that. Trap soul, yeah? I like to call it. Right, him. trap soul. So you're messing about on the Ouija board, you say, right, I've had enough of this now. Yeah. I've got all the answers I need. Yeah. You go home. I didn't like them. <laughs> you go in the house and it's a bit nippy. The house, the flat is absolutely fine. It's when I went into the bedroom. You've got to remember, it's a very, very warm, hot evening. Right. And walk into the bedroom and no, note it is cold. Colder than usual. But I'm actually quite glad because it's so hot. Right, okay. Completely ignored the fact that the windows were all shut but the curtains were blowing. Didn't sleep well at all. Right. Next evening, same again. Freezing. Yeah, when very, very noticeably cold. Curtains blowing. Yeah, I'm fast asleep, get woken up, the wardrobe's opening. So at this point, this is where we clear up, you're not, you're not on crack, you're not- No, never touched drugs in my entire life. You're not a drinker. No. Um, I will have the old glass of red wine. Yeah, right, that, that's, that's alright, they recommend that anyway. They say it's good for your heart. What started happening was as the week progressed, I also felt the bed covers at one point at night fold over, double bed, the bed covers fold over and it was like someone was getting in the bed next to me. But you've got to remember when you're in a deep sleep, yeah. you're not quite thinking and you're thinking, I'm losing it. <sighs> I was getting more and more tired, more and more a little stressed and really thinking I was having a breakdown. The final straw was when the clothes on the end of my bed that I just throw hit me. How come you were going back home at night? Because I was sceptical. In fact, six months ago I just said, I, I don't want to go there, people will think I'm mad. But you know what? I don't care. Yeah. I know there's more out there. Well, brilliant. Well, cheers for that. And, uh, thanks for being a guest on, uh, on Pilkington. <laughs> Incisive <laughs> investigative journalism there. I like the fact that you've learned a lot from Parkinson, even stealing some of his questions, like, are you on crack? Which yeah, I know he always yeah. asks his guests. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact that when she went, I don't know, I have the occasion to wear goes, well, that's alright for you. Good for your art. <laughs> That was great. It was brilliant. Although that is I the best interview technique I've ever heard anywhere. I, I feel like there's still some questions unanswered. Yeah, it hasn't proved it to me, I'll be honest, <laughs> no, Carl. It hasn't proved me the existence of, of ghosts I have to and say, look, I was, I was worried as soon as she got involved with the Ouija board. I yeah, was yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah, please, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, thinking, please yeah, do not get yeah, involved with that Ouija yeah, board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was worried when said I heard some giggling from coming from the other stable. Yeah. Don't yeah. go over there. <laughs> Don't go over there. It's, uh, what, uh, questions did she ask the Ouija board? You didn't ask that, I noticed. She didn't, she didn't want to. She didn't want to say. No. Okay. Do you think it was something like why that you did to try and confuse the computer mm. and the spirit world got really annoyed and they <laughs> yeah. got confused and they came back and started messing up her clothes? <laughs> but what, what do you think then? There's, there's what do you mean? What well, do you mean what do I think? What do you think? What, you know what, 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 what about what? what there's, no, there's nothing I can answer there. There's nothing I can answer. All right. She said- Well, she I just keep saying I don't believe in the existence of ghosts because of the impossibility. Right. Now, when she said, I mean, the interview I did for 50 minutes. You did for how long? Fifty minutes. Fifty. Five thought, whole minutes. Yeah, we might use that Christmas or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but the thing is, well, that's right? the best you got out of fifty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they're no, the highlights. No, 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 I can, I can understand the heating thing. I said, well, you know, in the full interview I was saying, you know, that could, that could be anything, could it? Heating broke or something. Mm. Yeah. Now, she said the, the, uh, what else was she talking about? Someone got into the bed next to her. Yeah, I mean, I sort of said, well, um, you know, 
how did that happen? Yeah. And she couldn't explain it herself, but sure, I said, sure. but, but it did wake you up. Maybe you're mm. a little bit sort of, oh, but yeah. still. Although tired. the only explanation I can think of, if she didn't actually see anyone, is whether well, it was a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that She's was She's probably got a ghost but getting what, in But what about cupboards opening and shutting? See, that's, that, again, the only explanation for that is a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can't play think of anything else. Play a record. It's gotta be a ghost. Yeah, it is ghost. I think you've proven it to us. Yeah. A spirit. Yeah. Street spirit? Yeah. Nice. What yeah. Street spirit. Radiohead. So, turns out ghosts do exist <laughs> <laughs> after all, Steve. A woman what Carl knows proved it. I've got egg on my face. Yep. On XFM. Instantly, Rick, I should just on. encourage you and everyone else listening. I really have got egg on my face, is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, I've just been <laughs> eating an omelette. James Randi, a yeah. hero of yours and a hero yeah. of mine, yeah. he's on TV this week on Horizon, I think it's maybe Thursday, check press for details, trying to expose the nonsense that is homeopathy. Oh, yeah, I saw that, yeah. So, uh, I look forward to that. Do you know what that is, Carl? Oh, go on. Um, I've got a theory that, um, if you, say, say you've got something, uh, 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 an essential oil or something or, uh, uh, in a solution, uh, one in ten solution, and it does something to you, actually does something to you, um, they've got this thing where they dilute it, dilute it to, so there's nothing in it, but because they're using the same water and the, 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 the dilute, the water still has the same effect. It's sort of like, it's sort of like a placebo that you know works. You know, that's the sort of theory of it. Mm. What time's that on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll check the papers, but I think it's, uh, sort of nine o'clock Thursday, something mm. like that. Mm. It'll be interesting though, Carl. It will be interesting, mate. Trust me. I'll tell you what's also interesting, Rick. The prizes we're giving away this Go week on, on uh, Rockbusters. We got for you, uh, David Attenborough's The Life of Mammals. I don't know, is this a new show? Is this on TV at the moment? Is this like yeah. a new thing? Uh, so that looks good. It's like a, a double VHS thing there. Um, we've also got a U2, the best of their, um, 90s videos. Uh, even better than the real things on there. Mysterious Ways, Beautiful Day, Electrical Storm, the new one. Stuff on there, that's on the video. Uh, we've also got a couple of CDs, The Smashing Pumpkins. I think this is sort of alternative versions of a lot of their hits and stuff, live yeah, versions live and, stuff and, and stuff like this. Johnny Cash's current album, possibly his last, uh, we don't know because apparently he's, he's not very well at the moment. So uh, an uh, album of covers. Yeah, well not all covers, some of his new stuff as oh, well, but he's done uh, covers of things like Personal Jesus by Depeche Mode and mm. Desperado, um, and Bridge Over Troubled Water. And the great thing about Cash is I read an amazing review where it says it's like he always makes them his own, do you know what I mean? It's like you can't even remember the old version. But Desperado by the Eagles. By the Eagles, yeah. Uh, could I, I'd like to play that, just yeah, well, that, because uh, I haven't heard that, we'll play we'll that and then give it away. These are actually good prizes, Carl. We've also got, um, uh, if we're including a small, uh, miniature three-wheel car, uh, an Only Fools and Horses video. Mm. I think this is the, uh, special that was on Christmas TV last year. So if you're one of the, uh, the people who didn't see it, I mean, wasn't it like 22 million people yeah, watching? Yeah, ridiculous, yeah. If you're one of the people who, you know, desperately wants to see it again, I know I do. <laughs> and, uh, and, <laughs> and, and wants a small yellow car. And uh, also wants a small in. car. Then, uh, then there it is. And, uh, also, another of these, um, compilations, arbitrary compilation albums, the best chill-out album ever, Rick. Sure. Um, if you're a fan of the Levi's Freedom ad, I then love the <laughs> Levi's Freedom ad. Then uh, the track that I Susan hate the music has. to it though. No, no, well that's a shame because <laughs> it's, it's, got, it's included <laughs> on here. <laughs> Rick, how much do you love the Volvo TV ever? Love it, love it. Cause that's Hate a, the music again though, why? That's a shame because oh, that's, it, that oh, track is also music. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. But there's also sure. stuff on here, there's some interesting stuff, there's Pink Floyd, there's Coldplay, there's Roy Scott, so um, you know, it's probably worth I it. I love Pink Floyd. Except the music again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's a bit of a bind for me. That's a whole heap of treats And, there, that, and, and the, that's the winner of Rockbusters. That's the winner of Rockbusters. Coming up after the adverts. Okay. Yeah. Doves caught by the river on XFM 104.9. We're into the second hour now. This is when this award-winning show really kicks into gear. The when last you say award-winning? Uh, we, we haven't won them yet. I mean, it, uh, it, we will win some. Hang on, let me remind you. Uh, there are bronze in the Sony Awards. Oh, yeah, we got bronze. We got I don't bronze. go for bronze. I it doesn't count. Count. No. no, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Um, uh, I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously, with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington, which is, uh, what Heat write about, really. Uh, Carl's the main man. Think of Carl, a year ago, he was just sitting in that room going, all right, all right, I've done this. <laughs> XFM. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a music bed. Brilliant. Comes on the show, we start taking the piss out of him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People start going, oh, who's the, who's the idiot you've got in? And we go, it's Carl. And they yeah. go, we like him, he's a, he's a fool. I go, yes, he's a fool, <laughs> he's a pet buffoon. And they go, we'll let him speak more, right? And they're going, don't let him talk, don't let him talk, XFM, the, the fat cats. Oh. And I said, I'm a rebel and I'll do it my way. Rick, can I ask, did you stick it to the man? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. And then MTV call up, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Heat are writing about him every week. Yeah, he's just been f- doing film for the BBC. There's some rumours he might be the new James Bond. Is <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He's got. He's, uh, he's got. Bi- is he in lovely McVitie's original digestives? Are we allowed to? Uh, can I? Uh, if if McVitie's are listening, I love these biscuits. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And uh, and he's got the best. <laughs> if the spearmint right now, strip clubs are listening. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> right. And he's got rockbusters to come. Yes, Let's do it. I should just ask the, the few people who asked me this, uh, and there's also an email here from Rich. People are saying they've seen some of the posters and the adverts of uh, advertising the show, plugging the show. Why isn't your? Why aren't you on the posters, Carl? And it is your choice, isn't it? We did ask uh, Carl to be involved. But well, he, he is actually. It's he like, to w- do where's it? Waldo? He's actually. <laughs> he's, he's, there, he's, he's, he's in my trousers. <laughs> 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 Carl, you don't po- like having your photo taken, do you? You don't want. You don't. You don't. You're not seeking the publicity. No. I reckon you good are. Like, good right. I don't believe you. No, are. he's right. He's totally right. He's doing it just right. But I think there's a, there's a fine line to be drawn that you know if if you like being in you know around radio, you've got a, and you, you want your own show or, or you enjoy talking and they just happen to be filming you for MTV. That's different. I think what you just avoid is going to silly celebrity bashes, having your picture taken for the sake of it. I mean, I think you're right, but. I think you should do the screen test. On a serious note, I think you should do the screen test. Just because it might be fun, and if it's no good, they won't do it. And you can stop any time you want. Yeah, no one I'm has to keep going on telly. I just think we're gonna lose him. No, no. We won't lose him. Listen, right? I'll always be part of this. <laughs> I'm just worried that you're gonna get- you're gonna exhaust yourself. You're gonna be drained. You're gonna have told all your anecdotes it, on it certainly will have, uh, if you have to help the old fella upstairs with the yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fifty pounds an hour. Oh. That's well, terrible. Go on. But, so- But I'm- I'm- what I wanted to do, right, because- I don't want to embarrass myself, right? Mm. I don't want to embarrass the woman at MTV when I turn up and she thinks, oh, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> what a waste of film this is gonna be. Cause it's not cheap. I know sure. that. It's not film either, but go on. Well. It won't be. It, it is cheap. It is cheap. They're, they're, they're filming on a DV camera that they can go over. Uh, if it's no good, they won't show it to anyone. It'd be great. It, th- it's just what they want you. Honestly, I can just see you doing little things, just like popping up, you know, between the records and going, all right. Uh, MTV, uh, music television, uh, hear about the airy Chinese kid born, which is weird, isn't it? Because they're not usually airy. And it just goes, <laughs> MTV. It'd be brilliant. It'd be brilliant, Carl. Yeah. But if I, I'll come down with you, I'll come down with you. Well, we'll see. We'll, Go on. We'll think about it, right? Go on. Um, right, Rockbusters. So, Rockbusters, um, we, you know, it's a little clue, some initials, three different clues. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. You can win the the load of stuff that we've got. So, um, first one, um, here's the clue. Stop throwing that fruit about. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What's the initial? That's C B. C B. C B. Stop throwing that fruit about. Yeah. All right. Is Anders listening? Has he emailed us in yet? Anders, not had a, not had any response from Anders. I'll keep uh, keeping. Maybe he hasn't stopped listening. Because right. he doesn't like the show. He's gone off. I hope he hasn't gone off the show. <laughs> so, uh, the second one, um, that Scottish fella has made an error. That Scottish fella has made an error. Yeah, that's Interesting. that's M. M. Right, right. That Scottish fella has made an error. Right. Okay. And uh, the last one, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with them. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a right load of toast with them. Yeah. All right. What's the that's, that's G. <laughs> G. I was thinking it might be bread for a minute, but no. Uh-huh. G. So uh, so just very quickly, stop throwing that fruit about CB. <laughs> I've got I've got the last one. All right. Scottish fella. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't count. Doesn't count. Well, that Scottish fella's made an error. That's M. And uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with M. That's G. Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and you can. We've got the CDs. We've got horses. We've got mammals on VHS. We've got U2. Uh, we've got a couple of CDs, including Johnny Cash. Here's a new tune from a, a, a new fella called Papa Garcia. See what you think of this. Uh-huh. See, if he was on MTV, I couldn't say his name. Why? What is it again? Papa Garcia. Right, here's a new one from Papa Garcia. Brilliant. Uh. <laughs> Papa Garcia, Natalie and Nusi from uh, the forthcoming album Bring Me the Head of Papa Garcia. Catchy that. Hmm. Quite retro, it's a bit of a bit of Alton John and all sorts of yeah, 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 lovely. Um right, here we go. Just quick clues again. And then uh, we better do uh, educating Ricky. Oh, well, this is the favourite bit of, my sh- of the show for me now. Educating Ricky. I love it. I can't. Well, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. S- I'm well, an- anxious all week. Well, just quick, quickly on those clues, just in case people need to know again. Uh, stop throwing that fruit about CB. That Scottish fella's made a bit of an error. M. And uh, God, you can make loads of toast with M. That's uh, G. Oh, right. Brilliant.
ricky.gervais <laughs> at xfm.co.uk. It's email only. Oh, yeah. I need some learning. I need some knowledge, Carl. Well, Educate me. I might be able to help you. Go uh, on. Uh, we've got three things, as always. I'll give them a little, uh, mm. heading to tease you uh, yeah. as to which one you want to learn first. Yeah. Uh, first one is, uh, is the tip included? Is the tip included? Yeah. Like it. Um, second one, I want to come here in hindsight. Mm. I wouldn't have come here in hindsight? Yeah. Okay. And the third one, am I gonna have to thump you? Am I gonna have to thump you? Mmm. Okay, oh, and you've trawled, what, the internet? So, I, 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 so, I, so if I can get into the mindset of this plan, uh, is the tip included? Well, obviously, that's probably not gonna be about a weight. It's gonna be lo like, is that, if that's someone losing the end of his knob, I assume, um, am I gonna have to thump you? That's a man who lost his arm in a fight but then picked it up with the other arm and smacked <laughs> him with it. Um, what was the middle one? I want to come here in hindsight. Hindsight. Hind. Hind's right. sight? It, yeah, uh, it, yeah, it's someone was blinded by baked beans. Sure. So what are you going for then? Uh, I think I'd better go for, um, armor oh, gonna have to thump you. Alright, well this isn't- I've been struggling again, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, searching iron low for stuff and- and some of these I had to leave till this morning. So right, cause there's just not morning. enough knowledge out in the world, is not there, that you don't on. know about? I found out about something in the week about a guy who, um, uh, was playing tug of war. This is bonus material, <laughs> isn't it? He was playing tug of oh, war. Oh, uh, his arm came off. He's- only his arm come off. Yeah, he got caught up in the rope, yeah. No, 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 he didn't. He didn't get caught up in the rope, he just was trying that hard and didn't want to lose. He kept holding But he allowed it. his arm to be pulled off. He really wanted to win. And well, the, other no. team, the, the other team pulled it and his arm come off. No. Well. I don't know who to believe. Well, uh, think about it. If he's gripping. Yeah. As soon as there's tension, like this, the, the arm coming out of the socket, the hand might release. I think his arm got caught up in the rope. And so it was involuntary, as opposed to him going, well, my arm's coming off, but I'm not gonna lose this! <laughs> <laughs> you might be anyway, right. That's the, that's the fact you're that's not gonna tell us. That's a bonus fact. Yeah, well, that's that's educated uh, me. Well, a man lost his arm. <laughs> oh, interesting. Go on. Um, arm I gonna have to thump you. Yeah. Do you know the saying, uh, shut your face? <laughs> 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 yeah, so? I've heard the well-known Shakespeare, isn't it? Yeah. Do, you know, do you know how it came about? Uh, no, Joe Dolce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, go on. It's, uh, ages ago. Oh, yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> like, uh, knights who wore armour. Okay. And that's, uh, armour going after something, you know, that's how it came about. Okay, armour. Um, no. they, they wore all the stuff and they had the helmet and say if they, they guarding something at night. Mm. Stood outside a castle or something. Yeah. And there's probably gonna be two of them. Mm -hmm. Right. So they stood there talking and that. <laughs> and, uh, talking about stuff. And. The future. Sort of, yeah. Medieval what, stuff. One yeah. of them, one of them's like, oh, I wish you'd shut up. You know, I've been stood here for hours and he's going on and on. Yeah, sure. So he'd say, shut your face. Meaning, shut the guard down on your helmet. The visor. And, and I can't hear you then. Uh huh. So shut, shut your face. Shut your face. And that's okay. how- that's how it came about. Well, I suppose that's- It would be interesting if I could just rely on it as I'm a, not sure it's true, yeah. I know, I just never know, I can- <laughs> It needs to be cooperated. It's like, I don't know where he got it from, but anything via Carl mm. is- Precarious. Yeah, stuff. I mean, I feel like maybe you should give us your sources next time. You know, tell us where I you know, got it you. from. Got it off the internet. Yeah, but where on the internet? I can't remember where that one was. I mean, I, I, I always go through, like, the news pages and stuff. And I, oh, I this across. news should be updated because <laughs> they've only <laughs> reached the 17th century, <laughs> which is last week with people eating um, tomatoes no, off no, lead plates. I look at news and there was stuff about a woman who was in a shop and she, um, I don't know, some they had some workmen in, workmen in doing the shop up, and they had some wood glue left out and she asked for some pear juice and then the guy went and thought the glue in the thing was the pear juice and she went and drank that, but that's not really. News. No. So I thought, well, we're not, not really that. I wish you hadn't told us. There was one about. So there's some poor woman now whose tiles have tiles have fallen off because she tried to put them up with pear juice. Yeah. See, that's the that's the danger of mixing up pear juice with toxic glue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your wallpaper and your tiles <laughs> and everything just yeah. fall down. Um. There's there's <laughs> there also be careful, everyone. Be please. careful. There's something about uh, kids having hamburgers. It makes them fat. Hamburgers. Uh, yeah, hold on. What you having? F food with high fat yeah. content can make you put on weight. Yeah. Don't believe it. You're an idiot. What's so, the next one? Well, no, let's play tune. No, let's play well, tune. You've we'll still got out. to come. You've still got 
I want to come here in hindsight and you've still got is a tip included, but we've got a bit of uh Well, I think we haven't played anything for a while, have we, in terms of the hip hop hooray no, feature that I used to uh, be so popular for. So I thought we'd just re resurrect that for one week only. Heat didn't pick up on that one. They did they? Did, they didn't, did they? they? <laughs> 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 Let me just remind you, hip hop <laughs> hooray was where I played a hip hop track. And then I said hooray or Yeah, no, well no, I think uh, no, didn't, didn't, didn't even have that. Really. Brilliant. That's brilliant. a great that's a great thing though. We could add that in, we could phase that in. Maybe at the end of the uh, song you hooray. could Brilliant, brilliant. Okay. No, I'll check it. Featuring Puff Daddy and Little Kim, that's notorious B I G notorious. Great, lovely. Carl just, uh, said to me, hey, uh, here's something, you can't hold your breath to death. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried it, Carl? It's <laughs> <laughs> just another little lesson. <laughs> 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 oh. There's someone here who's in a really low ebb. Yeah, They've been listening yeah, to the show, yeah, they were yeah. going to commit suicide. Yeah, they yeah. just started holding their breath and thinking, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's brilliant. Ah. Well, what oh. did you learn in the week, right? I'm always doing all the educating. I asked you, you were talking about watching a program about jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. And I said, well, that'll be interesting. I'll try and find some stuff out, but I couldn't find anything that I didn't already know about them. <laughs> <laughs> it must be difficult for you to find anything you don't already know. So what 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 did you learn about jellyfish? I, I agreed with you by the end of it that they should be wiped off the face of the earth because they're balls of water in membrane, right, that go around stinging people to death. Huh. Let's lose them, Carl. Let's lose the jellyfish. Yeah? That's, that's what I think. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. I, I was stung mm -hmm. by one, did it, you know? Oh, you got stung by yeah, one? Yeah, I was on holiday and got stung by one. Yeah. And I, d I don't understand. No, I don't you're not. Understand them, I'm not a fan of them. So yeah. that's, that's that. <laughs> oh, good. Well, well that's uh, sorted out the jellyfish conundrum. <laughs> We've solved that particular worry. Right then, yeah. so, uh, take your pick then. I asked him his, what, if he could have any animal the other day. Did I ask him on air as well? Don't know. Off air, he <laughs> said, I've got it down to two. Right, and this was, he said, he said uh, what favourite animal we're looking at, or could I own one? And I went, you could own one. And he went, right, but could I own one, or would I have, would I have trouble? I went, Carl, you've got all the expertise, you can just have it in whatever it needs, and you go down there, he went, right, and I won't regret it and get fed up. I said, no, Carl, just what animal, if you could have any animal, what animal would you have? He went, I've got it down to two. I went, what is it? He said, either the rhino or the hippo. What's your logic? Well, I have. <laughs> I don't know. That that was then. I mean, ask me tomorrow. And <laughs> I might have two other favourites. Do you know what I mean? When was that? It's a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> when was that? Well, you were there. Yeah, but uh, you know. What, so what, what are they today? Quickly now. First animal quickly, that comes quickly into your head. Quickly now. Any animal I want. You could have any animal in the world. Right. From party, one that's maybe extinct. Anything you want. Right. I might have. Um, I might just for today. Just for today. I might have a scorpion in a in a little box. A little scorpion in a box. No. What's your What's your thinking? It's the chimp every time. It's Just the chimpanzee or the gorilla. No, but have I told you that program about the scorpion? How they all help each other out. Right. Have Scorpions all help each other out. No, no, no. This is brilliant. Right. Somewhere in the desert. Okay. Um. There's these <laughs> in little. In the desert. It's like these little monkeys that are underground or something. <laughs> and there's there's holes. Is this beneath the planet of the apes? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth in the series. Are they I think, talking out? Oh, I forget it actually. No, and you've got it wrong anyway. They're not monkeys. There's little monkeys under the ground. <laughs> <laughs> what are monkeys. they doing then? They're, they're toiling lizards. into underground mines. They're lizards, if you remember. And the lizard goes to sleep, and the bloke comes along. You've told this. And he, and the oh, we've done it. All right. <laughs> monkey from monkey. Right. Lizard. Oh, That's what monkey. happens in his mind. From lizard to monkey. <laughs> oh, evolution would have been so much easier if Carl was around. Oh. Right. Uh, turn it into a monkey. I'm fed up with a lizard. Just Take promise me <sighs> once again, Carl. I've asked you before. Promise me you'll never have children. <laughs> <laughs> go on, right, okay. Right, what are you having? Right, is what's- the, what are they again? Is the tip included? Yeah, go on, that one. Right, in Turkey- Nice. Um, <laughs> it's not, actually. Mm -hmm. oh. That's where I went and there was them little fellas after Suzanne in the kitchen. What? <laughs> what do you mean? We stayed in a- we went to Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you went to Turkey um, and there yeah. were some little fellas. Well, they had quite a few sort of midgets working in the kitchen. Why? Um, is, it, is it a theme? No, was it a theme holiday? Just, I don't know. Might get them cheaper or something. Was it a week? <laughs> so, they, they <laughs> were get working- get them cheaper? They were working in the kitchen and one of them fancied Suzanne mm. and kept sort of eyeing her up. Mm -hmm. And she was winding me up saying, oh- Not eyeing up and down, just eyeing her up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, so what anyway. was she doing in the kitchen? No, it's like a pick- pick what you want to eat type buffy, but you have people clearing the tables and that ready for you to come along. Are they low tables? And, uh, <laughs> and, you know, he was just keeping an eye on her. Well, what did he say though? Was he, he what was it? Was it, it was, was Turkish? So I don't know what he was saying. But he was, was it? Was it was a little um, fella, yeah. Did he? Talk what do you to mean, it? a little fella? What do you mean, little fella? Sort of dwarf-like. 
<laughs> Dream dwarf, like he had magic powers, or he was four foot. No, what do you mean, Carl? A little bloke, just a, 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 like a normal bloke, but small. If you stood him in the desert, you wouldn't know. <laughs> But he'd be hot if there's- Right, Carl- You should no, watch no. out for the monkeys. <laughs> yeah! Underground. There's underground what, monkeys, look, look, You can't just say there was a little midget fella who was eyeing up my girlfriend and then leave it. What do you mean? Do, what- what was happening? This is a story to us. This is much more interesting to us than- and she was deaf, right, and she hit her head. That's much more I don't understand how this ma how it manifested itself. Did he come over and say something? No, do you know- you know when- it's like girls know, don't they, when- when some- someone fancies them. What do you mean there was lots of them as well? Do then? they? That's worth knowing. Listen, <laughs> 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 Right, come on, right, so you went into this- you went to this holiday, yeah? Yeah, And like you went a... into the- the- what, the dining room or something? Yeah, yeah downstairs. And you looked over- You thought, this is all, there's no one serving. <laughs> yeah, and they go, Wait oh, a minute. hold on, you looked down and there was a little waiter. There was loads of them running around busy. <laughs> Why, <laughs> though? Why did they get- Because summer! What do you mean? Because it was in summer. They have more they, of them they come out in summer. They come out in summer. What do you mean they had more- what, what do you because mean- Because it's busy, isn't well, it? No, but they hide they, in the winter. Why were they all midgets? I don't know, maybe it doesn't heat stunt your growth or something. No! Uh, well, they just happened to- maybe it was a thing that they did for tourists or something, I don't know. I just got on with my meal, it was a holiday, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> God. This is right, so, so, so some midget serving. I'm not going to ask any questions. Right. Okay. Yeah. So they're, they're all little fellas running around, and <laughs> this one always was like, you know, oh, do you do you want a new serve yet? You know what I mean? Going out of his way oh, to sort of for turning on oh, the yeah, charm. Yeah, yeah oh. he was going out of his way. The others weren't. Right. Um, I think what was happening is he'd been working with Santa all the winter. <laughs> yeah. Or a sort of little summer break. This this one he was your waiter, and so he was being polite to you. Maybe. 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 But what did Suzanne say then? When to well, the she was what, using it to wind me up. What was she saying? Always, oh, just like you know, look. look uh, he may be small, but he's well built like a yeah. He's all man. So were you jealous of a midget then? You were jealous of it. It is a bit annoying, isn't it? Why? It wouldn't bother me as much now because I've been with her for ages. Right. But at the time, that might have been one of our first holidays, and it's like you, you don't know, want to be paid though. for this holiday. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then uh, you get off with a midget. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yes, so anyway. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you got chatted up by a bearded lady. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell yeah, you what, yeah. I'll tell you what. No, that's got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? No, what were you going to say? I was going to say the hotel was half bored and maybe. Oh, right. I yeah. thought you were going to say it's just one of her shortcomings. So listen, right? Play, play a record, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Baddy drum boy. Uh, born again. Right, just get this educating Ricky out of the way. So, Turkey, yeah. So what is this again? Th th this is Educating Ricky as a tip included. Right. Apparently a fellow was on holiday in Turkey. Um, it's just having a normal holiday. Weather's good, you know, he's having a good time. Weight is all normal height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's having his meal. He hears a load of screaming going on in the kitchen. Mm, hold on. Has his girlfriend wandered in there? <laughs> <laughs> and they do, um... With a step ladder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the circumcised people in the kitchen and apparently what are you talking about? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Slow down, slow down. We were sorry. Right there for a minute. What are you we're talking about? Well, I'm just excited about two things at once here. One, they circumcised people in the kitchen. <laughs> two, I guessed it was someone losing the end of their knob. <laughs> did, yeah. I started thinking like Carl Pilkington. Extraordinary. That is amazing. Apparently it was it was going on. It wasn't just a one off either. Well, when I say a one off, <laughs> I mean they did it more than once. Yes. Right. Um, and there was. Um, he was there for a week, and apparently the first night it was quiet, and then the rest of the week, every day, it'd be like having his- having his breakfast, or even his lunch, or even his tea. Yeah. Right? He'd be doing it all day. Oh. You'd be hearing Lunch screams. and breakfast, fair enough, really. Yeah, yeah it's it. tea time. They don't do that. Um, and apparently it's a tradition over there. You can't even make a complaint about it. It's like, well, you should've, you know, should've found out before you- you come over See, here. I can't believe this is Sorry, true. Sorry, I'm a little right? bit lost. The, the, he true. was in a restaurant, uh, uh, in a hotel, and there were people having circumcisions in uh, the- in the kitchen. Yeah. In the, is that right? I, 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 I'm even worried that we're bordering on the racist here, suggesting that that is tradition, that Turkish people cut the end of their cocks off in the kitchen. Yeah. At meal times. Mm. I think you're wrong, Carl. This just sounds ludicrous, Carl. No, I don't think it happens everywhere. Right. I think this- Just in this, oh, this, in this hotel. Certain- certain places. <laughs> certain hotels? Certain hotels. What, is it like two star? Yeah. No, I, 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 that, that Why did he go to the foreskin inn? <laughs> <laughs> it was his own fault, wasn't it? <laughs> so, that- that's- Sorry, that- that's it, is it? Have they clued- Sorry, sorry no, wait, 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 that's the story. You, you educated me, right? <laughs> Once a fella saw some <laughs> Turkish people cutting the tip of their- No, I'm off in the kitchen. Mm, Thanks yeah. very much. Mm. Thanks very much, Carl. Got any more? Mm, mm. 
Well, there's things you can learn from it. Either don't go to Turkey. No! <laughs> uh, don't have calamari when you're over there. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. oh, Carl, yeah. you've done it again. Well. You too. I love that one. On XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl. Okay, Carl, one more. Can we just- Don't get the ump, just because so far you can't with nothing. What's the la last one? Give us the teaser clue again. It was, um, I wouldn't have come here in hindsight. I wouldn't have come here in hindsight. Yeah. Right, give me some education. This will be the thing that teaches me something. I can feel it in my bones. Come on. Uh, there's a kid in Kenya. <laughs> uh, he was messing about with some beans. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. <laughs> we guessed that as well. You did, yeah. Um. He's fed up because we've guessed his puns, I think. He put one of them in his ear. Yeah. Um. <laughs> The mum or the dad said, uh, oh, what have you done that for, or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I'll have to take you to the doctors now. So they took the kid to the doctors, and the doctor said, oh, he said, I can get that out, I can sort that out for you. So, um, he took it out, and the doctor said, right, that's, uh, that's three pound fifty. <laughs> and the dad said, I've only got two seventy on me. And the doctor said, right, well, and put, he put the bean back in his, his kid's ear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, a couple of questions from me, very quickly. Are you sure that those were definitely the sums involved, were they? <laughs> well, the equivalent of whatever, right. whatever the deal with in, in Kenya. Yeah. It was the equivalent of, of you know. Oh, so, 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 so you, so what currency was it, Carl, that you, you translated into sterling? <laughs> I don't know. No, it, no, it, it was saying in in the thing. It said the equil equivalent oh, of three pound fifteen, two pound seven. Did yeah. it say that? Yeah. Sorry. Did it like, say that? Yeah. Did Carl look at me? Look at me. Did it say that? Yeah. It said. It said that's that. That was the. Uh, did it say that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> it, it, it definitely said that. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So it's just like I suppose. I don't know. I mean, all these things. The idea is, it's not like a lesson. It's like. I'll tell you this, see what you can get from it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, so yeah. you look at what I've told you already, the, the yeah. knights who said shut your face, that's yeah, like- that's, that's amazing. That explains itself. Yeah. Um, turkey with the circumcisions in a restaurant. Yeah. No, no. That'll hold me in good stead, yeah, go don't, on. Don't, don't go there or whatever. Yeah. This one, um, if you're in Kenya, you don't put beans in your ears or something. I a <laughs> doctor's- Or on. carry three pounds fifty or the equivalent I mean, of. I, it's just the idea that the doctor put it back in his ear. He, yeah, he forced it back in his ear. So is it still there to this day? I mean, is there any update on that story? Or did he go back with the 350? I presume he either went and got a, like a second opinion, see if he could get it cheaper. Right. Or another doctor. Yeah. Or he said, right, I'll come back next week. Yeah. After I've been paid. Or he saw how the doctor did it and thought, well, I'll have a go at that. Sure. I'll get home. Yeah, for free. But he never said what it, how it ended. No. No. But, I mean, yeah. I, I, I apologise for this week, so I mean, I, I, I haven't got that much out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've not been enriched. Oh. Um, it was very, very light. Like I said, there was the, the tug of war, there was a fella in Scotland who had a load of tattoos. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Is uh, that the end of the story? Uh, ninety-eight percent covered. Right. Just between his toes he didn't have done. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Why not? Because it looks stupid. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just said it just said ninety eight percent um, done. Um, yeah. <laughs> what else? Are you, gonna, are you gonna drop the feature? Are you worried? I'm thinking about it. Don't drop be, the feature. To be honest with you, he have probably written about this already. This has been a classic. I, I'm con I'm concerned because it's my favourite part of the show. I'm wondering is, is there something else we could is it, what could we do to help you out? Because I just I hate to see it go. Well, we can't really, and he's moving this week with the old fella, so that's taking course, about four yeah. days. I'm worried that you're not. I'm worried you're not looking in the right. Why don't you go to a library? Mm. Quick question for you, Carl. Who is a possible guest on next week's Pilkington? Um, what are you going to investigate? Like I mean, what about your removals, oh, man? Right, listen. If you what, if you've had a, a, a experience, it can be anything, right? It doesn't have to be you've seen a ghost. It can be that you've you, you know you think you're going to live forever, or you can you know do so. Any mentalist out there, if you if you're slightly you know wrong, 
if there's something wrong with you, just, um, email, email Carl. Carl. Is it carl.pilkington at xfm.co.uk? Yeah. Carl.pilkington at xfm.co.uk. Would you like to be interviewed on yeah. next week's edition yeah. of Pilkington? If you are a mental of any description, just lonely, bewildered, stupid, just something wrong with you. Right, and you've seen someone that's, you know, interesting to you but absolute bollocks, then <laughs> please call Carl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carl dot Pilkington. Don't let that put you off, by the way. Don't think, oh, they're gonna take the piss out of me. Just if, you know, in any way, if it's, you know, uh, fodder for us, then call up, because Carl will like you, you'll be friends with Carl. Won't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. Quick, the clues. What's the answers? We always do this. We're running so out of time. Don't worry, we've got a tune, and then we'll come back with the answers for sure. Rockbusters. A lot what? of great prizes. All right, um, we'll have a bit of uh, cash. Yeah. Johnny Cash. One of the prizes we're giving away. Johnny Cash and Desperado. That's from his new album, uh, which is a collection of new songs and covers, which is one of the prizes given away on this week's Rockbusters. And uh, can we have the clues and the answers and the winners? Yeah. Um, first one was stop throwing that fruit about. Stop throwing that fruit about. The that answer was is C B. That was Chuck Berry. <laughs> 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 of course it was. Okay. All yeah, right. I'll give you that. Um, the one that you've worked out, I'll do next. The yeah. uh, God, you make a load of toast with them. That Grillers. was G. Gorillas. Gorillas, though, isn't it? Gorillas. Um, and the middle one <laughs> was that Scottish fellas made an error. <sighs> that was Mystique. <laughs> <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> So, <laughs> did anyone get that? Extraordinarily, almost all the people who emailed in. I'm really, I'm beginning right. to think it's us then, it's because uh, I, I was thinking mistake. I was thinking muck error yeah. and muck mistake and, but mistake. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you want to pick a winner? Yeah, I was going to give it, the, the prizes to uh, Amy Massey, who's uh, from Wiltshire, the West Country. <laughs> Losers down there, probably as weird as you. Yeah. So, uh, she's won and congratulations to her. I'm assuming she's listening online or maybe, uh, via some kind of- We, must, well, I think we must have a lot of listeners outside London because all these are from Norwich and- yeah. Have we got any listeners in London? Places, you know, it's where there's a lot of inbreeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> exactly. Norwich and Wiltshire. Well, you know. Cheers for that, Amy. Well done. He yeah. waved then when he said that. He did, yeah. He uh, waved. He's, he's very little world. No, he's working, uh, getting ready for TV. Of course he is, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so it's coming. this week? Can, is it, can it be arranged for this week? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll sort it out. Well, Thanks I'm busy so. this week. I'm moving. Of course. So yeah. let's, let's talk about that. Uh, um. And you can do, you can do an edition of Cribs. Well, you can, <laughs> let they get rock stars to share them around there. Oh, we're done. We're done now. So, finished. So, uh, was I boring you? What day well, are you moving? What day are you today? Moving? It's been pretty bad. What are you talking about? Hold on, pretty, pretty, I was talking and you today. just went anyway. Well, uh, we're still on that. You know we, we're still on that time now. We haven't run out of time. It's six minutes to. I know, but we've got to finish now. Why? Because we've. We always do this. What, 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 what? Why are you getting stressed, Carl? Don't get, you do not cut me off when I'm talking. Whatever you do. Can I just remind you, Carl, it is Ricky's show. Yeah. I know, I know, but as the producer- Ooh, you've well, changed, go on, Carl. Go on, go on. As the producer, I've got to press this button. Why, though? It's six minutes to. Tell me why, tell me why. Because that's when it finishes. What, we've we finished- We've got to clear net for the next- On the poster it says football. one to three, it, says, it doesn't say one to two fifty-five. Right. You, ta you, Carl, you press that button on. Oh yeah, the smooth indie sound of Richard Ashcroft, the science of silence on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, joined me is Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. It was an excellent link, that, Rick. Did you say nime at one point? 104.9? <laughs> Did <laughs> I? Other than that, it was Again, textbook. I, I, yeah, a desperate attempt at being articulate. Sure. But let myself down. With your See, this is the good thing about the boxing thing, because, uh, uh, there's no chance of me, you know, uh, slurring the words. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I already slurred my words. Yeah, yeah, so no exactly. <laughs> any damage will yeah. be totally fine. Yeah. Oh, the dear. doctor's rushing in. I think there yeah. might be some kind of concussion. <laughs> James just going, no, that's just the way he talks. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, oh. but, uh, cause I'm thinking maybe, did you start the show with, with that particular kind of, uh, manner? Just cause obviously a lot of new listeners, I imagine, thanks to the massive poster campaign. And you obviously want to impress that's, them that's and the, that, there's, there's a few examples today of irony coming back and biting you. Yeah. That, that seemed like a funny idea at the time, me posing that up. But, um, Jonathan Ross phoned me up when they first went up and he said, I've just seen a big poster of a predatory gay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you do look a little bit, uh, yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? 
Yeah. Yeah, why would you like to sit down here? <laughs> <laughs> and then you're in the background. And also, uh, it, the, the, I think the funny thing about having you as a partner, I mean, the only good thing is that, y y you know, you look, you look weird and tall, like too freakishly tall and lanky. Oh, yeah, yeah, but in yeah. that one, no, because your background and you're smiling, you don't look as weird as you do in real life or as, as freakishly tall. So it sort of ruins it a little bit for me. Look at, look Is at that Pilkington. Look, 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 look. Pilkington, what are He's you doing? not listening. He's just opening a, a packet, what are they? McVitie's. But see, uh, see, we should mention them. We get some free ones if anyone at McVit is listening, because we're not getting the perks of this. Nothing. Sort of. I, I tell you, I'm not getting anything. I really got in this game for uh, the ladies, for the money, for the voiceover work. So yeah. I'm seeing hide and hair of that. But um, you're not getting the voiceover work because Jethro. The Jethro's <laughs> getting all of this parts right, that you might yeah, get. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Rick. Yeah, you were the voice of what? The drink driving campaign. <laughs> <laughs> You sound like you sound like a man who was run over in a drink drive incident. <laughs> oh, I mean, dear. it's like you don't drive. Yeah, I didn't get any money for that. You did drink I? Oh, did I? I can't remember. Yeah. It's like I mean, talk I don't about drive. Yeah, well, that's good. I don't drive. No, it said don't drink and drive. So I've chosen just but at to least drink. I can formulate sentences using the English language, and I'm not getting the voiceover work. What's the, what's the, yeah, what's the, the, English, the English language of the 14th century? Well, it's oh. better better <laughs> English language <laughs> and English language. <laughs> Rather than whatever kind of Middle England language you speak, the language of the hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carl. All right. See, so you're eating Carl a biscuit. biscuit. I can't believe it. Are you bored with this already? Do you know what? MTV called me last week. They called me again yesterday and said, when can they come down to do a- Oh, they're coming down next Saturday, by the way, to do a little screen test for you. They're gonna sort of just film you with a little camcorder. You said this. They're gonna film you. Are you alright? Do you want I mean, are you hungry? Do you want to go out and have a meal? I can't believe you're eating while I'm on air. No one can hear that. Do you know who I am? No one can hear Explain that. Explain who I am. Well, that's Ricky Gervais, right? He's made his name on TV. Yeah. Okay, he's done <laughs> an, any number of corporate gigs, <laughs> which- and they pay silly money. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, this guy's earning, you know, and really, uh, earning beyond his talent. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, so I, I mean, think I deserve you know, a little bit more than a little mank eating a biscuit while Rich, I'm talking. Rich Gervais? Yeah. Have you won a BAFTA? Yeah, too. All right. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. just a little bit of respect. Yeah. Yeah. Carl, well, what uh, have you won? What have you won? I, I got a, uh, I got a, got a bronze certificate for doing a full week at school. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It was it? only a bronze. <laughs> And what was that then? <laughs> three out of five days. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I got me a little Crusaders badge if you if you remember. What's the, the Crusaders what? badge? The Crusaders badge for the religious club. So I oh, was that the fellow that you went and played. You had to go ping pong ball. So they wanted to talk to you about God. Yeah. Yeah. You got a Crusaders badge, did you? Yeah, that's oh, why I went. That's why I joined. That's why I joined. For the I like, badge. I like the little badge. Did yeah. four weeks and then packed it in. Uh -huh. But uh, we're talking about MTV, right? And I was feeling a bit nervous, wasn't I? About <laughs> about like you know the way I look. Right. And what have you. And then I watched a bit of Celebrity Big Brother and all the fuss that Mark Owen's getting. And he's not, he's not that good looking, is he? He's, he's very, I, I like, I want to be Mark Owen's mate. If anyone who knows Mark Owen or Mark Owen's listening, I want to be his mate. Yeah, I yeah. think he's brilliant. I think he's a nice lad, but what I'm saying is, right, all the girls go mad over him. Yeah. And he's not, he's not that good looking, is he? Well, no, uh, he's got a, he is in a certain way, isn't he? That sort of, uh, non-threatening sort yeah, of. Yeah, but he's not, he's not stunning, is he? Do you well, know what I mean? No, but, uh, no. Well, what's well, your definition of a stunner? Yeah. Well, who do you like? Someone who you look at and you go, God, they're, they're good Which looking. Which bloke do you fancy? Who, who, Which no, who, no, what bloke do you think's attractive so, then? So, if I was into men. Yeah, yeah. In fact, you can, you can still say a bloke's a good looker without, yeah, 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 like, yeah, fancying him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you think you is know attractive? Know I mean? it, uh, probably, uh, oh. I mean, it depends what you're looking for. No, well, no, just, just looks, just looks, just, just looks, just yeah, 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 yeah. looks as of well. Of course, yeah. Who would you say was attractive? Would you say was like stunning in your definition? A good-looking lad. Yeah, good-looking lad. Oh, look at him over there. He's, uh, ooh. Do you find, you know, Robbie Williams, do you find him attractive? No, uh, boy next door, look. No, no. Who do you, Carl? Hurry up, because it's you know we've only got two hours. Probably. Uh, do you know? I, I, I can't think of one I found. Mark Owen is is pretty good looking then, really. Uh, well, there's not just name one bloke that you think's an attractive guy. There must be one bloke that you've either met or that you've you know seen in a pub Who's or on a poster. Attractive? Tell you what, go on. Tell you what, um, works here. Um, young Alex Zane. Oh, hello. 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 
Well, we know that. Oh, we can no, fix you no, up. Oh, I love you, Alex. You got so much. Brilliant. I love that. That's, that's like, um, a ride song or something. Mm -hmm. That's my favourite one. Ride-ish. Ride-ish. So Feeder. Yeah. Just the way I'm feeling. On XFM 104.9. Rick, quick question for Go you. On. I'm thinking, um, a lot of people may maybe are tuning in for the first time because of the advertising campaign. Sure. Should we reintroduce Carl again? I, w I know we've done this a few times in the past, but just worry that people are going to not, you know, not really kind of get the measure of him. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, we're still, uh, I'm Ricky Gervais, uh, I'm the one off the office. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Merchant, he's not the one in the office. He's not, he's not Gareth. Some people think he is. He's got a funny, weird West Country accent right. that actually Mackenzie was affecting uh -huh. for the role. Steve uh, wrote it with me. He's a tall, um, lanky fella. Uh, Carl is our, um, sort of, well, I say producer, but he's the one that pressed the buttons because well, I was too- body. Yeah, but I mean, it was just because I was too big to run the desk. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I, I, I used to have to <laughs> do. <laughs> Literally too big, you couldn't <laughs> <get younger. laughs> Yeah, and then we discovered that, you know, he looked a bit like a boring, sort of, all right, yeah, I don't know. But then when we sort of, you know, st poked him with a stick, mm. he came up with, um, uh, he doesn't realise, but some of the, the I think, some well, of the funniest things. Some of the extraordinary things I've yeah. ever heard. Yeah, um, say hello, Carl. Alright. Yeah. Um, well, classics, I think, so far, it's, that have gone straight to the list include, have you ever used a wife front correctly? Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, you never see an old person- Eating a Twix. Eating a Twix. That's These are the sort cool. of things. Uh, it, he's, he's things. back on his campaign to get rid of jellyfish. Why really? is that, Carl? Oh, did you see the paper yesterday? Go on. There's a jellyfish, uh -huh. right? <laughs> it's about 15 foot long, about right. five foot wide, uh -huh. and, uh, there's a fella swimming next to it. And the paper's going, oh, look at this we've found. There's loads of them in Japan. Yeah. Um, and it's because the, the, uh, the water's getting hot, so it's making jellyfish really big. <laughs> oh, dear. How's the campaign going to get jellyfish rid, you know, get rid of them? What was your point about jellyfish? There's no, don't do anything. There's no point. They get in the way. Fish, yeah. It ruined me already. Uh-huh. Because I got stung by one. Yeah. Um, and I, I But you think the same thing about liverpudlians, and we can't just go around, you know, wiping out things that ruin well, your holiday. Well, let's get the jellyfish first. <laughs> And then, uh, on, then yeah. we'll move on to the scousers. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. but yeah, I don't know what they do, and I'm still, I, I mean, I'm trying to look on the internet, I've been busy this week. You're uh, jellyfish now, not scousers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't like I don't know what they do either. <laughs> Try and work out what would happen with the sea if it didn't work, because they say like if there's what? no. Whoa, 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 see there, this, this is what we're talking about. This, the, people have listened the first time; they've got to listen to every word you say. You want to find out what would happen with the sea if it didn't work. If, if, if jellyfish weren't in there, do you know what I mean? Cause right. stuff like coral, apparently the sea would be in a right state if you didn't have any coral yeah, right. in it. Um, f if fish, yeah. do you know what I mean? I always worry about how many fish we're, we're sort of eating. Did you go past? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Do you know, like, you go in Marks and Spencers or Selfridges, there's loads of fish in there, and there's there's really fancy stuff that you think they've killed that, and yeah. it looks good on the counter, pretty impressive. Yeah. But is anyone going to buy it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's a big like a shark sat in ice. Yeah. And you go, yeah, they've got they've got like a lot of fish. You sure you won't go around the, the Tate Gallery? What, no. What, do you know what I mean? In, uh, well, in I've Selfridges, I've never seen a big shark sat yeah. in ice in Selfridges. They do. They do it, and it's like. You go in the morning and you can go back at night and the same shark sat there yeah. and it's, it's- So you know it's the same shark, do It's you? the same one. So, 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 what, same face? Y are you sure wow. he just hasn't lost his mum? And he's just like, he <laughs> went shopping with her Christmas shopping and he's just like, he's stranded, <laughs> he doesn't know where he's just you, waiting. You know I'm right. <laughs> I've never seen a shark in Selfridges. Well, all right, then say maybe that's one day a week, but on other days <laughs> they'll have like- okay. Shark Monday. <laughs> I think, yeah, 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 sandwiches. Today at sandwiches is Shark Monday. Yeah. 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 No, it's just that- So your point is that there's all these fish not being eaten. Yeah. So and they're, they're take, being killed- they, They've taken them out of the sea, no one's eating them. And you're worried, what, that the sea's gonna rise because the more things you take out- Well, we're just gonna run out. Because they, because they, because the fish drink it, don't they, and that keeps the yeah. water level down. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. well, you know, you know what I mean, there's stuff, there's was stuff that worries said, me. You're worried that, was it you who said that you were worried that, cause, you know, there's sponge in the sea. Yeah. But if they took it all away. No. Like, was it, is that's, that him? That's a Stephen Wright joke. Is that Stephen Wright? What yeah. was the joke? And the sponges grow in the sea. That kills me. How deep would it be if they did <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that he confused you yeah. with Stephen Wright. Ooh. Who, who for a living purposely says ridiculous things. <laughs> yeah. Does that worry you, Carl? Uh. <laughs> well, think about that. <laughs> Play a record. What oh, do you want? What do you want? I'd love to. A classic, a beautiful song by Simon and Garfunkel. April comes, she will. April comes, she will. Simon and Garfunkel. That was in the days when they kept songs short, short and to sweet. What do you think of that, Carl? As a yeah, track. yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah you like that, yeah, do you? It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. 
Um, so, yeah, so, uh, that, that's, um, that's Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington Introduced. for you. Coming up on the show, we've got Educating Ricky. I'm not happy with this. Oh, really? Because the, the last few weeks have been genius. <laughs> what, it's, it, what, it's a drop in quality, is there, of the education of me? <laughs> well, it's, it's just, like I said, I've wasted a lot of time this week searching on the web, right? Um... You wasted a lot of time searching on the web because you come up with things that aren't true. Why don't you look in books and verified sort of like journals? The web is like the new book though, isn't it? No. The it is, web is the new book. That's what you're going on. Yeah. Well, so I've been searching, there's hardly anything. I spoke to you in the week. Um, yeah. About Monday or Tuesday. What did you say? Two there's days. nothing happened this week in the world. There's apart nothing from going on. There was a new car wash that you can put dogs in. <laughs> <laughs> there was a car wash you can put <laughs> dogs in. That's the only thing that's happened in the world. <laughs> and that and the jellyfish. <laughs> and we've covered that. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got, yeah, we're, we've, I've managed to find some bits, but it's not that good. Um, okay. Rock Busters. Yeah, oh, we've, we've really, really G'd up, so that's coming up, the thing that's not that good. Yeah, yeah, look yeah. forward to that. Yeah. Can you just quickly tell us about the car wash with the dog in it? Well, that, I don't know what's the That story. didn't make the top I three. Did, I, didn't, I didn't waste that much time on it, to be honest. What did it, it just say? Said, it just said, um, you know, how busy are you? Uh, have you got a dog? Um, <coughs> how about saving some time? There's some car wash out. Um, it's, it's not a car wash, it's dog wash. Um, you take it down there, put your coin in, put your dog in, and it comes out clean. So there's nothing in is it. This, is this called a bath, isn't it? No, but it's like a machine. Right. There's a machine. But, but we'll you know, that's why I didn't pick it. <laughs> 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 uh, so we've got, we've got uh, some uh, events coming up. Yeah. Uh, rock busters. Yeah. Um. Rick, can I just, uh, <laughs> can I just explain some of the prizes we got here yeah. for rock busters? Because I just <laughs> want you to try and picture, if you would, the kind of XFM listener <laughs> who'd particularly want this I've collection, this collection of, 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 <laughs> of gifts. You've got the, um, the best chill out album ever. This is yeah. the one, as I said before, that's largely made up of songs you may have heard in adverts. Sure. So sure. you've got the, um, the Volvo advert on there. Yeah, and the T-Mobile the phones, TV. T-Mobile. Brilliant. That's on there. So, um, that's a Roy Cobb. So look forward to that. Um, yeah, uh, again, just, just imagine which XFM listener is particularly looking forward to Top of the Morning with Terry Wogan. <laughs> his, uh, two-disc set there. You've got, uh, uh it starts with, um, <coughs> we've got the Bangles on there. We've got Billy Joel, River of Dreams, uh, Shine On by Mr. Christa Burr. So, um, so yeah, good. just look forward to that. Um, <coughs> oh dear. We've got the, uh, Only Fools and Horses last year's Christmas special. We, we gave one of those away last year, uh, yeah. last week, but, uh, still more to uh, shift. Is the, is the, uh, do I spy a little free car? Yes, there's car. a little free three-wheel trotter independent trading, uh, three-wheel car, so that's there as well. So, um, as I say, if you, if you, if you like fairly, uh, and mediocre little, comedy. Little, little, little Jonathan Ross's face there. Yeah, on the back. God, was, oh. And, uh, maybe you also want, uh, Jerry Halliwell's Body Yoga DVD, Rick, so. Sure. That yeah, well, well that's you. good quality. And then just a few token, uh, XFM kind of things. We've got, uh, the Manic Street Preachers DVD and, uh, the U2 best And, of. uh, tell me, Steve, how do, uh, the lucky win- uh, listeners win these? Rick, I'm glad you've asked. What they do is they email in with the answers to Rockbusters, which is a quiz that Hold on, man. Hold on, man. How do they email if we don't know the email address? Rick, again, thanks for asking. Thanks for flagging that up. Um, ricky.gervais hmm. at xfm.co.uk. That'll be coming up shortly. Um, Try and get into the mindset of Carl Pilkington. A lot of yeah. people have been trying to email in answers, trying to think through kind of logically, sure. or maybe based on the rules that they've picked up over the or years. Or when he says it in a cryptic clue, they believed him. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, you've just got to think more like <laughs> a mentalist right. to try and get. Uh, First me. of all, right, the prizes that I source every week. Explain yourself. Um, what I said to you, we're doing between now and Christmas because this is just a few weeks till Christmas. Right. I thought I'd make up sort of family packs. Okay. That right. um, the winner can have something, say like, um, there's a nice U2 album in there, right? Yep. So the winner might want to keep that, but they can get rid of the Jerry yoga thing. They can give Only Falls Nurses to Uncle. To the dad. To the right? dad, yeah. The the the, I think the mum would love the Terry Wogan. Yeah. The thing. yoga for the sister. Right. Yeah. And all that. So is that, is that, that's, that's what you, you thought through, was it, or, or was it that there was a load of junk in the office? Did, or, or did you, you scoop them up with two arms and it's as much as you could carry down the corridor? <laughs> yeah. A little bit of that. But, yeah. yeah. But okay. that's, that's me, uh, that's me workings on why you've got all that. Okay. Brilliant. That's, that's excellent. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. um, that, that's coming up. Um, well, and, they, and me, me mum sent some more. What we also needed there is he's, he's got a little, he's got a letter from his mum. My mum did some more rock busters for us. I reckon, I, th I reckon they're secretly listening, Carl. They've said they're not listening, but I reckon they are. Does well. that worry you? Well, let's play a record and then let's hear, uh, let's hear your mum's rockbusters. Better Warren G. Oh, oh, oh God, don't they? Well done. Regulators. I hope Nate's involved. Nate Dogg. Yeah. I hope so. I hope so. Too. 
But you can't be in Nirvana. You know you're right on XFM 104.9. I had to uh, meet the uh, doctor for the for this fight thing uh, in the week, and uh, uh, it's the one who's off um, um, Big Brother. So oh, psychiatrist. Yeah, and um, but she's a medical doctor, and she's sort of um, you know, uh, big in the in the boxing sort of world as well. And um, one of the tests I had to do a punch test. The other test I had to do was to get in the bod pod. You really? Know, the same as, as fat swallow? Yeah, yeah. And, and he it, wiped it down since he was Yeah, there? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was a little bit nervous and uh, So I what does this do? What exactly does it do? The what it does, it, it, it uh, you do a, um, uh, a displacement sort of calibration with a, a known volume. All right, just bear in mind that Carl's listening, so if you want okay. to explain that in- what it does, Carl, is it works out your density. Okay, right. again, through, again. Through, through, through displacement, it knows how much your, what your volume is for the air displaced, right, in this, in this thing, and, um... In layman's terms, what does it tell you? Uh, <laughs> what it, it works? It tells you, it, it, it know, well, it knows, it knows what m muscle weighs, it knows what fat weighs, it knows your average density of your, your, your skeleton, uh, what height you have, so it works out from your volume and your density, um, it can work out, therefore, probably what percentage of that is muscle, fat, bone, etc. What, um, what if you put in one of those, um... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, go on then. No, go on, what were you gonna ask? What, Just what? Think of what would it do if you put in one of those pug dogs? <laughs> you one of those, what? what? do you mean, what would it do? What, like, on Ricky's lap? <laughs> no. Do you know those dogs that are all wrinkling, have got too much skin for the skeleton? Yeah. And it's all, yeah. like, caving in and folding over? Yeah. Would the machine go, well, we know what you are, so it's all right? Or would it say, oh, what's going like on here? Compute, yeah. Do you know what, what I mean? Like last week when you were laughing why do you at me want about- a, Why do you want to confuse machines? Do you remember when he put in Y to a computer it's search engine to try yeah. and confuse it? I well, love the fact- I, I want the- I want the computer to come back, why not, and your head explode. I mean, I love the idea that you're trying to- what- what- I mean, it-, it it's better than what I thought you were going to say, which is, what if you put a fly in there? <laughs> well, I'm talking about that. Half half man, half they don't let a fly in, <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway. So anyway, what percentage of you is muscle and what percentage of you is fat? Um, I'm, uh, I'm 25% fat. 25% fat? Yeah. Now what's written? And, what, and most, like and most of me is muscle. Um, we could bone density in that. Rick Waller was 60% fat, which I've looked into it and apparently is exactly the same as a pork scratching. Wow. That's extraordinary. So he is, he is yeah. the qu equivalent of a 30 <laughs> the stone yeah, pork, a giant pork scratching. scratching. Yeah. So, um, so is 20% fat, is that good or bad? No, 20%'s alright, 25's over. Right. I, I, um, uh, men, healthy, fit, lean men, um, uh, about eight, 18, 20. Um, right. I'm 25. So you're a healthy, fit, no, lean man? No, no, 18, 20, I'm 25. Oh, you're 25? Yeah, right, yeah, right, so right. I'm, I'm 5%, yeah. um, over. And a boxer, uh -huh. a boxer that, that is in peak, you know, with that, basically, you, you've seen the ones, they just look, you know, like Bruce Lee, yeah. they're 8%, 8 percent fat. Well. So, uh, Is that I mean, good for you? Um, well, I don't think it's that bad no. for you. I mean, you know, you, you need a bit of fat, Bruce, but... Bruce like, uh, Bruce Lee supposedly, uh, I mean, there's sort of many rumours, I'm sure you're fascinated by them, Carl, conspiracy theories surrounding Bruce Lee's death. Yeah. One of which is that he, his body was, it's at the peak of physical perfection. He had an aspirin because of a headache. And it reacted with his, yeah. uh, cause just the impurities in the aspirin killed him. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because it's sort of like quite interesting and a bit weird. Yeah. It'll have yes, that. that's fact. It'll have, yeah. Well, I'll are you aware that. of the fact that supposedly he actually cheated death, he actually faked his own death so he could work undercover for the Hong Kong police? Are you yeah. aware of it? Uh, yeah. 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 Do you believe that as well? Not so, sh not so convinced. Don't know. Do you believe he could kill a man by putting all his energy into a trembling hand and touching him and every blood vessel burst? Well, it's just uh, another form of trickery, isn't it? I mean, you <laughs> met up with, uh, yeah. with Darren, didn't you? Old, uh, met up with Darren Brown, yeah. Darren Brown. Yeah, he's yeah. incredible. Yeah, he's probably the Britain's best illusionist, if you don't mind me saying. Yeah. yeah. You can put that on a yeah. poster if you want. I'll tell you yeah. what, though, <laughs> right? What? Changing the subject a bit. Go we on. were talking about a fly getting in that pod. Yeah. yeah. Um, read in the week when I was searching for stuff to educate, you know, the educate Ricky section. Yeah. Which we will be doing. Do ditching. you want to answer that phone? Because it's annoying me. <sighs> who's phoning? I don't I'm know. It's obviously someone who doesn't know that you're talking at the moment, so leave it. Let, let, let him finish it, the point. It, let him finish it could the point. be, it could be, um. Leave uh, it. It could be the head Just of. Leave it. Yeah, go on. Could be um, the head of XFM. Yeah. Oh, I'm so scared. No, no, no. Awards by. Gonna, we must no, I won't embarrass him. I'm going, don't call me when I'm working. Nice. Right. Fire the machine. Hi, Yeah. Yeah. Raging against the machine. So anyway, ever. yeah, right, we're talking about flies yeah. getting in a pod. And do you know like how, um, a Barbie doll, if it was real, it wouldn't be able to work? Do you know right. what I mean? A yeah. Barbie doll, if a woman had the- Proportions. Sort of, yeah, she wouldn't be a, a, 
tie your shoelaces up and stuff because because right. our, our legs are too long for a back and all that. Flies, scientists can't work out how they fly. It's a bee. It's a bee. It's a bee, not a fly. No, a fly as well. No. A fly is, it, apparently its body is like too big for its wings yeah. and um, they still can't work it out. Yeah. How, how which, it flies. which, which that, in your mind says what? <laughs> Something spooky? They, 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 they have worked out that they, it's, it's the fact that what they do, the, the, the wing actually beats a ridiculous at about 150 times a second. So it displaces air. Yeah. yeah. So, so they have I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's, it's incredible that it can fly because it's got such small wings. Yeah. Alright. And okay. it's a bee, not a fly. So, yeah, but other than that, good point. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> <Is that a, laughs> Bowie? Ah, uh, another classic. Be My Wife off the Low album. David Bowie. David Bowie. It's a cracker. Be My Wife off a Low. Very good indeed. Yeah. Rick, I, you know how my frustration with the homeless? Yeah. You know they wind me up. I was walking through Soho last night, I saw a homeless fella <laughs> reading a book. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this, if he's got the wherewithal to read a book, yeah. right, he's obviously, you know, he, he wants to keep himself occupied, his mind occupied, his mind educated. Yeah. My point is, why not, instead of reading a book, have a quick look through the job vacancies section of the Evening Standard, or maybe just take the time to fill in some kind of application form for, you know, maybe, you know, uh, is a the, job or something you're like that. you're confusing there was the, is, no, the, no, 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 no. is the ability to read with the ability to house yourself. Well, no, because what I'm saying is, it seems to me, he's obviously got a certain, you know, grasp psychologically of, you know, his way. They're not, not mental like, people who haven't got well, houses. a lot of them are, Rick. I've well, seen them dancing and shouting and screaming, uh, you know, and pissing in doorways and stuff. Yeah, and yeah again, crazy. you're confusing homelessness with trampiness. Well, again, you know, Some Rick, people just have listen, left home and they haven't got a- Gervais, I'm not a sociologist. No. Sorry if I can't spot all the clever distinctions that yeah. a trained expert such as yourself can. Well, all I know is, there was a fella reading a book. Well, you know, you know the ones that have got beards right. and sing little tunes and they they're smell of piss. They're my favourite. Right? They are brilliant. Yeah, they and they, funny. they're drinking special brew. Yeah. First thing That's an alcoholic okay. tramp, yeah, right? They are, they are you know the ones that sit with a dog or a big issue, mm -hmm. they just, they just haven't got their own place. Right. Do you see? Okay. Well, okay. again, I mean, there's, cos I, it is tricky finding a place, I know, cos I had to move out recently, and it's a nightmare, I had to get, like, estate agents on it, and I had to go and see a load of places, sure. and I was doing a job as well, you know, I still managed to fit it in. This guy's just lounging around on the street, yeah. so I'm surprised he, he can't able to find, find the loads time. of places to live. I, I'm surprised he can't find the time to visit a couple of different residences. Yeah. Cos there's some pretty cheap ones, you know, if you go, kind of, a bit farther out of London. Maybe it's cos he wants to live in the Soho area, and frankly, I it's expensive. What I'm confused about is the number of homeless people that recognise me and say they enjoy the office. Mm. They've got to be watching it through Dixon's window. I think that's probably demographic that's sort of hung over from uh, some of your previous TV work. The 11 o'clock show? Yeah, you know, or the, stuff like that. The or, ones or that you used to slip by. Yeah, exactly. Tramps and the French for me. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah. yeah some yeah, of the weirdos. Sure. Or maybe sort of people who watched, you know, have watched the show and then have fallen on hard times since then, I don't know. And this is not necessarily linked. I'm no, not, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought so. Carl's lost. Carl's lost in this conversation. Carl, are we boring you then? No, no, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's a bit tight, isn't it? What? Because it's like, I, I sometimes think it could have been me when I, when I see homeless people and that. Yeah. I just think, you know, I nearly killed a man once. It could have totally changed my life. So, whoa, 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 You want to slow down whoa, whoa, there. Just whoa, back whoa. up for a second. Just what? back up for a second. No, you like, like, like that time when I was in Wales, right, and I picked up a big piece of slate and chucked it off the cliff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And it nearly hit a fella. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right, in that split second, if he would have decided to sort of go and pick up a shell that was close to the sea, <laughs> it, it, it could have hit him, yeah. and it would have killed him, and yeah. I, I wouldn't be sat here today. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's just all about luck, isn't it? Right, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So, uh, don't know, that's about it, really. That's, that's, <laughs> that's uh, the point. That's the political that's what's the point, point again, that you're there for, b b well, for the grace of God to Yeah, no, he's saying, he's saying, you know, you should count our blessings because, yeah. you know, anything can happen. Yeah, You never sure. know what's around yeah. the corner. Sure. Yeah, that's it's like, if Carl hadn't met us, he'd still be in that little room making jingles. Now, he is a respected household name. Do you think <laughs> he packed the book <laughs> before he left home? 
to become homeless. He thought, right, I need the clothes, I'm gonna need the cigarettes, I'm gonna need the dog and the piece of string. And I probably need some, probably gonna need some reading literature as well, cause I'm gonna get pretty bored, like, just sitting in the street yeah. begging all day. Do you, so, maybe, maybe it's so maybe I should take, I want to catch up on, um, some, uh, some of the stuff I haven't read, you know. Or maybe it's one of those themed holidays, you know those trendy middle class people? Right. They go on, like, the adventure holidays and danger holidays, you know, maybe the, the latest one, amongst sort of, like, yuppie types, yeah. is, uh, homeless holidays. Exactly. Yeah. They, they, they pay, like, ten thousand pounds. Exactly. And they really they get, get a little the experience. Area, sort of the streets of Soho. And people come up to them and abuse them. Yeah. They, they're all Try played, they're them. all yeah, actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They get beaten uh, up at night when they're sleeping under a bridge. They, 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 you know, they get to, to, to try a really safe sort of form of heroin. Sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. uh, that they, sounds brilliant. No, that's, that's worth marketing. Theme really. holidays. Theme home holidays like that. Home, you could have homeless. Yeah. You could have like rent boy holidays. <laughs> Find out what it's like to be yeah. a red boy for three years. Yeah, and then, yeah, they have to, they have and to make a little bit of money on the they side. They have to wean them off it. Exactly. <laughs> at the yeah. end, they go, no, don't keep, don't, don't keep, keep sucking, sucking it. it. You can stop. You're now. finished now. You're, yeah. You're, you're, you're a bank manager again. <laughs> I just, I've just got the taste for it, to be honest. <laughs> well, can that happen? I, that, <laughs> No, it's worth knowing if that, if that is a possibility. Carl, that's worth that, Carl's worried. Well, yeah. we haven't said anything. We haven't said anything. We haven't said anything wrong, things, wrong Carl. Don't, there's be no complaints. We haven't said anything. The words suck, as far as oh. I can work out. No, it's not a banned word on the radio. Is it, is it Rockbusters time? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Rockbusters. Well, let's, let's play a tune and then we'll come back with Rockbusters. What do you want? Mm. Are we gonna hear your mums before mm. we have Best yours? holiday I've ever had. Mm. 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 I'll get a taste for it. Mm. It's a new American band called My Morning Jacket from the Sweat Bees EP that's called Lowdown. Like that? Yeah, nice. It's good, yeah. Um, I brought in some adverts, my favourite adverts to play. Really? Yeah, that's all, they're all new ones as well. We got those now? Can, Can we, we hear them? Do you want to do them now or keep, oh. them, keep them listening to them later? No, do them now. Yeah? Oh, I, yeah, they are good. XFM indeed, Steve. Absolutely. Sorry, uh, I'm just fiddling around here. Uh, what are you looking at? Well, I'm just looking at some of the emails, uh, and if I can find it, I've got an absolute treat from you. Go on. Dickie Anderson. Is he- Anders, uh, he's emailed in Richard again. Anderson, our yeah. biggest fan. Biggest fan. He said, uh, dear Ricky, sorry for not tuning in recently, only I've been busy watching a puddle evaporate. <laughs> Glad to hear you haven't tinkered with the show's winning formula by trying to introduce any quality into it. <laughs> That's from, uh, Richard <laughs> Anderson. So, uh, good okay. to have Dickie Anderson listening again. Oh, Cause God. he's, uh, he just keeps us on our toes. You know? Yeah. And, uh, good work, Rich. Thanks for that. I wonder what he looks like. Dickie Anderson? Yeah. I think he's a good looking guy. For some reason, I've always imagined him as being slightly older, with maybe a beard. Oh, no, you know I, what think, I, mean? like I think of, of him, I think of him sort of cords and now and sweater. Definitely cords. Gl I, I think he looks like, um, maybe the Proclaimers. Yeah, but right. again, with a beard or at least a moustache. Yeah. I don't know why I'm seeing some kind of facial and hair. And he's sort of like, he, he's sort of, uh, he likes the cure and the Swiss nap, but, uh, and, uh, he snarls at everything. He thinks everything's pure old. Yeah. I bet he yeah. prefers Radio 5. <laughs> Do you think Radio 5? Yeah. Five, uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. four. I bet he's a real s music snob as well. I bet it's like there's certain bands. It's like rubbish. The Blazing Squad, rubbish. All pop music, rubbish. Britney Spears, rubbish. Is 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 this defamation of character? Um, he slagged you off enough times, Rick, and the show. I don't know. And if I'm only saying it's my opinion. Exactly. I imagine so. Yeah, uh, I mean, you we know. don't know. I mean, you know, you, you could be a lovely guy. I'm getting. To be honest, I'm getting to like him. What I like about Richard is he, he's willing to say what he thinks. Well, it's not, it's more than that. Oh, it's a bit like Eminem. No, it's, yeah, no, it's, it's more than that. He actually hits on the truth too often yeah. for my liking. Yeah, well that's... I mean, this is a shoddy show with very, very little to offer. You gotta remember though, it is a, uh, bronze winning <laughs> show. We did win a bronze <laughs> award at the Sony's <laughs> last year. One yeah. of the most coveted of the awards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The bronze. Uh, to, in my, in my opinion, the bronze is slightly better than the gold. Well, a lot of people don't win the bronze, right? You gotta remember that, that there's not many people who win the gold, bronze. gold, just, you know, gold's got no intrinsic value, it's just a currency, and in my opinion, bronze is better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In a way. Carl, Rockbusters, well, you mm. mind? Carl. Yeah, no, listen. we, uh, yeah. we did get a bronze, but this year, we introduced Rockbusters. <laughs> Things <laughs> will be changing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hey, yeah, but, hey, <laughs> we didn't introduce Rockbusters, Carl, please don't tar us with that brush. Yeah. You introduced And also, it. do you remember the, do you remember the show that got that bronze, was the show with the complaint that yeah. was upheld by the radio authority. Was it really? Yeah, the show that got the, got the award and was nominated was the one with the only upheld complaint we've ever had. Do you think if we hadn't discussed that particular subject for quite as long, we could have got the silver? Um, I think it was the mention of, and I, I say this meaning male birds, yeah. oh. of all the cocks. Right. Yeah. But do you think the Sony committee was going, I enjoyed the show, if yeah. they hadn't yeah. mentioned cocks, yeah. meaning birds. Yeah, meaning birds, yeah. So, I might have given it the silver. Yeah. So, um. Yeah. <laughs> Carl getting nervous. Rockbusters then. Yeah. Uh, chance to win all that stuff Steve was talking about before. Uh huh. 
um, we'll give initials and a cryptic clue and it's a band and there's three yeah. of them and you email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Right? Do you want some of my mums? Well, I think before you give us your own, we should hear your mums, just to sort of set the tone and for well, people to get their heads around the whole she idea. She sent some more, they're still not that up to scratch. Um, <laughs> first one, this group are nice on toast. Marmalade? Jam. Yeah. Which one? Jam. Okay. Marmalade would have worked. Marmalade's just as good, yeah. yeah. This man liked his wine. This man liked his wine? Dean uh, Martin. <laughs> What? <laughs> so no cryptic glue, just a man who drinks? Yeah. Uh <laughs> But that- isn't there like <laughs> a million <laughs> of rock stars and pop stars who like booze? I know- <laughs> <laughs> I liked his wine! I don't but think anyone would have ever got that. <laughs> This man liked his wine, D9. This man liked his golf. <laughs> oh, clubby, clubby, oh, clubby chip face. No, um, uh, Bunk, Bunk, Bunk Bing Smith. Bing Crosby. Crosby, yeah. yeah. He liked his golf. Yeah, uh, that's, that's genius. This, this man, man liked his wine. Uh, just a couple more. <laughs> Hope you're not speeding when you meet these. The police. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, it's great! And, uh, oh! is there any other good ones? Oh. Uh, sounds like these lads work for the <laughs> hospital. The, 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 the porters. Um, Say that again? Sounds like these lads, uh, work for the hospital. Jerry and the pacemakers. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we'll, we'll- Carl, I have to say, if there was ever, in the future, any doubt that you were your mother's son, <laughs> that would pay that. <laughs> <laughs> Believe that me, you great. are a chip off well, the Okay, board. well let's um, let's uh, so we have a little record and then educating Ricky and Rockbusters. So, so this is really the start. Of, the, of the prizes. <coughs> <coughs> Jerry Halliwell's yoga video, uh, DVD, I think it's the latest one in that particular series. <laughs> so if you've already <laughs> worked yourself up to, you know, you're looking pretty good, but yeah. there's still a little bit of uh, flab around around the arse or breast area, then Jerry can help you out there. Yeah. We've got uh, Only Fools and Horses, this is the Christmas special from last year. Um, Jonathan Ross was giving that one on his morning show this morning, I don't know if they're just oh, trying to get rid of him. Um, Top uh, of the morning to you! From Terry Wogan, that's his uh, <laughs> two <laughs> beat CD. I'm sure they were giving that away. You've got they? the likes of Love Theme from Top Gun, obviously Take My Breath Away by Berlin, that's on there. Uh, what else we got? We got The Pretenders, you mentioned them earlier. Alison Moyes on there. Uh, Annie Alf. Lennox featuring Paul I Simon. still call her Alf. Loaf is on there, I'm talking to the meat variety. Oh, obviously. <laughs> um, Miss Tina Turner on Silent Wings. There's a, you know, an incredible selection there. Perfect for saying mum or um, a, a deaf aunt. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's uh, the Manic Street. Your how's your aunt? DVD. Anyway, how's your aunt? The, the one who farted for five minutes, Carl. Also got the U2D, uh, well. the U2 What's up with her? She had the best chair album ever. Uh, that's all right. Yeah, she'll be alright. Yeah. Okay, guys, so that's the prizes up for grabs. So we're having two conversations yeah. there. I, I think we're a little bit too relaxed in this show. Sure. I mean, people tuning in will just think, do those three people know they're going out live? Or is yeah. that a conversation, like, between the records? Yeah. I, I, it's, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> it probably sounds like, yeah, the record is playing. <laughs> yeah. We think the record's playing yeah. and we're just chatting. Oh, yeah. dear. What what we got? What we got, Carl? What we got, Carl? 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 Come on, Eminem. Lose yourself. Back on form there. Absolutely, yeah, it's yeah. good tune. Good, good. On XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant. Carl Pilkington, more importantly. Carl, come on then. Right. I need some education. I no, need it's Rockbusters. I, rock I need education, I need I know, some education. I know, I know you twice, but we've promised some Rockbusters. Educating Ricky, I will be ditching before Christmas. Why? <sighs> it will be going. Really? Why? Because there's nothing it's, out there. It's just struggling. I was thinking on the way in today, I can either do, um, doing something more with Steve, because we've done, like, the Ricky angle. Either yeah. we can do, uh. Um, Educating Steve? No, either like a, a bit of a call my bluff type thing, but it's like a con merchant and I have to like trick you. Okay. Con right, merchant, so I like con it. And you're the other merchant. And yeah. then, or I was thinking something that you just do, do some work and you have a moan for a bit. Okay. And that's a bit, that, that's like a wine merchant that you just like <laughs> whine on about something. <laughs> Uh, again, just, I, I, I the pun comes first with uh, yeah, you, doesn't it? Yeah. You've worked like that first. Yeah. That's like, uh, okay. I told you I've come up with a couple of sitcoms for me. Go on. One is I've got an imaginary navy called Merchant's Navy. Yeah. It's just, it's, I've yeah. got a navy. In it. And the pre premise is I've got a navy. Yeah. And another one is I live in- And that's as far as he's got as well. Yeah, that's just, all I've come up with. If, you, if you've got any ideas there, uh, Carl, yeah. that'd be much yeah. appreciated. Another one is I live in quite a salubrious part of North London, and that's called Merchant of Little Venice. And I live in Little Venice. Uh, I d again, I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens, but, uh, mm. any ideas, <laughs> Carl? You know, I've got one where I play an Italian waiter, and it's called Shut Up a Gervais. Yep. That's so, uh, we're, we're, that's the one we're working on there, actually, to follow up with The Office. Do you like that? Yeah. 
Yeah. Is it? Yeah. We'll do something with that. Yeah. But <laughs> at the moment, we've got rock busters. Okay. okay. So, uh, these are mine. Um, number one, you've been dunking that for too long. <laughs> that's LB. You've right, been so dunking that for too long. Oh, God, that's too easy. That's yeah, too I easy. I always tease them, don't I? I give them something to make them feel like they're gonna win something, and then I, I hit them hard with a tricky one. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, go on. So, the first one, so that's the cryptic clue for a band or an artist. Their initials are LB, and yeah. the cryptic clue, you've been dunking that for too long. Yeah. So that's the first one. Second one, uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub, because the table ain't big enough. Right? <laughs> Could be an old artist, could be a new one, could be a band. What's the initials? Uh, F D. All right, F D. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. The table ain't big enough. And the final one. Uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. All right, yeah. that's that's the third cryptic clue. The initials being G K. All right. Yeah. Well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. They're the three clues. All you gotta do is email in Ricky <laughs> That's great. That's genius. Which one? The last one. All right. That yeah, is genius. Any, That's the best one you've ever done. All right. Uh, Ricky <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, I think the middle one. At UK. Okay. Email in them three answers. You win the stuff. We have still got educating Ricky. <laughs> Uh, go on, uh, let's have one, let's have one. No, let's I'll, give, I'll give you the titles. Give me the titles, yeah, go on, yeah. Right, you've got, um, three bits of info that's gone on in the world, yeah. or- well, Possibly. Sort of, sort of uh, information. Older times? Older Never times go further back in the 17th century, do we? Well, uh, no, let's, 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 let's make it clearer. There's three bits of information <laughs> that people have put on the net. <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not they're true. Well, <laughs> yeah. Definition. And that he still gets it a little bit wrong oh, in translation. Always, yeah. And sort of adds bits to it. <laughs> yeah. Go right, on. So we've got, uh, I love it when he plays out those historical dialogues. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's yeah. like the 15th century where he goes, so anyway, a bloke says to himself, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do. <laughs> so the horse isn't happy. Yeah. yeah go on. Right, so the three that you've, uh, you've got to pick from, you've got, uh, get your kit on, we're off down the butchers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. let's get your kit on, we're off down the butchers, yeah? Uh, we've right. got, um, wash up with you. <laughs> <laughs> wash up with wash you. Wash up with you! Ah, yeah! And, yeah. Uh, the last one, I couldn't really think of a, a good title for, so yeah. it's just, uh, <laughs> Why don't they just get a diary or some paper or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, play a record! We've got to make this oh. into a book. This has got to be a book made oh, for Christmas. God. Chapter headings. <laughs> <laughs> Oasis, live forever on XFM 104.9. Right, we're in the swing of things. It's my, it's mine and Steve's favourite bit of the whole show. This is what we do this show for now. Educating Ricky. Yeah. Go for it, Carl. Who said that learning can't be fun? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, I'll go for the one, what's the one about the butcher going down the butcher shop? You've got, uh, get your kit on, we're off down the butchers. Yeah. You going for that one? Yeah. Well, do you know the saying, oh, um, <laughs> don't let the cat out of the bag? Yeah. Do you know, do you know what it means? Yeah, well, don't give away a secret. Right. Well, do you know it came about? No. No. Well, uh, ages ago, <laughs> before, like, <laughs> ages ago. 17th century? Yeah, before like- Yeah, yeah, seventeen's good. Yeah. Before like, you know, proper butchers and Jewhursts and supermarkets and that, you used to get these blokes who oh, right. who sold meat. Right. Right? Butcher, butchers they were called then, I think. Yeah, yeah, but the difference was they didn't stay in the same place, they moved about. Right? So they'd turn up on a street corner. Right. And you'd have like loads of carrier bags of like- Carrier uh, bags? <laughs> yeah, with, you know, with meat in and that, and people would Plastic be like, carry bags. Yeah, yeah with whatever. mobile butcher on them. Yeah. yeah. Right, so, uh, <laughs> Had an email address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. People went, right, yeah, I need some meat, right, so they'd, uh, <laughs> they'd go up to this bloke and, uh, say, what have you got? And he'd say, well, I've got a, got a, you know, you can have a, a bag full of pig, or you can have, uh, whatever, a bag full of chicken, whatever. Yeah. And they'd go, yeah, how much? They'd go, oh, you know. Call it, call it a fiver, whatever. Yeah. And, um, they'd, they'd buy them, and to, to make more money, they didn't always fill the bag with what they said was in it. Oh, I knew, I thought that might be the case. Right? Yeah. So what did they used to do? they put cats in there? Yeah. But I don't see what, what... Okay, so sometimes they would put a cat in the bag. They'd put and a cat pretend in it the was bag. chicken or whatever else. Yeah, so... But why was a cat any cheaper than a chicken? Because cats are wandering around the streets, aren't they? Chickens aren't. So they'd, they'd get a chicken, they'd put a chicken on the top so that when they look in it, they'd go, yeah? That's all right. 
got a bag full of chicken, they'd get home to make the dinner, yeah. and they'd be like, what are we having tonight? And they'd go, well, you'll never guess. <laughs> and they'd, they'd have like, you know, well, you can have a chicken leg, and, you know, but it would be, it'd be a cat. Yeah. <laughs> they'd have to defrost a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Did they mind that they were eating cat then? In, the, in those days? He didn't say. He just was saying about the saying, uh, don't let the cat out of the bag. It's like, you know, uh, if they see that, they're gonna go mad. I, I'm, I'm, I'm mildly disappointed with this story. It's all right if it's true, but you know, it's something about it's just... I want to know more. He always leaves yeah. you... Is it Carl doesn't quench your thirst for knowledge, he creates more. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Well, yeah, he's like the pot noodle of information. Yeah, do you know, I, I, he never, I wanna go- I got nourished by it. It's like, if he, for every fact he tells me, there's ten others that spring yeah. up that yeah. I have to get clear. Well, yeah. So it was the people that were doing this, it was the, it was the dodgy butchers that coined this phrase. Were well, they saying to each other, don't let the cat out of the bag? I, <laughs> what I mean by that, Jack, is don't let them see the cat. Yeah. What yeah. we stuffed in there. Yeah. Dodgy butcher, that's another phrase, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the first one. Uh, is that a euphemism or is that yeah, dodgy butcher? As is meat delivered round the back. Sure. So that's that's that one. So let's get your kit on. What's that? Mean? It's a, a euphemism for uh, homosexuality. Okay. And meat, presumably, in that means different things. It doesn't. It, it's it's a word that is also a male would, would bird. Would it mean chicken or cat <laughs> necessarily in that context? <laughs> or, well, I suppose it could. Yeah. 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 Carl's look, just looks, look at him, it, it, Carl looks at you like a cat. Yeah. Whenever we leave him behind, if we don't talk, like, straight at him and let him see our lips moving, mm. and it's, you know, monosyllabic and very easy to understand. Look, he's lost, he's lost in that conversation there, he just drifted off, didn't you, Carl? No, I just was also thinking on animals and that, something else I was gonna use. Go on. Was, um... Is this it, isn't a radio show, is it? I just suddenly caught something, this I is no, this is that. nothing. I told you that before, it's, it's been bad today. No, but I mean, it's the way, this, this casual way that it's like w we almost have no regard for our listener. And I'm not proud of that, I just don't know what to do about it. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't know how to do this properly. I, I mean, we're just chatting here. I mean, it's only Anderson who's seen through us. And <laughs> yeah. that surprises me, that more people haven't... I mean, what are the figures like? Do people listen to this show? I'll find out for you. You keep saying that. But, um, yeah, there's this parrot. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> apparently it was- it lives I mean, Rip, it's unique, <laughs> if nothing else. <laughs> I mean, when you wake up with Woken tomorrow, you're not even gonna yeah. hear him start a line with there was this parrot. Hey, go on, there was this parrot, yeah, go on. And it can talk and that, someone's obviously, t you know, taught it out how to speak and that, and, mm. um, it flew away, oh. and it's living in this church, <laughs> right? <laughs> And, uh, people are at the church doing oh. hymns and that and then- Trouble's brewing. In, be in between <laughs> the hymns- If that parrot we, uh, was owned by an old, uh, miner who used to swear a lot- yeah. Well- Then the vicar is gonna be- it? is gonna be really annoyed. That vicar. Yeah. That vicar's gonna- go on. I just hope he stays quiet <laughs> during the vicar's <laughs> sermons. Yeah, go on. Have you read it? No, go on. <laughs> Have you read it? No, go no, because that's, that's what happens, go right? Go on, tell us, Carl. Join, join the hymns, it's sort of effing and jeffing and stuff. Effing <laughs> <laughs> and jeffing? Yeah. And everyone's like going, oh, you know, it's quite funny really, you know, it doesn't know what it's doing. Have everyone's it? having a laugh. Yeah. But it's causing a havoc at funerals. <laughs> 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 when did this happen? Uh, uh not, not, not years ago. John uh, was a much loved man. He was a wanker! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. anyway, so that was another what story. What can you I... say about Uncle John? Bollocks! <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love, I love the fact that when you look at things, you go, "That's interesting." A parrot that swears at funerals. That would be amazing. And it stays with you. You see, for a simple man, you retain an awful lot of knowledge. It's just all rubbish. It's all you Do you know what I mean? If you just replaced all this rubbish with good stuff, yeah. you'd be an intellectual. Yeah. Really. Cause, you, I mean, your, your attention is fantastic. Yeah. So- Did I lose you again there, did I? So was it the word retention? We've still got, uh, wash up with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should we play a record and do wash yeah, up with you? Yeah, yeah. We'll play a bit of Aqualung then. <laughs> Aqualung! <laughs> Alright, that's Aqualung. Uh, good time's gonna come, innit? Right, Carl. Come on, educating Ricky. So, don't let the cat out of the bag, that's where that uh, comes from. Mm. Comes from a crafty butcher. <laughs> right, go on then. So the next uh, little headline is, uh, wash up with you. Wash up with you, go on. 
You wanna know about that? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> it's a survey that they did. <laughs> survey that they did this week. They? Yeah. Some, some university did some survey. Brilliant. Did a world test on yeah. washing up. Yeah. And, uh, each country were given 140 pots to clean. Um, Brits were the quickest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Turkey were the slowest <sighs> at washing up. The Turks. Uh, it's not because the little fellas that work in the kitchens were no, is it? They can't reach. Spain. <laughs> Spain were the cleanest and the, uh, Germans were pretty good as well, so. I don't know where to start with this. <laughs> I, I, honestly, Steve, I don't know where to start with that. I Look at his face. You, it was really light, right? We've had the parrot, right? These are the things that I found. Found the parrot, right? I've told you about the dog in the car wash. Right, you didn't tell me about that. You said there's a car wash for a dog. That's all you told me. Yeah, but The parrot, listen. you said there's a parrot. What? It's a problem at funerals. Yeah. That's nothing. That's nothing. It's nothing. And, Do you understand? And, uh, uh... They used to eat cats. What else have we got? There's an elephant in India we saw feet. Why? There's an elephant in India with sore feet. I'm interested. Why? Um, some- uh, <laughs> Tap dancing? <laughs> <laughs> Why? So, yeah, I didn't write that. He's trying to break it. Roy Castle's record. <laughs> 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 He's still going. Go on. Go on. What is it? What is it? Think. It's an uh, elephant and it was really old. It was about 76. Right. And it had sore feet because it's old and- They the don't make stairs that big, are, do they? the roads are bad and that. Yeah, go so, on. So, um, they said, what are we gonna do? And the <laughs> town was like, oh, you know, we're used to seeing it around, it's part of the thing, you know, we don't want it to have sore feet. Yeah. So they got some slippers made for it. <laughs> <laughs> and it had like a picture of the elephant looking happy wearing some slippers. <laughs> I love him! I love Carl, his world! Think of it, where did you see this picture? That was on the internet. <laughs> right. That's a lesson though for any elephants listening. You know, don't wear stilettos to work every no. day. Because you can do your feet in. <laughs> so that it's but don't, a... have ele don't elephants have really bad memories? No, they have really good memories. memories. Oh, do they? Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good then. <laughs> no, I just, I, I just thought they'd forget where they put them. I thought there was something about, <laughs> about elephants having bad, <laughs> bad memories and <laughs> that. It goes on, where's my slippers? Yeah. I sure I left them by the test. So, so, sorry, there's an elephant walking around wearing <laughs> slippers? Yeah, yeah, there is, th that's in, uh, what in India. What slippers? Those sort of old man ones with the sort of checkers. Well, round design. ones, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. Big yeah. round ones. There was that going on. And is it happening? Is it happier? I mean, does it feel no, more satisfying? No, it looked it. It looked it. Did it look- <laughs> <laughs> How can you tell the elephants, please? Uh, uh, what else is there? Uh, mm. there was a woman who's had a- had a breast in show for 150 grand. Right. Okay. Any okay, more information there? What? Third party fire and theft? Don't know, it just had- it had a picture of her with them, like, you know, out. <laughs> 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 I just thought, yeah, you should get them covered. <laughs> That's a proper joke. He's doing so. look at his little face, he smiles. I'd like to see you on one of the sort of TV panel games. If they could bring back sort of celebrity squares, it'd yeah. be amazing as the centre square. Oh, that would be Wouldn't incredible. Or um, on that countdown in Dictionary Corner. Diction- I imagine him in Dictionary well, Corner. Well, come up with cat. Yeah. Is that, <laughs> yeah. that helps at all? Yeah. Mem- Memdlint. <laughs> yeah, what does what? that mean, Carl? It just meant anything you wanted to mean. <laughs> oh, what I've got, there, there's a dog that's got a cough. In Singapore, because <laughs> it smokes twenty a day. <laughs> right, okay, another one. So another no, one. no, no, it's, it's the last one, and it's yeah. say that the last one we've got is why I don't. Sorry, what was that? Wash up with you. That was it. But they, they, put, they. That was that it. That they what? The survey of washing pots and pans. I didn't understand. Up. You said who? You said Italy were the cleanest. No, it's Spain. Not, no, Brits were the quickest. Yeah. We were the quickest, but Italy was the. the Spain cleanest. was the cleanest. Turkey were the slowest. Yeah. yeah. Spain were the cleanest. But why weren't we cleaner? Because we were washing up. Why were we not paying attention to the? We did it rubbish. We did it quick. We did it quickly, but but. Oh, I don't know what it was being rated on. Who was doing it? Was it Lynette Newman or Ainsley Harriet? She's quick. Both of them are quick. Yeah. Well, they've got like kind of loose slaves that do it for them. Did we? Did we use? Did we use fairy liquid? Dunno, it didn't- it didn't have Did we use a whole bunch of boy scouts? Didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> just like said, did it. <laughs> <laughs> it just said, uh, you know, that, that, that. Did we, who had the softest hands? Who had the softest hands? So, I didn't, it didn't say, I didn't- Why is it we don't get notified that this is taking place? I don't know. When I was a kid, no one ever said, you know, we need recruits because we're- we're doing a survey on who can wash yeah. up the quickest. Are you disappointed in yourself with that one, Carl? It, it is pretty dull. <laughs> to be fair, and that is why we've got to bring in either con merchant okay. or a uh, wine merchant. Or shut or up with your face. Yeah. With would you be able to, if I asked you, if I put you on the spot in the next, sort of after the next record, would you be able to give an example of how con merchant would work? I mean, is there something you could do just to sort of s experiment Should we play a record? Should we play a record? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can do better than that. Yeah. What? Ads. Go on. Oh. 
Travis on XFM 104.9 on Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkerton. We're doing Educating Ricky. Right, final one. Come on, Carl. Right, what was it? <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> why don't they just get a diary or some paper or something to write on? Yeah. Yeah. Cause Snappy. I couldn't, well, I couldn't think of a heading for it. It's basically, uh, Go on. people who have tattoos, I've never understood it, right? Um, that they have something put on their arm. Well, sorry. Have we started the educate? Is this part of it? Are you educating me? This is something that I, I, will be useful in my life that I didn't know about. Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> no, it's just like they've got, they've got a machine now, right. right, that, um, does tattoos. Um. Tattoos. You, you, uh, you come up with a design you want and you sort of, it, this machine scans it and, uh, you put your arm in this thing and you press print or whatever. And then it, it does the tattoo on your hand or on your What, arm. like loads of little needles that follow a pattern? Yeah. The computer, basically, is it, yeah. Is it a real tattoo? It's a broad, proper It's a proper tattoo. one. The fella said, um. Well, as long as it goes out, it pierces the skin with a. With a I a, just a, wondered a if it's one of those kind of, you know, those kind of. No, it, it must be lots of, lots of little needles or moving needle that can. Go Sorry, but how is this cleaned, like in between each person? Don't know, probably. I don't know. Well, no, it's not. It's only that if it's one needle, it's just the head, isn't it? If it's one needle that moves, right. does it like a t -t 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 like loads of little? Um, d -d 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 what are we gaining from a, a machine doing it? It's just because you know they're going to sort of mess it up. But hold on, how do you keep your arm still? Because your skin moves like it's, it's a machine. It's sort of strapped to your arm. Right. So fella, it's spread, I mean, so the fella said that the tricky thing was in all this. It was the fact that um, you know nobody would let him test it out on anyone else, so he had to do it himself. But did it work? Because the thing is, with a tattoo yeah, artist, they yeah. can see when your skin's moved and they can see what they've done, and they keep wiping it and looking. Whereas a machine's just got to trust itself. Yeah. So I think one needle would could go wrong if it was a lot of needles that, just, that it just came down, like you know, a thousand needles that was an imprint. Yeah. But no, it, it, obviously, I'm asking someone who uh, hasn't delved any further than there's a machine that can give you a tattoo. That's all you've got at the moment, isn't it? Well, I'm, uh, yeah, basically. That's all you've got. I mean, that's that's what I've got because I'm not a fan of tattoos. I don't. But where did you read this again? This was internet. Uh, this was on the internet. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. And I, d I just don't understand why people do it. That's that's what got me attention because me. Um, so what have, what have I learned from this? Um, that if you, if you wanted to get one. You know, you can get one done by a machine now. You know, people say machines are sort of taking over and that. And, and there's another one. But it's just the fact, I mean, I don't know. I, I so don't, give us the snappy title of this, this education why again. Why don't they just get a diary or some paper or something to write it on? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I always think when I see people with, with loads of tattoos, like there's that fella who we were talking about the other week in Scotland oh. who, who was covered 99% in tattoos. Yeah. It's just like, what have you done that for? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't get rid of it now. You've, you've, you've done it now. Yeah. Um, my, one of my uncles, right, Tattoo Stan, he, <laughs> he, um, he's just caked in them. Tattoo Stan. Right. <laughs> I don't think he's my proper uncle, but it's just like, <laughs> me, me dad's Tattoo got Tattoo Stan! No, my dad's that's, got That's the province in Russia, isn't it? My dad's got loads of mates who, When like, you say he's not your proper uncle? I don't, do you know how, like, when just someone comes around with school? Right, uncle Stan. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And there's like, there was, um, my dad had loads of mates like that. There was John the Screw. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, he either works in a prison or he likes to have sex. Cabby. <laughs> Cab driver. <laughs> okay. There was Jimmy the Hat. I don't know what he Jimmy did. the Hat? Yeah. Oh, and, did uh, he wear and a hat? No. No. There was, um, <laughs> there was Fred the Veg. You sure he wasn't a relative? <laughs> Sorry. Fred the Veg used to get us, like, big bags of potatoes and that. Fred the Veg, okay. And there was, there was Tattoo Stan. Right. And he was just caked in them, and I used to always look at him thinking, why have you done that? I must have only been, like, you know, six I or suppose seven. If, if you're born with a name like Tattoo Stan, <laughs> exactly. you're destined, Sorry, aren't you, really? Were they, like, a 1950s gang? I'm worried yeah, about, just, like, it, I'm worried about- doing a bank job. What was his name, The Hat? What was his Jim, name? Jimmy the Hat. I'm worried mm. about Jimmy the Hat yeah. not having a hat. <laughs> I don't understand it. Are you sure he didn't have a hat? Not when I met him. Did he ever wear a hat? <laughs> I didn't see him that much. Do you think it was a joke like, you know, when, um, y your mate sort of like, you know, uh, eight foot and huge, you call him <laughs> Little John or Tiny? Mm. Do you think- Well, the fact that he never wore Yeah, they went, hold on, I've, I've noticed some hat about Jim. Go on. No hat. And I go, oh, true, let's call him Jim the Hat. <laughs> Jim the Hat, yeah. But me, um, me Uncle Stan, he had like loads of them. He did, did them himself. Oh dear. And it was always <laughs> oh, thing. God. What was it, what was it things like? It was, he had like the- A cross. Cut here one. Cut here, on made in Britain. And 
if you're going to do them yourself, I'd say at least make sure you're, go you're sort of a good drawer. Yeah. And don't and do it in the mirror so it comes out backwards. Well, that that was the other thing. But, like, I remember he did, um, I mean, names were all right. He had, like, all his kids' names down his arm. <laughs> and, right. uh, what are they called? Yeah. Oh, God, it is. <laughs> that's Tattoo Stan Jr. Yeah. And, um. Paul shits the bed. <laughs> but, um. I'm trying to. <laughs> oh, Wabai Kate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he had, uh, <laughs> Frankie never remains to anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So he had, like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Johnny, I don't think he's mine. <laughs> So, he did uh, all this stuff. Oh, I don't even know why I'm telling you about tattoos. No, nor do I, Carl! Hey, so, I to be honest, honest, I don't know that if- I don't know if- maybe you just have to picture this, but my picture- my <laughs> sister took, had to take a photo once. She was working in, like, a factory. Not to denigrate people who work in factories, but there happened to be a particularly oddball, kind of lank-haired, weird guy living, uh, working in this factory. And he made his own- he did his own tattoos. And she took a photo of it because she was so extraordinary. He'd drawn it himself. Now, bear in mind, it was the kind <laughs> of thing you saw when you were doing art when you were, like, <laughs> 15. <laughs> this was the sort of person who designed their own, like, rock- Heavy rock album cover. <laughs> yeah, he's that sort of person. So, pr I mean, like, was it, was it a dragon draw? with breasts? You're not far off, Rick. No, you're not far off. I'll tell you what it was. He had this tattooed on his back. It took up his entire back. She took a photo of it for me. He drew it himself. He had it tattooed himself, and it was just too much detail. Too yeah. much detail for a tattoo. It needs to be very simple, I think, to make it. Mm, yeah. tattoo. Mm -hmm. it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, n a naked female vampire having a shower. <laughs> why was she having a shower? Having a shower, that's why she was naked. Yeah. And so she had- she she'd been out, she'd, uh, She was, uh, presumably- uh, she been uh, out at been night. Been out, yeah. a lot of blood. Wanted yeah, well she, 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 uh, she was naked so she, you could see her, 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 her naked body. Yeah. Uh, she's quite a beautiful vampire, yeah. relatively speaking. Yeah. Um, although the symmetry of her face was somewhat off. Yeah. The only thing I think that gave well, her away- Well, bad spine. Was that she had, um, she did have some pointed teeth. I right. Mean, I think that was how you knew she was a vampire. Right. Was she looking- but, um, was the she fact that she was having a shower was- Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it well, but he, he sort of drew all in all the- he said to the- he said to the eye, listen, I, I want a, a naked bird, right? But I don't want to be good Gratuitous. He goes, well, you could put her in a shower, because then they went, pop well, her in the shower. Least, that leads to give some kind yeah, of that's the plot. That's the plot. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's justified <laughs> within the story if she's <laughs> in a shower. Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have that. So, Carl. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, any other nicknames your friends of your family had? What was your nickname, Carl? Just, uh, Pilkey. <laughs> because for a minute Pilkey. I thought Carl the Veg would have made a lot of sense. Yeah, Carl the Veg. And what, what, why has your dad got a little tattoo, dopey twat, on his arm? <laughs> right, we'll do the answers to, uh, Rockbusters next, yeah? <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Buzzcocks. Still sounds brilliant, that. It is a cracker. They're from Manchester as well, Carl. So you get a little bit of pride there, eh? I think one of them's, uh, one of my mate's dad's. Really? Yeah, I think so. What's his nickname? Well, his name was, I don't really want to say his name. Oh, uh, okay. Laurie, his first name was. Yeah. Uh, still, still is, probably. Yeah. Uh, and what, you know those little fellas at school that didn't know each other, weren't related and weren't friends because it would be too obvious, that they had webbed, um, hands and big heads? Yeah. What, were they, did they have any nicknames? It, again, too obvious, isn't it? Yeah. Go on. Well, oh, big head, or, you know. Sure. Oh, I bet you're good at juggling, or... Frog right. twins. Yeah. Can I just interrupt you guys, because we've just had an email here, um, I hate to query you, Carl, and you're educating Ricky section, because I know you put a lot- don't read this, let me just read it for you. Um, just an email here from Olivia, and this has also been corroborated by someone else, I, I forget who, who it was. She was just- she just tuned in, and she just heard you explaining the expression, letting the cat out of the bag. So, uh, it's all to do with cats that were put in bags yeah. by- by dodgy butchers, <laughs> possibly the 17th century, we're not too sure. <laughs> um, anyway, she claims- well, uh, let me see, she, she says, uh, she uses both the words twaddle and crap. <laughs> Uh, in relation, in relation to your definition. <laughs> oh. uh, she says, letting the cat out of the bag is an old shipping expression from when sailors used to get flogged for their misdemeanours. The cat the is cat, the cat of nine it tails, is. Of which uh, is. is a kind of whip thing that you, they used yeah. to keep hanging in a bag below deck. If yeah. it was discovered that a sailor had done something wrong, the cat would be let out of the bag yeah. and you'd get a whipping. Hence of course it is. Don't let the cat out of the bag, meaning to cover something up with a She's secret. talking nonsense, no, right? No, she's not. That's she the is. truth. That's because the, the truth. one I read about that was there's not enough room in here to swing a cat, right? And that was people who worked on a boat. Yeah, well, that's the same well, that's fine. They're, the same for the they're not same gonna thing. keep going on about people working on a boat to get those <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
<laughs> you can't it? have two phrases about the same thing! Can't they're not going to go in. To do with their time. Think how many just coming up yeah. with stuff. Think like how that. many metaphors have birds in them, and you know uh, uh, it's ridiculous. Why can't you have? You can have as many sounds as you like about anything, Carl. Yeah, There's yeah, not a rule. Whatever. They don't go. We've made one up about yeah. the cat and nine tails. Well, cheers for that, Oliver. Um, <laughs> Olivia. Olivia. Yeah. Don't, don't see your uh, email coming up with the Rockbusters answers, so well, <laughs> let's, uh, give, us the answers let's give them out. Uh, the first <laughs> one was, um, you've been dunking that for too long. That yeah. was LB. Uh, Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. Yeah, got that one. Uh, the third one, we'll jump to that one because you've got it. Uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's all over. That was GK. That's a great one. That's Glad, glad it's night. Glad it's night. Glad it's night. That's glad that it's is night. brilliant, Carl. Huh? And the one that, uh, you're both having a problem with, uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub, the table ain't big enough, FD. Go on. Fats Domino. Yeah? What? The Dominoes, you play Dominoes in a pub, the, the Domino's fat. Pub tables are quite small. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. Fats Domino. Rubbish. <laughs> so, do you want to pick a winner? Random rubbish. Winner? Well, winner. you say it's rubbish, but plenty of people got the right answer. Rubbish. Who um, do you want to go with? The bunch of, um, slightly rubbish prizes <laughs> is going to Elliot K from Chigwell in Essex. Uh, well done to Elliot. I, I just, w uh, can, before we go, can we just get an, an email off Anders, because I think he must, oh, I think we've probably turned him round with this show. <laughs> I would have thought so. I think he's going to be say saying, coming to us with his tail between his legs, saying, <laughs> sorry lads, a blinding <laughs> show. I was wrong, you were right. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, song for the Lovers is very exciting this yeah, week. Yeah, uh, we haven't had a song for the, uh, the Lovers or the Ladies for quite some time. Let's yeah, combine so, the two. Sorry, and sorry, a bit yeah. of John Martin, May You Never, let's end with Beautiful that. Beautiful We'll see you next time. So, yeah. Bye. Bye.